Oh, howdy. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it has been cold today. It's been bloody cold, but uh, Corb's here with another Red Dead RP stream. Is George Hughes on the Diablo RP server. Bloody cold, but I have um, got the heater ready to go. I've got Ugg boots on. Got my new hoodie. All ready to roll, and I watched <coughs> watched with my folks the uh, the new episode of Star Wars: The Acolyte, available now on Disney Plus. My God, damn it! The episode ended at such an annoying time. I was like, oh, "All right, I'll be keen for next week." Then it was very exciting, very exciting end to an episode. So that'll be good. Like I'm, I don't, I don't love the show. I don't hate the show. I'm just, I'm just keen to see. I'm curious to see where it goes because I'm not gonna fully judge the show until I've seen the whole damn thing, because that would be silly. See where they're going with it. <coughs> going with an open mind. See what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like it's taking a bit extra long. Oh no, there we go. It just felt like it was taking just that little bit extra time to, to load. I think that's fine though. Oh, that creme brulee is meant for Miss Wheeler from the governor, whoops. Got to give it to her. Um, I need... Oh, no, I've got orange juice. I need... Maybe get some more food in that. It's just things are hairy at the moment, so let's... Pop that away. Let's just travel light. Trying to talk... Trying to talk down criminals. It's like, calm your farm. Stop robbing people. Stop your... Stop your tomfoolery, god damn it. <laughs> um. You are now on duty. Yeah. And it's daylight, so the bank should still be open. Now I understand now I guess I'll, I'll start to understand why some players just sprint everywhere. Gotta get to the bank before it closes. <laughs> Like, hurry, run, 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 run! Ugh. Oh, and it's cold in game as well. Spot of rain. Excuse me. Oh, there's Woodman Jack. Uh, George, Captain George, sir. Out it. You met with the governor yet, sir? The governor? Have you had a meeting with him yet? Uh, no. Do I? Yes, you do. Um, Harkness and yourself will be having a meeting. Harkness already had the meeting, but he said, uh, just uh, run. straight into the office. <laughs> the other captain? Something comes in. He might be in his office. Oh, I'll have to check my telegrams. I haven't heard anything from him. Uh, it's mainly because of, uh, Sheriff Bowman stood down and... Yourself and Captain Hartness are going to be stand-in sheriffs until someone is elected, when the time comes. You can oh. hear from his word of his mouth. Oh, thanks for telling me instead of the governor, Sledge. He's being very vague, so I just... I got him out for a meeting and he comes back and there's six horses in there. Why would you... why would you... do that?
Who? What? Ghost? I don't think I've received anything. I haven't received a telegram. I haven't received anything in Discord. There's nothing non-alcoholic. Is that you, Mr. Levi? That's me. How you doing? Good. You seen you seen Jack? Uh yes, he's uh outside the courthouse. Alright, he was waiting for you. Oh jeez, well here comes the governor. As was the governor. Oh jeez. You're a wanted man. Oh dear, what have I done Mr. now? Hughes. Mr. Hughes. Howdy, Governor. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, sir. Just stopping by the saloon, grab myself a bite to eat. Yourself? Oh, what'd you get? Oh, busy, you know. A lot of paperwork after the news, which I'm sure you heard. Oh yeah, I did see the notice in the office. Yeah, that's a that's a shame. Sorry to hear that. Uh, well, it definitely is a shame, and but I understand where he's coming from. But you know, we got to make this county keep running, and unfortunately, that means no sleep for me. So, Ponder, do you mind if I have a quick word with you off at the top of the saloon? Not at all, sir. Want me there, Governor? Yeah, of course I want you there. Oh, go! Go! It's the goddamn chairs! S sorry. What the God. hell was that? You oh, alright, sir? Yeah, I was too busy looking at the saloon and didn't see the chair in front of me. Now. I would say take a seat, but it, uh, apparently all the chairs have wet paint on them, so can't can't really sit. Oh, well, we don't want that. Yeah. So, look, partner, I, I'm, I'm sure you probably understand, considering, you know, the recent news we had and what I'm about to ask you, but I'm currently without a sheriff in the West, the West jurisdiction now. Altogether? I've got, well, I've got yourself... And I've got Mr. Hartness as the two is highest ranking uh, sheriffs over in that in that uh, jurisdiction. So I figured we'd just keep captain until you find a suitable replacement. Well, that won't do, Pawn. I can't I can't let the people know that there's a, no sheriff running around, and well, there's a it breaks the structure of things, and we lose respect of the ranks if we ain't got a sheriff. So, what my plan is, if it's up to you, if you want to accept it or not is I was going to get you and Hartness to temporarily share responsibility as both sheriff. You can both be considered sheriffs, uh, the Western jurisdiction, because we have, you know, we're coming up soon to the, uh, going back to the voting for the, for the sheriff. So it'll only be temporary. Like we're looking around like maybe a week and a bit. Oh, gee, well said, you know, I'll be around tomorrow night, but then I've got a period of maybe three, four days where I'm going to be 
inactive, I'm afraid. Well, that's all right. It's up to you, partner. But look, you know, as I said, there's two sheriffs, right? You both share the responsibility, so... You sure that's you know? a good idea, sir? Sheriff, you know, it's it's quite a role that requires a lot of filtering in that. And well, my theory is it's only two, two uh, you know, a couple of days, right? So I'm just giving you that opportunity. It's up to you, son. You don't have to accept it if you don't want to. Oh, look, I'm happy to I'm happy to step up to the challenge, sir. It's just, you know, it's hard to sometimes get more than three words out of Mr. Harkness. Yeah, well, if that's if that's something that might cause a problem, then I can't really, you know, do anything about that. It's something you boys might have to communicate through yourselves, but I'll that, certainly uh, try, sir. All right. Well, is that something you still be interested in doing? Oh, I'm happy to happy to give it a go. All right, boys. Well, what I'll do is, if you, if you don't mind, I can escort you back over to my uh, office, and we'll just swear you in, and then, bit of boom, bit of boom, you are now sheriff. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. That's how it works. Goodness gracious. It's not how you I saw to... this day going. Well, if you want to collect your thoughts, you can have a bit of, you know, maybe a minute, a minute, two minutes, but I need to swear you in soon because I can't have a sheriff, no sheriff running around these. No, uh, I these understand, sir. We got, we've got work. We got work to do as always. Let's, let's you know, you know I, I look at it like sometimes you go to, you've got to accept the call when duty comes a knocking rather than, you know, go seeking it out. So I'm happy, I'm happy to, I'm happy to dive head in, straight in, sir. Oh, that makes sense. All right, boys, let's go head back to my office and let's mm. get this done. It would seem Bowman. Oh, thank you, yeah, oh, thank you, Kenneth. This time. It would yeah, seem Bowman. Um, he just doesn't have the time lately to. You don't watch for chairs either. To. Well, you did trip over the chairs. Be involved in the role to a. Oh, it's gone. To a, a standard of his liking, which I which I get. Hmm. Like when when real life stuff gets in the way, it's. There's there's just some. Roles in in the game that you just can't devote the time to. Oh yeah, I'm sure he I'm sure he's fine. He's probably got much better things to be looking forward to than a than a than a job in a video game. <laughs> in the nicest way possible. Howdy Hammer, how you going bro? Howdy, Scrut. Uh, Mr. Hartness with me. You want to do it in your office or you want to do it in the court? Well, I want to do it probably in my office. If it was up to me, it would be going up. Um, so, oh, what's it? I want to get this done. So, what I'll get you to do, um, uh, Marshall, can you please hand, uh, hold the, the, the Bible out for, uh, right now, Mr. Mr. Hughes first? Well, then. Oh, thanks. All right, Mr. Hughes, I need you to repeat after me. Mm-hmm. I, George Hughes. I, George Hughes. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will defend and support the Constitution, uh, Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Western Frontier. And the Constitution of the Western Frontier. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear truth, that faith, I, and allegiance. That I will bear truth, faith, and allegiance. To the same. To the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose. Without any mental reservation or purpose. Of evasion. Of evasion. And that I will well... And that I will well... And... Oh, I... Oh, my God. I've just written this whole thing wrong. <laughs> oh, you said you checked it, sir. Well, it's been a while since I had to write this goddamn thing. Give me a second. Uh, to continue, uh, uh, I will faithfully... I will faithfully... Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the Western Jurisdiction Sheriff. Of the Western Jurisdiction Sheriff. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. 
Uh, pledge to protect and serve. I pledge to protect and serve. The citizens of the Western jurisdiction. The, citizen, the citizens of the Western jurisdiction. And the Western frontier as a whole. And the Western frontier as a whole. To maintain peace and order. To maintain peace and order. To enforce the laws justly and fairly. To enforce the laws justly and fairly. And to perform the duties of my office. And perform the duties of my office. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. And ability. So help me God. And ability. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Hughes. You are now sheriff of the Western Jurisdiction. Thank you, sir. Sorry, it's a long one. I've been trying to talk to the That's boys it. back up in uh, New York to shorten it. But it's what I had to do just because it was the last thing I had. No, it's very, it's very nice, sir. Well done. Uh, I, I, I appreciate it. No problem. All right. Mr. Hartness. Uh, my arm's Hello, sir. Hartness. <laughs> All right. Well, I, Jack Hartness. All right, Jack Hartness. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and defend. Support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Western Frontier. And the Constitution of the Western Frontier. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Uh, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. I'll bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. That I take this obligation. I take this obligation. Freely without any mental reservation. Freely without mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will... Well, uh... <laughs> I will faithfully discharge... I'll faithfully discharge... The duties of the Western Jurisdiction... And the duties of the Western Jurisdiction... According to the best of my ability... Caught on the best of my ability. I further swear. I further swear. Oh, sorry, I disregard that one. That's an old line. Okay. I pledge to protect. Pledge to protect. And serve the citizens. Serve the citizens. Of the Western Frontier. Of the Western Frontier. To maintain peace and order. To maintain peace and order. To enforce the laws justly and fairly. To enforce the laws. To enforce the laws justly and fairly. And to perform the duties of my office. Perform the duties of my office. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Hotness. You are also the sheriff of the Western Jurisdiction. Thank now, you, sir. Boys, I know it's a bit odd and usual to have two sheriffs of the uh, jurisdiction, but do remember this is only temporary, temporarily because we have a vote coming up soon for the uh, new sheriff. So, you know, it will only be about a week and a bit, maybe, maybe a bit more. We'll see okay. how things go. But I expect you boys to keep in talk, keep in concentration. If you do have any issues, you speak with the marshal. That everyone understand? Oh, yes. Sure. Now, I want you boys to make sure this town is fucking safe, because if you boys have got... I know you boys have got voting soon, but I want to make sure when it comes to my voting, <laughs> everyone's fucking safe and alive, so I get more votes. So that I'll make fair. myself clear. As always, sir. As always. All right, boys, you're dismissed. Congratulations again. Work, boys. Thank you. Thank you. That could be more terrified Dingo becomes a sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> so help me, God. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, help me God. I might be the first one to put a bullet in if that happens. That was fair. Oh, what was that, Marshal? I said I think I need to polish my bullets. Oh, well, you can do that in your make off some, time, son. You still need to protect yeah, me. Straighter, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. Think, is there anything you boys hug. need from me? No, not at the moment. Just if we could get the those penal codes and all the other things we need to do our job uh, squared away in at a good you know in the near future that would be that would be very appreciated absolutely i just uh gotta you know i've been talking to those boys back at uh new york yeah getting them printed properly to show the actual fans and stuff very to make nice. it a bit easier but that should hopefully be coming in soon love to hear it all right get better prison guards <laughs> oh, well, that, fuck. that's a dime and a dozen son oh, i don't think we're, we're asking that much. people break up i don't know have you, have you seen my my current assistant right now? He's not talking about me. Tom, Tom over there. Oh, he's standing on the desk. Yes. Doesn't he, believe in chairs. Not, not the brightest boy in the shed, that one. Doesn't look it. So sometimes we just got to do what we have for now, but hopefully we can get a replacement soon. Hopefully. Anyway, hey, boys, is there anything, if there's nothing else I can help you with, oh, boys, no, you're else. free to be dismissed. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Y'all so, stay safe out there, and I'm sure you'll do me proud. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best, sir. We'll do our best. That's all I ask, boys. Good work, gentlemen. 
Thank you. Yo, Mrs. Phenom. Awesome. Yo, Cuzbot. Do um, things. I mean, yeah. uphold the law. Yeah. Shall we, shall we, if anyone does crime. Uh, shall we head to the office, Jack? Just come up with a game plan? Yeah, we can. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we can. Jack and I got a meeting in the office. Oh, okay. You see that building over there? The one next to the dock? Yeah, I can't see it at all. It's just windows. You can't... Oh. Well, it's there for me. I, I'm i not sure if I can see the windows now you mentioned. Maybe I can see the other stuff and you can see the other. That's very interesting. Uh, Levi Sky's a corporal. So he's meant to be promoted for Bowman left. Oh, excellent. Yeah, Did Levi, just he, before? he's a good lad. Oh, I got it. The left one, apparently. I hate these doors. Oh, that's what that's what we should have asked. Can we get a new new front door? No. It's not in the butt. Ames, this is a sheriff's only meeting, I'm afraid. <laughs> Can we do that now? Are uh, we allowed? No, he, he's our boss. Oh, shit. Okay, well... Lock the door. Th this isn't how I saw today going. No, same. Look, I saw that, I saw that notice from Bowman, and I... Sad to hear, I, I figured he'd have a replacement lined up from New York or something. Yeah, so I thought so. Okay, well, look. Look, I'm, I'm happy to just approach, you know, as if we were still just captains as usual, you know, representing yeah, Bowman. I feel like we would, you know, just, just you know, we find, you know, find things we need that need to get done. We make it happen. Um, That's the best idea, actually. And uh, I wanted to give you the heads up that uh, uh, between Friday... Uh, after tomorrow night, I might not be around until uh, m Monday or Tuesday night. That's so, all good. So it's not These me just, happen. you know, leaving you holding the bag or anything. It's just I've got other, you know, That's responsibilities in my me. head. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to give you the heads up. So, you know, but, you know, based on all the captain and that we're doing, I'm sure everything will be fine. Just That'll be fine. I won't be around to... <laughs> if, if Mr. Wilds or someone wants to chat, I won't be around. Please oh, tell yeah. him I am engaged. Don't let him know. Um... I guess at the moment, what are we what are we currently looking at? It's just, you know, uh, what are our main concerns? Is the you know, Mr. Black and Mr. Wilds around? Oh, yeah, that's about right. Um, hopefully, still hope, happy to have that sit down with him tomorrow night between 8 and 9 at yeah, the tree in the plains. Uh, we got the drug dealing that happens every now and again in Emerald Ranch. Uh, what, what else do you think we should be focusing on? Gentlemen, one from the governor is, uh, there seems to be, as soon as martial law was lifted, people forgot that, uh, carrying long arms in towns actually, uh, is, can be, is considered a crime if you have a look at your penal code. So, the biggest thing about people feeling safe is if, you know, you got folks already, as soon as that, uh, that was lifted, they're all coming back in with their long arms in. That's a surprise, you know, me. Oh, God. What? So, if you, and it's not just yourselves, it's the East Department as well. You need to... You always need to crack down on that. Okay, so The reason but... I'm bringing that one up is the fact that if you ain't, uh, if you ain't finding people for it, you, you ain't, your ledger's only got a finite amount of money, right? People don't pay their fines so. anyway. Yeah. That's the biggest oh. issue. Oh, the ledger. You need to be considerate of that now, right? I don't know what state your ledger's in. That's about 7,000, 8,000. Yeah, and I know how much it started at, so, uh... Oh, yes. Y'all need to think about things you need to... Does that ever get topped up? Well, if that goes to zero, you probably... Unless there's a uh, real dialed need for the governor to top it up, I ain't going to get topped up. And I know people ain't going to work for free. I oh, know they won't. So keep that in the back of your mind when you're oh, looking we will. at you. But, sir, won't people find it unfair if we're, you know, finding them for a first warning on long arms on their back or something like that? Did you warn them during the martial law? Yeah, there was plenty of warning. Well, there you go. People got warned. I suppose, you need yeah. To make, you, need Sounds to, fair. you need to have discretion with it, but at the same time, if people are... If you're not uh, holding people to account, they're just going to be like, oh, sorry, I forgot again. You know, what's the fucking point? May as well just uh, all shut up shop and just go on a holiday, you know? Uh, we just need a way there's to a take of money out of their You know, there's simple things. There's simple things. People not parking on horses, yeah? 
my, my goodness, there is, I know there's not heaps of hitching posters, but there's hitching posters around. People speeding through town. I know you warn them enough, but the people aren't seen to be getting, uh, they're not seem to be any punishment to the little talks you have, then they're just going to keep doing it. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, I see what you mean. So we keep an eye for these, you know, big things going on around, but we've got to be very active in these small things as well. The standard you walk past is the standard you set. So if you're not pick, pulling people up for it and issuing them fines and all that stuff, then they're just going to keep doing it, and it becomes the standard, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. And that's why people, yep. as soon as martial law finished, they all just come back. I would recommend... Don't have to take the recommendations. up to you. I would recommend having, having a bit of a game plan for uh, the small things. Because you get that in order, I think things will uh, work out a lot smoother. No, that... Makes a lot that of sense, sir. And don't uh, don't neglect talking to some of the business owners and giving them a bit of a heads up about uh, you know these things because it is something that you can uh, find people for. And business owners can get that word out as well. And that could be you know you can consider that to them spreading the word. Again, discretion and uh, is the the main thing. If you want them once, I don't get a second warrant. All right. All right. I'm going to leave you be now. Right, my piece. I want to say it out, out of here. That's the governor. Good. The East will be getting the same talking to about that small things. You get the small things right, the big things will uh, come come along quite easily. Oh, we still need a way to take it out of the pockets of their repeat offenders. And never pay yeah, I'll talk to the if that's the case, you need to, you know, let myself and the governor know. Uh other than the fact that they go to, you know, unpaid fines after a certain amount of time, then they they go to Cisco. I'm pretty sure, okay. if I'm not mistaken, if you, then that that's uh, that's automatic on the penal code. You know that uh, you've got uh, the assistants in uh, City Hall that uh, make those annotations. So uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you can also have a look in your uh, your that says, you know, bounties and such. All right. All right, well, let, let's... I saw quite a few of the boys ride in when I was heading down the saloon to grab a bite to eat. So, I mean, we'll have a, we'll have a talk with them now. Uh, uh, Jack, what, what are you thinking tonight? Do you think we should have one group stick to the Blackwater Great Plains area and the others focus on Valentine's Strawberry and Emma Ranch, or...? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We or, should show a force, though, for once. Yeah, just... Well... Just to... And, and then just to be a present, ready for, you know, any speeding through town, long arms on backs... That's um, a good idea. Yeah, we need to force some of that stuff. Yeah, just because, like, like the marshal said, you know, a lot of word of mouth would have got around, and now it's time to, you know. Oh shit! Spill my coffee. Yeah. All right. Well, how about how about we grab the the fellas? We'll we'll take them out to the field. Uh, well, the you know front of the courthouse. We'll have a chat about that, and let's. That's a good let, idea. Let's get to work. Uh, Give um, um, Ames something quickly. Right. Huh? What was your number, Ames? Uh, one, four, six. Oh! There you go. Oh, that's much appreciated. How much do I owe you for them? Ah, you can keep those, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, only ten bucks each, that's fine. Good, just keep them. Yeah, you need some. Oh, thank you very much. Deal with the company, probably need them. Oh, uh, yeah, well... He's started to uh, smack my hand any time I reach towards his cigars, so, yeah. Where'd you get these ones from? Uh, from the the Crossroads Saloon in... All right, next time I'm down that way, I'll buy a few extra and I'll pay you back. Crossroads Saloon? You're down in Calico? Calico Hall. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. You're right, yeah. We talked to you, probably selling you for 10, just let me know. Uh, Marshall. So you're selling oh, the okay, sh that's kind of Sheriff's good. Cheaper. Oh. West Sheriff's Cheaper, so just let me know from the West. Oh, yeah, no, that's fair enough. All right, gents, if uh, one of you can let me out, I'm still waiting for the... Yeah, let's go, let's go and form to, uh, the boys. Set of keys back. Oh, can they get this? Can they put this guy outside? Yeah, that'd be oh, nice. Yeah, it's on the list. That's good to know. Well, because that's one of the way people, you know, can obviously uh, pay their fines off, which makes it a little bit difficult for your sales. Um, so, but yeah, it's on the list. All right. No, I'll be around if you need me. No worries, Ames. The courthouse area. Okay. Oh my! What some what what lovely ponchos we have on today. It's lovely to see. Keep well, it up. 
Look, George, family. I heard you apologize to Terence the other day, and I just wanted to tell you, it takes like a really big person, you know, to admit they were wrong like that. Yeah, it, it that was really good of you. Yeah, it, re it really does. You know, I, I I lost a lot of sleep over it, and I'm just glad I can put that behind me. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day. You too. All right, Todd, let's go. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're, we're it, gonna have a he long said meeting. It should be burnt. <laughs> the ponchos. Wait, what? Okay, I'm let's go. Not, sorry. Oh, yeah. well, has to be burned. Did you see where Levi went? Uh, yeah, there was a uh, incident. You had to go check it. Oh God, damn it! I took one of the uh, recruits with him. You there for an okay? I don't know. It's not not how I saw the start of my shift going, Todd. I'll be I'll be real with you. Oh, why's that? I'll tell you in a sec. Okay. It was Cyrus around? Or any uh, of the others? He, he's uh, trying to fix a die in his, uh, in his vest. In his vest? Did he say he'd be right back? Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah, we should wait he's just him. in the uh, tailors at the moment. Oh. He's in the tailors? Um, Cyrus, trying to fix the die coming out of his vest. Oh, that thing. Mm. Yeah, just got to buy that high quality, you know? Yeah, no luck with that goddamn vest. Just don't hold it. Uh, I, I, I just put my coat back in the tailors whenever I when I go out of coat now. Well, we'll give him a couple minutes. Yeah. Maybe Levi will come back by then. He was heading all the way up to uh, Strawberry Valentine to help out a, a lady is, with a misfortune. Why is Levi looking at us through their fucking oh, binoculars for? Uh, it's just Terrence. He, he likes to let me know I'm watching. That he, well, he he likes to let me know that he knows that I'm watching. Well, he knows that I know. They've lovely ponchos. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I told him that you you said that you wanted to burn the poncho. Not anymore, Woodman. I've uh, changed my ways. I'm a uh, pro poncho now. Okay. Especially theirs. Especially theirs. There is nothing wrong with their ponchos. Oh no. He. Whoa. Oh dear. Oh, I'm getting a better view of them. Oh, I didn't realize I was getting dinner with a show. At least it's free. I guess as long what as we, we know what, what are we looking at? The the poncho party over there. Oh. So right, I'll pop up to Valentine, talk to Walter soon. Well, what's Walter done now? Oh, this guy talked about guns and shit for the sheriffs. Oh, yeah, that he keeps promising to do, but then doesn't. Yes, he's trying to find Bowman originally. Come on, Cyrus. Come on. Well, congratulations to you both on your temporary assignment you. of uh, Sheriff. Thank you. It's it's a lot. No, it is. You two, you two are pretty much acting as Sheriffs anyway. Yeah, we're. Yeah, until the vote happens. Yeah, as far as we see it, it's just just like how we've been as captains, really. Pretty much, right yeah. Running right right <laughs> the department. Yeah, pretty it's, 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 with the captains, it's, yeah. it's pretty much oh. the same. So, yeah, don't don't go, don't worry. It's just, yeah, it's pretty much going to be same as just over this week. Sweet sheriff money, though. A whole one cent more. <laughs> what? Think about yeah. that one cent, though. You know, at the end of the year, probably buy an apple. Fucking go to kill dead. <laughs> Oh. What the hell? Another poncho. That's just fantastic. Hmm. I was wearing a poncho oh, yeah. yesterday. You didn't say anything. Todd. I hope it goes. It goes without saying. You know, your, your poncho is appreciated. You know, I don't have to say it. You know, like sometimes you can just yesterday. feel it. It was Taco Tuesday. Well, there's um yellow ponchos for around earlier. Oh yeah, coming. what the, the honeybee or something. Yeah, they're, they've uh, they were hanging around just near the saloon there, and then yeah, there's uh, lots of them. Disappears. There's about five or six of them. Yeah, they ride really? in a big group. Yep. Oh, really? And we might have to um. Should search them the next time we uh, see them in a big group like that. Yeah, we might have to ask our friends in the agency to figure out who they are. Oh look, they're bopping up and down now. They. Ah dear. <laughs> oh, there's three of them. Walter told me they know. I was what it was. I'll have to ask him again. <laughs> hey, what do we think of the creeds over in Valentine? They seem okay. 
Well, I think he's learned his lesson. Who, Walter? No, the crates. The crates, oh. they learned the lesson. Oh, okay. They were really nice at the dance, at least, so they, they know they know how to have a civil conversation, at least. Yeah, I did inform Valentine's not this. Okay. Oh, here comes here comes the man of the hour. Something will happen till they fuck with us. The man we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's finally here. Did you get it sorted? Did you get it sorted? What did no. You give no. No matter what combination I did, even with those, uh, that input, nothing. It might be your coat as well. Oh, okay. Because I, I tried it with my... Tail. Yeah, I tried it with my trench yeah, coat and it didn't another, work either. They're in another bush now. I think we've all had issues with Asara, so don't feel bad. Uh, uh, you know, just Sheriff Bowman was just really, you know, he was really fond of that particular star. But I think, you know, Jack, would you agree that generally it's, you know, as long as it's a, you know, a, a half look, nice looking vest. Yeah, that's right. As, as long as it's that's got fair. the, as long as it's got the collar and the rest fits the, the star, it's fine. Yeah, that's oh, right. Perfect agree timing. On. Oh, you're going to bring in as like a real jacket red, of like old dinger hats or something? <laughs> I will kill you. No, I think the dinger hat should be something if you're in trouble. It's like the yeah. dunce hat. <laughs> yeah, it's like dunce hat. <laughs> it is definitely the dunce hat, that one. All right, fellas. Come on, gather around Harkness and I. we gotta, we got to bring his up to speed. All right, y'all. As you, as you probably heard by now, Sheriff Bowman's stepping down, which is a real, which is a real horrible shock. He's been a great mentor to all of us. I know he hasn't been around as much as he'd like, but he's been a real great mentor, and I'm going to... Really miss seeing him in that role, and it's a damn shame. So the governor and the government, they're in the, the process of finding a replacement and everything. So in the interim, over the next, you know, approximately seven days, he's assigned sheriff duties to both Harkness and myself. Now, I don't want any of y'all to, you know, be worried about, you know, everything being thrown, turned, the house being turned upside down, or what's going to change, this or that. It's pretty much going to be as usual. Just, you know, Harkness and I as captains as it's been. Uh, you know, just keep us up to date with what's going on. Filter things through us so that we can help you. You know, help us so we can help you. Um, so, and and we'll just you know do the best that we can as we can over the next week, and we'll, we'll just go by there. You know, we'll keep doing our jobs as we've been doing. Now, uh, Harkness and I had a quick chat. Uh, there's a few little things following the martial laws. A few little things we all got to uh, knuckle down on. Um, no, I'm not you know not singling anyone out or anything. You know, I. You know, we, we've all, I think we've all been guilty of this. We've all just been trying to have a nice presence with everybody, get to know everyone. But now after martial law, we've got to keep that... that cons Todd, get that damn horse out of here! You know what, Jack? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything if you did that. <laughs> and that's the thing. Harkness and I got a partnership going. And, uh, you know, if Jack wants to shoot Todd's horse, because Todd's horse won't behave, well... Nah, I'm kidding. But, but anyway, it is what it is. A couple of things we just need to knuckle down on. Just everyone, everyone, make a, a note Best to. Oh, for... uh, uh, Pri Private Baton, please, ma'am. Penya. <laughs> <laughs> her her, her post is still up, so she's probably. Yeah, we need to get about that. Yeah, we need to get that fixed too. That was awkward. All right, the, the couple, the, the few things for me, and then I'll hand it over to Hartness. So, what we need to be mindful of is is now handing out more fines. Now, 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 if you've got an angle with this Harkness, we'd love to hear it. I'll just get out you know, the, no, dope, no, uh, the dot points out of the way. Anything, like, we've got these big things on the horizon. You know, we've got the Mr. Black, Mr. Wilds, uh, Ivory, this and that running around. They've sub said about their guns. They're taking Todd's every chance they get. It's a, it's a menace. But we've got to keep an eye on the small things as well. These include people speeding through town on a wagon or horse. Uh, this is people not parking their wagon or horse appropriately in town. This is people carrying long arms in town. It, you know, a lot of these little things that, you know, just maintain, you know, the average folk feeling safe in town. So at this point, Hogness and I feel confident that a lot of word of mouth has gotten around. So that by now, it's time to start putting our foot down. Now, I'm of the opinion that uh, we start finding them. But we start at a, a, you know, at a small value, maybe like 10 20 $25. And then we go up in increments for each offense. So if they're doing these, like, you know, say one time, long arm off on their back, little $10 fine. Next thing, we see him speeding. It's like, well, I've already told you about this. You know, 
judgment call on how their behavior is, maybe that's another ten dollars. But say you see them do a repeat offense, well, I've already, you know, we've already fined you ten dollars. This time it's going to be twenty dollars until you until it gets stuck in your head, just like that. So okay. keep, keep it nice, and simple, but just be a lot, be polite about it. Okay. Uh, you know they're going to get very mouthy about this, George. They will. Oh, so it's Gilbert. just going to have to be very delicate about it and just, you know, make sure to reiterate that martial law has been a thing. These are the laws. They should brush up on the laws and give them, provide them some, don't tell them your life story, but context is, you know, if everyone's wearing long arms, then someone brings a cannon. People are trying to walk their kids to school, go to church. Um, you know, we, we don't want... Speaking of uh, pe pe people should know the laws, they claim that laws haven't been uh, posted by the government anywhere. And that they say, well, that's not really a law, is it, until it's been in written down somewhere. God damn it. We're still yeah. waiting on those penal codes from him. Yeah, they're like, nice. oh, you know, uh, well, bites are not illegal because it's not written down anywhere. Well, bullshit it isn't. So just tell him I'll walk you up, shoot you in the head. That's not illegal. <laughs> <laughs> um. Also, yeah, just the... Like a lot of people talk about, like this is the operating the standard operation. Yes, I can't speak English. The standard operating procedure, blah blah blah. And it's like, well, technically we don't have one right now. Yeah, we don't actually. So, is there any way we could somewhat expedite a a carbon copy kind of thing, a smaller version, just to work on from the start? So if people do start infringing and stuff like that, you can actually quote uh, said SOP and tell them they're doing the wrong thing, etc. I guess the other question is, George, I'm uh, sorry, to, uh, it's along the same thing on, on our operating procedures in that, you, you know, you speak about warnings for people and things like that. How many warnings are you wanting to us to give? Just one or two? Two. Two. Okay. They should know for martial law. Oh, I'd let them know if they came a car and you got to find them 50 bucks because that's the fine they get seven days. Community mm -hmm. service. Well, we can't do community though, can we? Oh, it's hard labor for seven days. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. Does hard then... labor work? Mm hmm with the uh log arms on the back I, I was under the impression that was just martial law or is that now just uh, it's always been a thing yeah okay right in yeah in, in any town yep but uh we're at the point now where yeah at, at the very least fines need to be need to be going out now okay. you know if they're if they're coming back at you hard or you know they're taking it too far you know jail time as well but okay. we we need to be seeing that those fines you know like jack says you know one or two verbal warnings is fine but it might be a, a good just to keep yourself a notepad handy. Uh, make mm -hmm. sure you get names. Make sure you check an ID to keep track of, you know, keep a tally. You know, Joe Joe Smith down the road, you know, told him once about speeding with a wagon. Told him once about this. Just so we can be thorough. And then share those around when you can with incident reports so we can all keep up to speed with that. Okay. But, um, but uh, yeah, keep in mind of all those small things is, yeah, that's uh, the main thing I'm thinking about. So yeah, over to you, over to you, Jack. I want you to say actually what we need to do. Special people out carrying their guns on the back. Mm -hmm. And we need to chase down people for their fines too. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Who has access to, to be able to well, see What if they Have just they say no? Uh, they know. They, they, they know. Okay. Is there any way we can see a list? Ah, uh, there who is. Uh, captains, corporals can check it, sheriffs. Oh, okay. There should be a list. That's well, if it works. Maybe, maybe it could tell us, hey, uh, A, B, and C have still got outstanding fines, so if you see them, chase them up on them. Yeah. That's if it even lets us know who's got fines. Oh, okay. It works occasionally. The paperwork draw, the door, the draw opens occasionally, then it doesn't. Oh, fantastic. Is there any way you could uh, request an input of something that similar to like a fine book? Where yeah, we can have a chat to them about that. Repeat offender. You know that they've literally yeah, not going to pay that fine. I think I mentioned that to him as well. Yeah. But he start taking out people's pockets. So once idea, people realise that, oh shit, I'm actually going to lose money, they'll, they'll stop doing crime. Hey, Still uh, pays fines. Yeah. Do uh, we want to scare those uh, those bush watchers over there and just run at them? Oh, well, they're not doing anything wrong, Ted. Uh, I know, it'd just be funny though to just watch them like run away. I know, but, but here's the other thing I wanted to, to mention is that Going back to, you know, all I'm talking old training that just about everybody should go through is that we, I know it's going to be tough with all this 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 pressure with fines, but we want to be setting forth setting forth a good example. Um, 
And now, you know, I mentioned, you know, speeding through town on horseback, uh, parking, you know, finding a place to leave your horse when you're in town. You know, I'm not saying don't take your long arms off if you feel you need it on your patrol, but we don't want to be seen speeding through town, leaving our horses just anywhere. You know, we want to lead by example. And some words of wisdom I received a long time ago with old training is, uh, you know, you don't have to be friends with everybody, but you should strive to be friendly with everyone. Uh, the law department should be should, people should feel comfortable coming to us for help and have a chat. Okay. You don't, don't don't need to hear their life story. It's just we got we got to be see t tough but fair. Okay. They finally fixed the penal codes. Oh, they, they have. Yep. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Like, all, all of them. Looks like I've checked most of them. Looks like they're oh, all working. Fantastic. So they did work on the. Uh... Um, also, oh, also, also uh, there's something I want to bring up. I know it doesn't happen on our side at all, but um, I've heard, you know, people say, hey, they see the East guys tackling each other and roping each other up in the street and all this over there. And it's a, you know, it's starting to paint a bad light on all sheriffs, you know? Shit. Well, that's not good. We yeah, do not want transfer. that here. It's a little here. embarrassing, you know? It was that's why all these had issues. Transfer, as Harkness knows. And the, that's why the lady the, hasn't been around us a lot. Yeah, either. The, the manner of unprofessionalism in that jurisdiction is quite high. Yeah, I, I don't know what we do. Like, if you want to mention to the governor about it or something, it's, it rubs off on us when people are like, well, you guys just, you know, do all this. And it's like, well, actually, we, we don't rope each other into street boys, you know? Like, we, we don't do that. That's right. And we, we pride ourselves here in the West that we don't, we don't do that. We, we civilized human beings here. I don't know what they're doing down in Saint Denis, hanging out down at those damn cocaine dens or whatever they're doing. Who knows what they're doing? But let's keep let's keep putting our good foot forward. But we, Hogness and I, will see to that. We'll talk to the governor. We'll talk to the marshal. I'll I'll head on over to Saint Denis myself, and I'll I'll have try and have a chat with Sheriff Luce. And you know, you know, I'm not going to go around there and into another jurisdiction and tell them what not to do. Oh, but I'll go no, there and no, it's just... I might just have a conversation. Well, you know, as I said, I've had a, just a couple of people come out and say things. That's not good. I'm like, oh. Talk to Jeb. He's their internal affairs. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, uh. Oh, speak of the marshal. Yeah. And the governor. Oh, here he comes. No, that's good to bring up, Todd. You know, all of y'all, hold your head up high. Hold your head up high and set a good example. We, we, we have something to tell you, governor. We know what's right. We know the difference between right and wrong. We want everyone to be safe. We want to, we want to do the best we can for this country. So we just got to. Lead by example, and yeah, we'll try and deal with that. Woodman, do you want to bring up what you were told by people? Uh, uh, the governor, since he's here. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Woodman. What, what are you, you going to tell me? Uh, yeah, they, everyone just wanted to say that they're really happy that my horse gets to sleep in your office now. What about the other thing you Oh, okay. Uh, no, so I've had some people come up and, and, and say to me that uh, they see the East Department, like, running around hog-tying each other and pushing each other over in the streets and all that. You know, while they're on duty in their blue vest, etc., and that you know they don't take us seriously in a way because they see people doing that. And and who's been telling you this? Oh, just just some little uh, local folk. I I don't I don't want to name names for various reasons, you know. Um, but uh, you know, a few concerned citizens are saying, "Hey, kind of looks bad for the department with uh, these people doing this," you know. So. You're telling me you're protecting people with saying things about the thing. Now, I'm all for 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 making sure that they're doing a job, a good job, and being honest, we're about to head up there, so that's something I'll bring up. But you know, I just want to make sure you boys aren't trying to, you know, I know you boys have a little competition with the with the East, but I want to make sure it's all fair and games. This ain't just some little little prank you're trying to play on the governor to try and you know get get some you know bonuses or something. Uh, no, we don't no, have a competition no. with Bruno. No, yeah. no prank or anything. Well, I hope you boys are having a little competition because that I, how am I going to distribute the funds when it comes to the end of the month? No, I, I, just, I just feel people should be able to come up and, you know, voice the concerns and confidence about, you know, me having to say their names. That's all, Mr. Governor. Well, yeah, I'd have to, uh, I respect just, their just right. Just a little add on to that. I, I can't I, concur I, with him I, being I from the I, East. I can't get my hands down, mm. by the way. <laughs> think about, uh, if you, if you just point, just, think, just point at me, you, you'll, you'll be able to put them down. Yeah, um, one of the one of the one of the reasons I did move to the west, not just to help out the uh, the uh, jurisdiction, due to the fact that they were very low in numbers, was the unprofessionalism is pretty like it's known. 
by most. So mm. I didn't really want to, you know, sleep with that kind of type of people that just run around and they do lasso each other. They do screw around. They do fight each other. Well, look, boys, mm. I don't, I don't mind if you y'all having a little bit of fun, but if you're doing all the fucking duty, then we've got a problem. And I'm taking this is all while on duty. Correct. Well, then I have a fucking problem. All right, Marshall. Well, we know where we need to be right now. Well, Let's go. It. Anything else you boys didn't tell me before we head off? Uh, uh, thanks for the tacos yesterday. No problem, boys. You deserve to have a night off every now and then. Thank you. We keep we it up, have... boys, and I'll be treating y'all to fucking. We should have a, uh, a share of bucks in that one night. Also, been, I'm assuming you know about the Twitter D and Twitter Dom in the bushes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Just following on what, what the governor said just then as well is that yeah, it's coming from the top that it's encouraged that don't feel the need to be on duty every every second of every waking moment of every damn day. Uh, you have the right to you're entitled to your own free time, you know, when appropriate. And what you do with your time is you know as long as as long as it's within the the laws of this fine country, then it's all good. But uh, you know, you know, speaking from example, you know, you, again, you want to be putting your best foot forward. You know, go go make friends. Go. You know, go ask someone to, you know, go hunting, go go to dinner or something. But, uh, you know, I'll speak from experience, boys. Uh, I've recently given up the drink. I uh, I may have had a, I may have uh, followed a snake bite whiskey with a mojito a little too fast at the formal What's dance. Mojito? It's, it's really crazy drink. It uh, caught me by surprise. And I may have thrown up all over my suit at the uh, formal dance. I was lucky the, the governor was there. He helped me wash up in the river. But I felt like a damn fool at the time. So just, you know... Don't, don't don't do anything worse than that, all right? It has those drinks with the the green leaves in it. Yeah, it, it yeah, I think that caught me of god. It was a you Yeah. You didn't swallow them, did you say? No, it's the you know, I was having a good time. I think I was talking to Jeb and his Mrs. Lily and the next thing I know I'm on my ass and I felt like an ass and just so, you know, don't as an acting sheriff, you know, I've been there just it yeah, try not to Try not, try not to, please, you know, follow my lead, but not anything but that, please. So. Lead by example, unless the example is that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, pace yourself so, with everything in life, everything in moderation, and pace yourself, and walk, and keep, stay hydrated. But, but yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah, Harkness and I also had the, you know, on the same page that maybe uh, we split up the group again tonight. Uh, a group goes out on patrol and another group stays sort of in the Blackwater area and, you know, over time we can look at a swapping if a, if the numbers allow. You didn't want to do a big group thing first between the towns and then do that? Well, with all these fines we want to be giving out, uh, you know, we got at least enough people for three and three. Uh, okay. Cover more ground. Definitely. A group of four, what are three? Four and three. Oh, no, three. Oh, yes. God damn right, that! Seven, seven, seven. What, the, what the hell is this? This is good. Like one of this four. Is good <laughs> yeah, we've never seen this before. <laughs> so we got to take advantage of a woodman while the while the you know strike while the iron's hot, as the blacksmiths yeah. say. Yeah. Well, the bl we need to find that blacksmith, don't we? Yeah. We should have <laughs> walked up black, to that guy. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> oh God, yeah, he's gonna strike something else. That son of a bitch. All right. All right, fellas. Well, that's that's enough me blabbing on. Let's. Let's stretch our legs and, you know, make sure you have a good time while you're doing it. Well done. Yes, sir. We'll head up to Valentine and Ivan. Yeah, Sledging. Take Woburn and. How many should we leave down here? Three or four? Oh, look. You don't know. You guys have no idea what you're heading up to. You take as many as you feel you need, Harkness. Oh, okay. Valentine's take turning four. into uh, Blackwater before the. Well, what would they call that thing again? That. Yep. Someone help me out here. English Martial band. law. Martial law. I was trying to think of the word. Uh, so Valentine, I feel like it's turned into Blackwater pre-martial law. Yeah, it's yeah, a, there's mad. a lot of lawlessness there. It's a weird one. You don't know what Walter Gold's... <laughs> you don't know what side of the bed he's gotten out of. You don't know who's I, pissed I, I off. I can't trust Walter anything he says at all. No. I couldn't, I couldn't trust Walter as far as I could throw him. And the amount of times I've heard of you know, firefights up there that I've missed or I've come in and find he's at the doctor's. Yeah, yeah, Jack, you take you take all you need. I'll I'll make do here until you get back and then we'll we'll swap or something. Let's grab. Don't grab. Yeah, and Levi. Sucks. Let's walk and go. With Woburn. 
you and myself. Well, you didn't want to take the, the recruits up there, like the the, the younger fellas. Well, well it's, it's probably, it's probably good down here so I can learn this town first. Alright. That's right, we can walk and talk. Yeah, it'd be good to get to meet George anyway. Ah, right, fellas, good luck. Thanks. Alright, who's down here with me? Uh, I'm down here. That'll be me, sir. Cyrus, good to see you as always. You too. And, uh, who we got here? I'm um, Joseph Kelly. Oh, Mr. I'm Kelly! A... Yeah, yeah, I was to sign up yesterday, but no one's around, so... Oh, damn it. Have we met before? Uh, we met before, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Kelly, yeah. First, first time I was in county, actually. Oh, that's right. No, well, good to see you, Mr. Kelly. Well, we'll the sounds good, Jack. Be safe. You too, George. Uh, good to see you, Mr. Kelly. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, I haven't seen Mr. Kelly in a, in a while. Damn it. It's, yeah, uh, I was, um, a couple of, you know, out of, I was out of county for a bit. No, that's all right. Don't ever feel guilty about that. You know, you know, if you give us a heads up, it's appreciated, but it's not, you know, it's not necessary. You know, you do what you got to do. You got to take care of number one first. Yes, sir. All right. Well, yeah, you're in good hands. You know, well, I hope so. You know, as you've heard, Harkness and I have just been made active sheriffs over the next week. Till a... Yeah. Until something's figured out, so yo, know, I'm learning as well. I'm, I'm, you know, if you're nervous, you can be, don't feel bad. I'm, I'm damn well nervous, but we'll, we'll all get through it together. So, so what we're gonna do now, while they're out, you know, adventuring in the wilds of this fine country, we're gonna, you know, just kick back with a nice foot patrol around Blackwater, you know, the main street. Keep an eye on the intersection there. Head around the outskirts, maybe check up on the bison on the plains, and, uh, yep, yep. and as you know, you know, we're gonna be looking for, you know. A verbal warning for speeding, uh, parking, long arms, little things like that. And then if we need to, we're going to be issuing fines. We'll start low, depending on how polite they are and how reasonable they are. You know, might start at $10, then repeat offenders, you know, up to 20 30 40 you know, as it goes on. But if they're being rude, you jump up a level. You know, you, you if you're going in with, I'll oh, just give them a $10 fine, and they're, yeah, they're, you know, calling you a copper dog or something. Sorry, Bonnie, that's now twenty dollars. They do it again. <laughs> that's forty dollars. We can keep playing this game all night. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, let's walk and talk. I had some people down the dock. We'll go. We'll, we'll go down there. We'll go down this. We'll sort of come back in like a like an S shape, I guess. Hey, yep. Yo, Cam. Five stream streak. Thank you very much. Also, hello, Ash. How's everybody doing? Acting sheriff. Oh God, Captain. Just while uh, while we're walking, mm -hmm. um, when when the uh, if sorry the uh, citizen needs to be fined now. Do you Howdy, mind partner. Just, uh... Afternoon. Howdy, partner. Uh, my name's uh, Acting Sheriff George Hughes. How you doing? Yeah, good, mate. Yourself? Good. Uh, what was your name, partner? Uh, my name's Phil. Phil, would you happen to have any ID I could see, just to confirm? What about now? Does that work uh, or not? I don't actually think I do have ID, sorry. Oh, would I've you I've got a mining journal. My... Well, that's... I'm glad to hear, you, you know, it's, it's an honest trade, uh, now. It's, it's got my name on it. So let me just, uh, so that's a, a Phil, is it? Easy, give me a second. Must yeah, be Philip. One. Philip, and what's your last name, Philip? Uh, uh, McCavity. McCavity? Yeah. How do you spell that one? M-C-A-V-I-T-Y. Philip McCavity. Thank you very much. Well, look, you know this is coming from the top. It's just it's requ it's required for all citizens to get a to get a uh, an ID. Just you know, it just keeps track of your now. name, height, eye color, all the, all that fun stuff. Um, so just yeah, right. next yeah. next chance you get, you can actually get it from the the courthouse across the uh, across the field over there. Uh, oh yeah, you can't get it from there, so it's quite easy. I think it's five dollars. So you know, just next time we see each other, if you could have that. Um, also, just gonna have yeah, to no, ask. Another thing to make people feel safe in town, just so they don't feel like things could get, you know, crazy. We just ask that no one has their long arms on while in towns. Hey, easy, mate. No, it's true. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. We're just uh, we're just making sure um everybody is uh is is brought up to speed. But I th appreciate your understanding. Uh, that's all good. Um, do you know where Leroy is? <laughs> Leroy. Look, if he was here, I could guarantee you that he would have come out by now asking where there's. Where's his $50 the Lord Department owes him? 
So uh, okay. he, he hasn't asked me about that fifty dollars yet today, so I'd say he's not around yet, but you never know. The night is still young. Easy, mate. That, no stress. All right. I appreciate it. No worries. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. McCavity. You have a good one. Yeah, you too, mate. All right. Yeah. Damn it. Hello. Howdy, uh, partner. Use. Hello. Oh, Do you yeah. guys have any buckets I could have? Miss Pena, I need five minutes. I will be back. Oh, uh, okay. I, I'm afraid we don't. We're not in the business of stocking buckets, ma'am. You don't have buckets. Oh, hello. I do not have a bucket to give. Hi. Days, you are tall, sir. Holy shit. Hi. Hi. Yeah, uh, I got news. I had that uh, so. A law abiding citizen said you would uh, look doors? great in a pink poncho. Uh, no. Oh, look. Maybe not. next dance I'll wear one. All right. Uh, and just in case you don't know, Zoe, obviously over here. Is that Miss Zoe in the bush? Yep. They're now, uh, meerkatten. Now, Miss, it's Miss Penny, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey! Oh, no! Oi. <laughs> Come back here! Sir, with the long arms that push the lovely lady over, you stop. This is, this is the West Law Department. Stop. Sir, I will not be able to ask again. Please stop. Sir, might I suggest that you are pushing it? Sir, that's a stop oh, right there. Need for guns. Sir, I've asked you quite a handful of times now to stop mate. running. Now that's that's enough. Lol, not lollygagging. No, let, let me step back. There you go. All right, you gonna stop now? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm puffed out. All right. Okay, now can we have a can we have a conversation? Is that all right? Yeah, if you stop pointing that gun at me. Absolutely, just. Ask you ask yourself a few times and you just kept running. All right. Now you understand you just push push a lady over for no no good reason, right? Oh, there was a good reason. Why'd you, what what good reason is that? She pushed me over before. So if I go ask her that she's pushed you over, will she will she admit to that, or what reason did she have to push you over? Oh, if if she's a law-abiding citizen, she's definitely going to admit to it, isn't she? Now look, instead of pushing her over, you could have come to the law department and made a report about that, couldn't you? I uh, could have, but uh, wouldn't that make me a snitch? Well, I guess anybody that, you know, wants to get some help from the law would be snitches, but, you know, we're, that's what we're here to do, to, to deal with those sorts of situations. Yeah, I'm great enough that I can deal with that on my own. Well, look, that, that's, that's entering in, that's entering, uh, entering some dangerous vigilante areas, sir. Now, you got a name, partner? Yeah, do all you three have names? We do. Oh, well, well, my name's Acting Sheriff George Hughes of the West Law Department. What's yours? What's this man here? Name's here. Is he right? I'm uh, Deputy Cyrus Bowman. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. What about you, fella? Uh, I'm Joseph Kelly. I'm a new recruit into the department. Nice to meet you. My name's Harry. Harry Enos. Harry! I, again, I didn't recognize you without the, the pink <laughs> racing attire. <laughs> Sorry. God damn it, Harry. I'll have, to, I'll have to wear it some more. Oh, hello. Now, yeah. Harry, I'm going to have to make it very clear that, look, I understand if you're Does frustrated, you know, if, she, if, you put, if, she, if, if she physically assaulted you, I imagine, I can imagine you'd be frustrated, okay. but please, That's mine. anything like that happens, you got to tell us first All rather right. than taking it into your hands, okay? Uh, side for me? Uh, yeah, I'm not making any promises, but uh, thank you for the All I ask is that you consider and do your best. I just don't want to have another chat like this. Now, now, I remember you from the race, but do you have ID on you for people that may not have raced with you? I don't have ID on me, no. Now, now you know they're available at the courthouse for $5, right? And that everybody should have one. Uh, no, this is the very first time I'm actually hearing about this. I don't, I don't know if I'm inclined to believe that, Mr. Enos. Hey, I've never had any trouble with the law before. Mm. No, I've only, I only recall seeing your race, and now... Now, you'll remember as well, I imagine, you know, as a frequent of the, the Blackwater region, is that we don't allow guns in towns on your back, right? Uh, that was only during martial law. Oh, well, we've had confirmation from the governor and the marshal, but that is, in fact, that is definitely a rule that we have to, you know, heavily enforce more than usual during martial law, but oh, that is right. still a standing that law. 
that's that's the first time I'm hearing about that one too. Oh well, look, now I can tell you that uh, you know, I'm making a note. I've told you about your ID, right? I've told you about long arms, okay? And I've told you about taking matters in your own hand, okay? Yo. Yeah. All right. So now, Mr. Anus. Next time, one of my, me and myself, or one of my boys has a chat with you. We're gonna need 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 to see some ID. It's within city limits. We're gonna need to see you without any guns on your back, and we're hoping to see you at the next race. All right? How much is the ID? About five dollars. You can get that from Ooh. the courthouse here in town, or your or at train stations in places like Valentine. I have another question about that, sir. Mm-hmm. Do you guys uh, put scopes on guns for hunting rifles? I believe I've heard a senior deputy woodman talk about a short scope for some rifles for hunting. Yeah. And would I come to you guys about receiving one and getting one on a gun? Or oh, I'm not. I'm not actually entirely sure, Mister. Doesn't the uh, sorry to butt in, but doesn't the blacksmith in Valentine, blacksmith gunsmith in Valentine, do it now? Yeah, is that Mister Goldman? Mister Goldman, yeah, yeah. I believe you're correct, Mister Kelly. I, yeah, I would. I would stop by the the gunsmith in Valentine. Excellent. All right. Well, we don't want to take up any more of your time, Mr. Enos, but, you know, just remember what we talked about today. Just, you know, next just time... that chicken's not raw. Oh, look, it's it's been cooking in my pocket. All right, now, if you get those long arms off your back while you're in town now, we'll, get, we'll see you on your way. You want me to take them off in front of you? That's right. Oh, oh I suppose. I don't want to have to ask again, partner. Thank you very much. There, there you go. I'm all right, Harry. You have a good since, night, okay? Since you were so nice. I'm, we're trying our best. We're not. We're just trying to make sure everybody feels safe. It's very, you know, things can quickly get out of control if everybody's carrying a damn cannon. You know what I mean? I hear that. All right. Oh, you have a good night, Mister Enos. Yeah, thank you. Look after yourselves. You too. You too. Miss Pena. Yeah. Do you have a minute? Am I, in, am I in trouble? You're not necessarily in trouble. But a very serious accusation was just made against you. Oh. Now, Mr. Enos there, he says that he pushed mm -hmm. you over on account mm -hmm. of you pushing him over. I, I hugged him. You hugged him? When did you hug him? When he came into town. Because I haven't seen him in like a week. I really missed him. So this was like a, a very aggressive hug. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? Didn't realize I weighed that much, so tonight? he did fall over. But, you know. But... Okay. Well, look. Just some people take it as yeah, interpret yeah. it as it's physical really assault. Really you know. Oh. You know, yeah, from what right. we could see, up. it looked like. You know, assaulting them running away. So I would ask, you know, oh. you know, when you see your friends, maybe just give them a nice yeah. hug no, in the fine. street. But if you want to go tackling someone, maybe take it somewhere private. Oh, all right. We've been getting up to tonight. Yeah, you're not in trouble. Now, Miss Pena. I'd like to apologize again on behalf of the department about the mix-up we had yesterday regarding the wanted poster. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's all right. Um, oh, Ames gave me $10 yeah, to go get tacos, so I felt a lot better afterwards. Oh, I'm glad to hear oh, that. You know, I, yeah. we were just doing our job. We didn't realize that there was, you know, no, this was fine. a test or something. Yeah, enjoy yeah yourself. I, was, I was very confused. I mean, Alexi made a lot of money. No, I'm just having a chat. I, I mean, <sighs> but that's that's nice. He did. Yeah, we're going to have to be very careful about that. Yeah, um, just just because like, yeah, he got a grand and I got ten bucks, but like I got tacos, so that's a positive, hey, right? Tacos, I find you know. Tacos are worth a thousand dollars. Tacos can you know time? They say time heals most wounds. Tacos heal the rest. Yeah. So well, you know, and, yeah, so, you yeah. know, focus on that good memory. But uh, you know, we're just we're just uh, you know, we keep making sure everybody's okay around Blackwater. Now, yeah, it? it was a bit weird getting hogtied and then dragged across the county just because, yeah. Oh, we Look, yeah, we only want bit, that happening to odd. people that deserve it. Definitely not yourself. What do you? Yeah. What do you do, Miss Penny? If you don't mind um, me asking. I'm a gunsmith in Saint Denis. Oh, oh, I think I went by there Ms. and I Penny's. bought a. I think I may have gone around there to buy a bolt action rifle recently. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah Miss Penny's rack. Oh, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, good to meet. Thank good to meet you. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I bought my bolt action rifle from there. Oh, amazing. Best, best uh, gun That's parts right. I can. 
possibly get are from I, uh, a lovely D Jones. I, I couldn't so find anywhere online, anywhere else, and then I went to Saint Denis. There's one with my name on it. You know, not literally, but yeah. you know what I mean. But I mean, they they had pretty reasonable prices in Saint Denis as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, everyone else was like five dollars or something. It was like what? I think by memory it was like three fifty for one. Yeah, bolt actions are three fifty. Wow. Do people sell them for more than three fifty? They were. I don't know now. Oh, I need to buy one, but. All right. Well, you can thank Miss Pena here for that, Kelly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Weren't you selling milk as well there? Yeah, Miss Pena's milk. I make it myself. All right. Gotta earn a living. Exactly. I'm quite poor, so I am trying to make a living any way I can. Um, currently in a lot of debt, but that's okay. We live and we learn. Um, so, yeah. Uh, my rack stays full. My pockets do not. Oh, well, hope, hope things turn around for you, ma'am. So we we, we understand yeah. as well time is Maybe money, so we don't want to take up too much more of your time. D d just just to confirm, do you have any ID you can produce for me right now? Um. Oh. One second. Let me check. That's all right. You got a minute. Also, B. Harrington, thank you for the follow earlier. Sorry, I have so much stuff in my... No, I don't, problem. actually. Well, you understand that the the government. Yeah, no, sorry, I put everything like my mining book ID and all that sort of stuff in um, Saint Denis um, at my gun store just purely because I've been robbed a few times and people like to steal random things. No, I understand. It's just a uh, we we just we're getting to the point where some people are saying they you know someone that they're, they're not saying someone and yeah no it's, they understand that and i've fallen martial law we just wanted to maintain order and just keep a track of things we're not meaning to be yeah, hounding people that it's just you know no no information is key so just next yep. time we see you if you could have an id to produce for us just yeah of course just, just so for that would be, keep would be great. Me. and i'm not getting but that's all right ID. just to, okay. just yeah please next time if you have that id to produce yeah. that would be wonderful yeah of course but um but apart from that is there anything we can do to help you um no yeah. um all right, we'll buy more of my guns. Been warned. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Try it again. Come and take we'll it. recommend that to the fellas. Try Miss Pena's milk. Deputy Cyrus. Um, Cyrus, you've been that, That's all I got. I might have to give it a try later. All right. Well, mate, <laughs> enjoy it. Well, Lexi had um, one last no, time. You're all good. Out, so. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Speeding that, and no, uh, ID. I'm good. I was going to leave town okay. anyways. Um, all right. You have a good night and be safe. Don't spend too much time here anyways. No worries, Thanks for your Thanks for your time, Sage. Are you going to take me home? Yeah. I had enough of these bacon boys. Bake? Bacon All right, Cyrus, boys. what are we looking at with that gentleman? Give him me a, uh, give him me a so... warning. We'll have no ID. So, uh, right no ID in speeding. Um, you know gave him a warning. Started to get a bit hostile. Love but it. then... Uh... And what was his name? I ain't going to get you in trouble. Was, Sorry? What was his name? Was that Lou? Yeah. God damn it, Lou. Okay, so that's one for ID. Mm -hmm. and, and speeding and speeding okay yeah i'm writing all these down so yeah i'm I'll... keeping a note too excellent excellent all right um, well but yeah so he sort of got a little bit aggressive but um if he arcs it up next time like it'll be uh not the base value fine but yeah it'll go up a little bit that's exactly it cyrus yeah keep a you know either write it down if you have trouble remembering these things mm -hmm. but keep a mental note of that you know because how they you know if someone's civil they can make it a lot easier for themselves. They, oh, they push it's so back. much easier. It's, well, it's like, well, how else are we going to get through them? Not only am I punishing you for speed, but now i got to punish you for having a damn horrible attitude. Exactly. Like, we live in a civilized society, God damn it. You know, how hard is it to say please and thank you? Exactly yeah, right. if you respect us, we respect you as well. That's right. It's, you know, that's exactly it. So I always come up so polite and respectful, and as soon as I'm met with aggression, I just go up a little bit and up a little bit, and then if they keep taking it there, well, it keeps going there. That's right. But, like, you try and bring it back down. Why are we seen as the bad guys? We just don't... Is it so bad that we don't want to see people getting shot in the middle of a town just trying to go, no, exactly. go about their business? I don't think so. Do we? Is, are we the bad guys for making sure the children ain't getting run over by a speeding wagon? I just want everyone to be able to... Come in here. It's a nice, pleasant place. You know, do their shopping, no one buy a gun. Get all safe when they're walking around, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's right. This is, this is the kind of country we're trying to... Oh, we got another one. All right, he's going into the stables. All right, you two want to go through that left door. I'll go through the right, and we'll have a chat to this fella in here. Sounds good.
he's one of them, uh, those magic folk that can do, do those magic tricks. Did he actually come in here or did he? I think maybe he's looking at the stables now. Was that him? Some horses with carts. Oh, who's this? Oh, who's this? Lou, is that you? No. Howdy. Howdy, partner. What's going on? We're just, we're, just, we're just catching up with a fella here. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Whoa. How did they partner? Before you head out on uh, out, we're just... Good. Sorry there, mate. Just got to ask you a few questions there, partner. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Howdy, my name's uh, Acting Sheriff George Hughes of the West Law Department. How yeah. you doing? Yeah, not bad. How you doing? Oh, not too bad. Uh, you got a name there, son? My name? Yeah. Do you, do you need to know my name? We do. As the, as the representatives of the government upon the law, we do. Yeah. Yeah, my name's a Wahash Jahash. You want to spell that for me? W A. Well, actually, better yet, you got an ID to show that? Don't have an ID, mate. Don't need to carry an ID. Actually, you do. I do? Well, where do I get an ID from? Well, in the Blackwater, you can get one from the courthouse. Would you be happy to get one of those right now? Yeah, I'll go get an ID. All right, if you could take a step off the wagon, we'll walk you yeah, over. I'll just, yeah, I'll just let this guy, tell this guy to move out of my way, and then I'll, re I'll reverse it and that. All right. Just while you're in uh, city limits, do you mind taking those uh, long arms off your back, please? Thank you, appreciate it. All right, there's a quick stroll to the courthouse, and then we'll have a quick chat, and then we'll get you on your way. Mr. My name is Mick Taylor, mate. When I was cut the bullshit, my name is Mick Taylor. Mick Taylor, <laughs> that, that, that I can pronounce. Yeah. How's it going? What's this about, mate, if you don't mind asking? We're just following the martial law. We're just uh, checking up with everyone to make sure everyone's on the same page. Oh, is there martial law here? There was. Oh. Uh -huh. And uh, it helped out a great deal. It's just we're wanting to maintain that in Blackwater. Things got a little hairy. So it's just, yep. you know, to make sure people are who they say they are, we need to see IDs. And, uh, you know, the thing about the long arms is just, if, well, if everyone's I'll, carrying I'll, a long arm, it can quickly get I'll, out of control. I'll be very, very uh, real with you, yep. officer. I'm very, very new to this county, so I don't know what the fuck's going on, but... Oh, no, that that's all right. Look, we're not we're not here to... We're not here to get any in trouble. We're, we're here mainly to educate people that haven't heard this before, get them set up, and then, and then hopefully that's it. Oh, beautiful. No, just, uh, yeah, just a uh, courthouse. The, the the big one. You know, that's where the governor works as I'll well. I'll just run over there. Yo, Bellstrad, how you doing? Oh, I should just be here at the desk. But yeah, you just got to fill out like yeah, your heart, your eye color, hair color, things like that. Do I register or we'll get get identity card? Or a uh, register yeah. card if it's your first time. What the fuck? I know it, it's confusing at first. Oh. Howdy. 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 I just saw your telegram used. You still need that meeting? Oh, yeah. Look, it wouldn't hurt after this. Just to be oh, safe. Okay. Had a heavy law stream today. Tyron but good, but had to say hi. I appreciate that, Saint. Um, I'm glad you're, glad you're enjoying the... I'm glad you're enjoying your time on the server. Especially like another person streaming the the medical perspective, which is great, because then people can have an under, understanding of what the hell the doctors do and that they're there to help people.
Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> oh, she oh, she is Balistrad. She saved the governor from wolves. <laughs> Absolute oh, hello. hero. <laughs> hello. Uh, yep. Howdy, Mick. Uh, howdy. Um, yeah, I don't have enough money to pay, to be honest. I just bought a wagon. Hey, how much you need, I can send you. I think I need... Hang on. I think it's five. Yeah, it is. It is five. What's your special number? And then I need I need six just to get a copy too. Also, and my lucky numbers are oh, one, two, four, one, two, four. Oh, Donna, when you register the first one, you get an initial copy. You get the original. Oh, that's a shame, Scrat. Maybe some spots will free up later on. Oh, I think some other people have asked about that in tech support. There should be an answer there. I have an experience. Oh, it's all done. All right, if you could just show that for me, and then we'll, then we'll call it a day. Uh, so you just... Oh, perfect. There you go, Mr. Taylor. Perfect. Oh, it didn't work. The, oh, the photo didn't work. No, no. The photos are the photos are appreciated, but it's not it's not essential to get straight away. So just take your time with that, and. Uh... We'll go from there. So we appreciate that, Mr. Taylor. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to see to that. Um, and no, I was stressed that. out. I thought I did something wrong, man. No, no. We just saw the long arms. Just want to make sure we're, you know, letting you know, checking up on some things. That is all. But, you know, time is money. We'll let you get back to it. Thank you, mate. Thank you for your understanding. No worries, Mick. Have a good one. All right. Well, look, it's good. That we've had some real polite people so far today. Yeah, it's been good. We're keeping a record of that. Good. All right. Well, well, boys, uh, look, I just got to have a quick meeting here. Um, mm -hmm. Might uh, head to the department or maybe grab an office here. We'll talk about that. If you boys just want to head on down the main street, just to, you know, foot, foot patrol as we've been doing, once the meeting's done, I'll come find you. Yep, yeah, all copy. Good. All right, good stuff, boys. Like what I'm seeing. Keep that. Uh, where, would you, where would you like to talk? No, we can go anywhere in here. Come into the governor's office if we want. <laughs> all right, if, if you're sure. Just don't sit in the big chair. He might be able to tell. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, just recently, uh, a, a friend of mine, Miss Cynthia Taylor, uh, not Taylor, I'm thinking about Mick Taylor, Miss Cynthia Wheeler, God damn it, she ever found, if she found out I said that, she'll kill me. Yeah. Please don't tell her I called her Cynthia Taylor. Um, no, save with me. Um, Cynthia Wheeler, she recently told me, you know the way you had your investigation about Mr. Alexi? Yep. So she... Uh, she got wind of this, and uh, she's told me privately that she actually, uh, when she was, uh, you know, new in Saint Denis or Rhodes or somewhere like that, he actually offered her some drugs, and uh, you know, told her it was just a cigarette. I can tell you, based on what she described, it was not a cigarette. Okay. And he's a. Uh, she saw that he would just do this with you know just about anybody he could. She also noted. That when she was getting started hunting, he tried to give her a hand. Now, he was offering to loan her a wagon. And she says that he's got a number of little blue wagons that all look the same. Very much like hers that she's got now. But uh, she noticed that when he, you know, went to the stables one time to get one, he was panicking. He was very scared that he had given her the wrong wagon. Okay. Um, I'm not, I can't remember exactly if she took a look inside or not, but, uh, you know, based on a few things she's seen, she's, uh, very concerned and she's, uh, you know, wishes she had known that this was an ongoing thing so that she could come forward sooner. So, um, she tells me that she recently spoke to Mr. Lieutenant. Okay, yeah, I might have to, I'll find him and see what he's got. But yeah, so yeah, if you wanted to speak to him about it, or if you wanted to speak to her directly, I believe I gave you her post ID. Uh, did you? 
Uh, let me... If I didn't, let me give it to you now. Because she's very willing to help. She's one of the new uh, uh, medical recruits. Oh, okay. Uh, her, so her post ID is 468. Right, perfect. Oh, yeah, just yeah, get a hold of her and uh, I'm sure she'd be happy to, you know, come meet you whenever, whenever it suits to talk more about it. She just... She's, you know, just mindful. She doesn't want, you know, I, I explained that, you know, it's not like you're going to go yelling from the rooftops about it, but she just wants to make sure there's some, you know, anonymity. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. All right, but, but yeah, that, that's essentially it. Oh, perfect, Jesus. I'll, I'll look into it. Let's see what I can't find out. No worries. Happy to help, Frank. I just, just wish I could have learned this sooner. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, well, hopefully this will help for, for next time. You got a, you got a, you got an eyewitness. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Well, that's all I got for you. I better, I better get back to those new boys. We gotta. Did you hear? Sheriff Bowman's stepping down. Oh no, I didn't hear. Why's that? He's just got a bit too much on his plate. So uh, for the next week, uh, Harkness and I are acting sheriffs. We're sharing okay. the responsibilities, just as we were with, as captains anyway. But uh, yeah, we're, over the next week, we're gonna see what happens, and then they're gonna find a replacement or do a vote or something. So you know, not how I saw my day going. Yeah, Jesus. Didn't see that coming. It's a, yeah, I'm just a little nervous about all the responsibilities, but I'm, I'm happy to step up to the challenge. I just hope I've learned enough. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, Frank, I don't want to keep you. I better go find those boys. All right. Let's get back to it. Time's a-wasting. You stay safe, you. You too, Frank. Good to see you. Well, that was fast, but not too fast, I think. Use the governor? Oh god, please. One at a, one thing at a time, Steampunk. One thing at a time. Smiley's doing a fantastic job. That's too much. I'm not even 100% sure if I want to take on the sheriff role. I'd hate for the George Hughes streams to just turn to him at a desk doing paperwork and meetings. That'd be fucking boring. That's right, there will always be some silliness with old Hughes, Rando. Had it, partner. Had it, Don't mean to interrupt. You looks like you're heading to work or something. You got a minute? I got a minute as long as I ain't for the Lord and Savior. Oh no, not Lord and Savior. I'm um, I'm with the Law Department. You with the Law? Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm acting sheriff for uh, George Hughes. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, you got a name there, partner? Uh, it depends. Well, it's... I definitely have a name. Well, I'm gonna need to know that name, or if you got some ID you can produce for me? I just went through this with a couple of colleagues up out east. I don't have... I don't have uh, ID. I will be getting some. Right, so, you know, they've told you to... It's very important to get ID as soon as possible, and you haven't done that? No. This is about five minutes ago. Alright, Pond, I'm now gonna need you to just take a step off the wagon. Why would that be? 
We're gonna have to have what, a bit more of a chat. Wrong? Well, you've you've just admitted to not, you know, respecting the urgency of getting an ID from the West, Lo the East Law Department. Oh, I have to get off. Thank you, partner. All right, Mister. Just give me a sec. I just got to get out my notebook and pen. You got a first name at least? I do. Alright. And whilst I'm God fearing, I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate my country stepping on my rights. Your rights? But you, you're aware that, you know, we've got, we've got laws and rules that, that keep people safe, maintain order, right? Was I breaking any laws or rules or was I just, uh, Riding my horse through town, leaving. Well, I was also going to mention that you got a long arm on your back, and you were going a bit fast down that main street with your wagon. But the, the main concern today is that, you know, you, you've been instructed by the East Department for an ID. And now, I've had a chat with you here in the West, but you haven't really had a, made any effort to go get one. Well, as I told you, that was about five minutes ago, you know, there. I was coming to town to sell some opal, sell some wine, and I'll be leaving. I'm not looking for trouble with you. I ain't looking to get trod on. I, I know. I'm coming here to sell some things and leave peacefully. I understand now, that. It's just I'm going to... like you. See, I'm from down south, all right? Down south. We have manners. We speak to each other correctly. We don't go sticking our noses or our face in other people's business. And we go along our business. I understand I'm that. that you may be from the north and you come out west. That's right. Yeah, yeah I grew yeah. up around the Boston area. Yeah, well, I think you might have your aspirations mixed up with capabilities here, son. Well, I've, I've been, you know, been made well aware of a... Uh... You know, the duties we have to perform here as, as lawmen in these parts by the governor himself. And yeah, uh, duties and having to and performing. See, well, the way I look at it, you're like a bird just flying in there. You don't understand what's really going on around you. Well, and maybe you might just be better off getting back on your horse, leaving me to my business, and you go about your business and you hassle somebody else for their ID. I'm not meaning to hassle you, sir. Oh, I think you are. I think you're sticking your face in my business, and I don't appreciate it. And I think it's damn right unconstitutional. I didn't fight in some fucking southern war to have a man like you stand over me. Well, I'm afraid if you're going to be, you know, coming to places like Blackwater or Civilized Society, you're just going to have to deal with the fact that us lawmen are just doing our jobs. Yeah, and I was leaving Blackwater, and I won't be, I won't be fucking coming back here anytime soon. Oh, we'll be making sure of that. I'm going to be issuing you a fine today for $10. Why is that? You failed to, uh... To stand on my rights? You failed to, uh, produce ID. How, how far, how hard can you tread on the Constitution before you step right through it? This is, this is pretty light, considering all the other laws we got in Boy, this country, Barna. Listen. I think you're out here justifying your existence, and I don't appreciate it. Just to find my job. That's right. That would be the definition. Well, if you got a problem with it, you're welcome to a, I don't know, go to a lawman or a, a court Aren't or a governor a or something. I, that's right, I am. Oh, so what? This old handover standover. Well, sir, I will be issuing you a, a fine for $10. The failure yeah. to produce ID today. You will have five business days to pay that. If you do fail to pay that, the the fine will increase and we could be looking at jail time. Put your hands up. I don't want any trouble now. Put your hands up. They're up. Now turn around. All I want to do is come here, sell my goods and leave. 
And you're still yeah, welcome to do, do that. Now. Walk up here. Walk up the hill behind this barn. The barn? Okay, get walking. Around the left or the right? Don't get smart with me. You, you presuming I know my left and right? You fucking trying to trick That's me? That's not what I'm saying. I just... Hey, hey, there's, hey. A, there's a bit very long... Smart. There's a very long fence. Don't get smart. Just, I might get trigger happy. We might have been walking five minutes around just a walk fence. towards the wall. This wall? Walk towards the wall. Yep. Now, I'm going to trust you that you're just going to face the other way. I'm going to tie you up now, and I'm going to be on my way. All right. Any trouble from you, be sure willing, I'll put a fucking bullet through the back of your head. I'm complying. I'm facing the wall. My right. hands are up. Let's see what you got in your pockets there. You're gonna make this a lot harder for yourself in the long run, partner. Oh, look at that. I got an ID now. What's your name? My name is Acting Sheriff George Hughes of the West Law Department. Oh, look at that. My name is Acting George Hughes of the West Department. I'll give that back now. You make this a whole lot worse than it needs oh. to be. Is that a threat? It's not. It well, it's a promise, really. Boy. If I ever see you again, I'll be fucking giving you a haircut with my shotgun. Is that a threat? You threatening a man that's tied up on the ground? Wait, you mistaken me for a man with proper morals. Seems I did. Indeed. If I ever see you around, hassle me again. I'll be shooting first. I won't be asking questions. Well, Pond, if we see you in town, you'll be damn sure we're bringing down the hammer with threats to a law, man. Ah! Boy, shut the fuck up. Shut your breeches, bro. I'll be on my way now. So how do you give the, the fine? I don't know. So I wanted to give it to him like right there and then. Like if there was like a, like when I was in Bill Player. Oh, now that won't come up. Like while I was in Bill Player, like in here, you know, I don't know his name, but I can put in the ID because it's like I'd be handing it to him, right? But then there's like, I did that. So, you yeah, 44. But I don't know the penal code, but where do I find that? But then there was no, like, spot to be like, you know, done. Where it's like, it's the act of like, here's the fine ticket. You got to pay this. You know, we've got it on record. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, law, so law bill? See, it's just, that's, that's the frustrating part about playing the, a lawman with the, the reset, is that we've got all these systems in place, but it's not very clear, um... It's really not clear, like, how we do a lot of the basic things to do the job. Like, it's it's really difficult. Oh. Oh, dear. 
That's what I get for bringing up a menu while 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 lying down. Let's have a look in the Discord. Because ideally, I was trying to like hand it right then and there. Like boom, you've got a boom, you've got a here's a fine, you got to pay it. Um. So last we heard, oh, it's now it's it's Bill underscore player. Like that's the last thing Bowman said on the fifteenth. But then, how do we find the penal codes? How do we how do we know what the the penal code is for like not showing ID? Oh dear, I think I've I think I'm gonna have to relog. I think I've broken something. Oh no. I don't let's 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 find out. So yeah, you do that. Oh, So you gotta put you gotta put the the fucking the, yeah okay but where, where do you find penal code? Um, and I'm pretty sure he did. I think I had one on me. Nah, we don't we don't have it in the newspaper, and we've never done that. Um. Uh, I just, I just want them to give us all the commands for all this stuff. Like, this is really hard. It's really hard to roleplay as a lawman if you're having to stop every two seconds and second guess how you do basic stuff. And then, like, I'm looking through the Discord. There's no, like, clear, like, this is how you do it. Because it keeps fucking changing. And then it doesn't work. It's really frustrating. Like, where do I find the fucking penal code? Can't, like, I can't remember. We haven't used it for weeks. Well, we're meant to be able to address, like, reference these, th like, reference these things on the fly. Patch notes. Um. Like all it says is Bill Player. Where where do we find the penal code? I'm messaging Smiley. Oh! Let's... Reports. Speak of the devil. Thanks, mate. Alright, let's find out what the damn thing is. Okay. Penal code. ID. Uh... Failure to identify. 404. 404! Bill. Player. Any day now. 44. 404. Failure to produce ID. Fine amount. $10. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. I am writing that down because I'm sick of forgetting it. Slash reports. Slash bill. 
underscore player. Now I'm suspecting there'll probably be someone coming in the Discord being like, what the fuck, why did I get a fine out of nowhere? After the interaction. But if we'd had clear instructions, I would have just given it then and there. But if that's not cool, then they can revoke the other the thing. I don't care. Oh! My needs are gone. Ah! Scuffed! Oh, they're gone. Nutties! <laughs> Bringing up one of those hides your needs and you can't bring them back. Fuck. Every time, it, I swear it changes every time. My needs are gone after looking in reports or billing someone. One or the other, my needs are gone. I can't bring them back. So for a while, it was this. I needs visible. Oh, no, it's lowercase v. Lowercase v. Lowercase v. Some require a capital letter, some require lowercase. That is also confusing. I'm sorry I'm being very blunt right now. But it's just, it's frustrating. Just trying to get to the point. But that's good now that you put in the, the player's number to find them and it then doesn't show their name, so... So usually, people that know what they're doing don't just, you know, be like, Oh look, I magically know their name now because I've used a magic menu. Like, no, that's not fair. That's just a game mechanic that we're meant to ignore. But now you hide it from the people that can't help themselves. Because some people need to have that explained. That is that, that is George? cheating. Oh, George. Yeah, is hey, George. Careful fellas, there's a... There's a hillbilly walking around. His name is Acting Sheriff George Hughes. <laughs> I find a fella ten dollars, he hog ties me, and he uh, steals my ID. Oh shit. And he threatens Bloody to hell. shoot me with a shotgun. So look, I didn't get a name. Uh rude fella, Caucasian male, stupid overalls, dumb brown hat, he rides a wagon, has a shotgun, and he's got oh, my ID. Wait, is he the same guy that wears those like um those lamps on him with the fireflies? No, oh, no, definitely different fella, much different okay. voice. Just but thought I'd confirm that. But yeah, this fella, he's he also a... also rides a carriage thing. So yeah, I don't... Okay. Don't really have much more to go off, but uh... That's it. So, yeah, he's cool, got my ID. Back. I'll go get another one. Alright. Yep. Oh dear. I think Do he may have taken some... He headed, or...? He headed... I just came back from it. Uh, he took me behind the barn up on the hill there. Uh, he yep. headed off in that direction across the plains. Uh, I don't yeah. know if he was going mining, hunting... No idea. Uh, well, but... Most uh, criminals are stupid around here, so they tend to come back to the scene of the crime quite often. Well, <laughs> he's, he's saying, look, if I come back into town, he, he's like, if I ever see you again, I'm going to shoot you. I'm like, okay, let's just keep, let's just keep, uh, you know, piling on the offenses. You know, he's a, he's, he, you know, he took me passage. He's threatened to kill me. He shot at me. Take my ID. I think he's taking some money. Uh, yeah, so. Did you just see that guy? See, I, for weird. a second, I thought that no, might be him. No, it's not him. Part. Okay. I'm gonna go tell him someone to get guns off their back. I'll be yep. back. No worries. Good. I'll go with you. I'll go What's find it? a... Kelly and Cyrus have been doing well. They've... Yeah, that's good. Of course, of course, when I go and try and deal with one by myself, it's Hillbilly Joel <laughs> that t ties me up. <laughs> God damn we'll it. Find him, I'll go tell him about it. Hey, fellas. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. Ah, oh, boys. Ah, oh, boys, boys, boys. You won't believe what just happened to me. What happened? Oh. Well, if you see a fella, a rude fella, wearing overalls and a dumb brown hat on a wagon, and he doesn't want to take his long yeah, arm off, a very good chance he's got my ID. Uh, just, uh, oh, okay. Like this so, uh, oh, believe yeah, it or not, he's now, uh, is, uh, kind of, uh, long arms his name is now, uh, his name is now, uh, they're fine. Acting Sheriff George Hughes. As soon as you get out of oh, town. Shit. Uh, so that was, was that blue overalls or? Now, uh, I think that were blue. Yeah, okay. A light color anyway. So. But yeah, 
Now, here's a here's a good reminder as to why you don't go and deal with these people by yourself. I, I thought I spotted him, thought I could have a quick chat, deal with him, but no, he took me up behind the barn and threatened to kill me. Right, okay. He's oh, taking my ID and he's taking some money, I think. I can't confirm, but I gave him a $10 fine. He was refusing to do that, and then he pointed a gun at me, the whole drill. So that's another great reminder of if these people look a little, you know... Like sketchy. A little sketchy, yeah. Man, take photos, take notes, and maybe wait till you got back up, you know. Yeah, yeah. No harm in that, as I can, as I can uh, give an example right now. Well, uh, Joseph and Joseph and myself um, have been uh, rolling around, and we stopped someone before, and he was very polite. All of the people we've had so far have been good, which I'm, is uh, yeah. amazing. I'm glad you fellas have had a good streak. Well, my Sorry streak has yours. been broken. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm here to tell you the tale. Yeah. Well, hopefully well, you're right after your ordeal. Now, do y'all need a reminder of how to deal with fines? I was I was asking you that before before we uh. Yeah, I haven't done. Yeah, is it would it be in the report book or how do you do fines? All right, like Philo's shown. It gets a little confusing, but this is what I've this is what I've just remembered now. So before you go and issue the bill, you want to find out what exact what law they've broken. So you want to think of t uh, t slash reports. Yep. Then you want to go find the penal code you're looking for. So I was looking for you know fail to identify or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You find the number corresponding with that. With that one, is 404. Close that book down. Get that book out of here. Then you want to think of T slash Bill underscore player. Yep. Follow it. You've got their lucky number. You've got, you put the penal code in. You write the reason you're quick. I put, you know, fail to produce ID. You follow those steps, and then bada bing, bada boom, you've issued the fine. Okay. So it's Can a two step, two step Sorry. process. Yep. When you, uh, when you do the, when you think the fine underscore player, mm. do you put the ID in the uh, thinking or do you put it in the report? You put it in the both? report. Yeah, thinking of T slash Bill underscore player will bring you with a, no special number. No number, just that, because then then yep. you have the then you have the option to do number, um, penal code. Oh, the, oh it, okay, got you. And yeah, even yep. though you've put in the penal code, you still determine the amount. So 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 because I told him I'm going to be fining you ten dollars, I put ten. Yeah, yeah, because you said, uh, obviously, discretion, but uh, 10 to 25. Well, yeah, so, like, let's let's say I run into that fella again. Yeah. I really hope I don't. We'd want to get the jump on him, because he, he threatened to shoot me or other lawman next time they see him, next time he sees him. You know, if, if he had been, you know, just a little rude, or, you know, he'd been reasonable, next time it'd be $20. But because he threatened me and a bunch of other things, I'd probably bump it up to 50 yeah, you okay, got you. For, for like taking your ID and pointing a gun at you, or, or just fine him or That's like an that. excellent point, Kelly. Not only would I be, you know, increasing the fine amount, you know, you know, but like I said, you know, if he had been polite or something, you know, just up to twenty dollars. But this fellow, you know, he was trying to just, you know, he was trying to make get a streak of his own. Fifty dollars, yeah. or you know, if he's really bad, like if he actually kills someone, hundred dollars. Uh, we'd also be looking at a bit of jail time. Yeah, yeah. Is there a penal code for like you holding some someone or a lawman? Yeah, yeah. Or at gunpoint or there, I believe so. Like threatening or intimidation or something. Yeah, okay. But yeah, when you get when you've got quiet moments, you know, mm. feel free to read through. I gotta read through myself because you know some yeah, of them are a bit hard to find. There's some very uh, there's some very niche penal codes. Yeah, okay. No, I'll definitely uh. Have a look at that. But it's good. When you're looking for them, you can sort of think of like a keyword that may be involved. So, yep. you know, if you look at that, you might want to search, you know, threat, uh, uh, gun, or something that's relevant, and hopefully that'll narrow it down. So I've written that down, and then I did find that I uh, lost a lot of vision in my eyes after one or, one or both of those uh, thoughts. So what I then had to do, if you boys aren't aware, is I had to think of... T slash hard needs space visible, all lowercase. Yep. Oh, okay. So your eyes played up a little bit after it. Yeah, I just, I certainly wasn't, I just had no idea. You know, am I hungry? Am I, am I content? I just don't know. I just, I'm so used to people telling me how I am. Well, uh, I was reading the newspaper and um, someone suggested about, uh, maybe we need a, put a bulletin in the uh, sheriff's office about um, all the things we need to think and I, I reckon that was a great idea. Just a, That's right, a quick cheat sheet so we can quickly mm -hmm. look at it. I've 
I've put down on my notepad after the, uh, you know, the people we've warned. I've written those down because I'm just sick of forgetting it. But it's, you know, there's so many things we got to remember as law, man. It's just... Yeah, and it keeps changing. That's right. The moment we learn it, it it's broken or it changes or God knows Correct. what. And then we can't find... There's no way to quickly go and find the answer we need. And some... Like, I didn't have anyone really right there to talk to or ask. It's a... It's got... It's frustrating, damn it. Um, yeah, yeah. It's hard to then have a civil conversation with someone when you're trying to remember how to find a damn penal code. It slows everything down. Well, I might, uh, I might start working on one, but I uh, definitely, uh, I'll uh, put it in the newspaper and uh, hopefully everyone can access it. I appreciate that, Cyrus. Yeah, there should be some notes there already to get you started. But uh, yeah, definitely the yeah, okay. reports, bill player, hard needs visible. Oh, and also how to alert doctors. Hmm. Yeah, that changed three times recently. Yeah. You yeah. Just alert. Doctor now, or would it be yeah. like, a, yeah. So, all right, that's that's speed. That is speed, and that's that's, that's yeah, Kane and Terrence. Speed. All right, boys. And they're always getting up to some mis. Um, all right, they've gone left. Let's go cut them off. It sounds. But then. God damn it. They're bolting. Oh, he's fucking pulling up Quick. the doors. Go, go, go. Guns out. Oh. Law Department, halt. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, but... What hey, did you we guys... hit? Uh, There's an invisible building. Yep. Now, look. You probably brought that on yourself, traveling around that fast. You're aware you're speeding through town, down multiple streets, right? What's the speed limit? Well, going just about full pelt on your horse down a, a street where people could be crossing the road, that's that's dangerous. He goes faster than that. We don't We don't want you going that fast you were doing at all. We don't <laughs> want that. We don't, we don't want that all fast. Yeah, so do trot in town. Uh, are the doors broken in? So I'm afraid, no, Mr. Terrence, Mrs. Miss Kane... Afraid we're gonna be have to hand out some fines today. Terence wasn't driving any horses. Well, that's very unfair. Why do you treat Terence so unfairly? You've been targeting him a lot lately. Wow, well, George. It's starting to look really biased. It is. You're and really against him. We what's the, we what's see, the what's can problem? Find us. If we see anybody going downtown, <laughs> in any town that fast, we're gonna be fine and just the same. All right. Even if they're a passenger. He can't control the speed. Now, y'all y'all were very present during the martial law and all the laws we were reminding people about. You both should know better by now. <laughs> I help. All right. Cyrus, would you like to uh, issue the fine to Mr. Terrence yes, here? Cyrus can give it to you. Uh, yep. Just come over here for a second, mate. Oh. I don't know what else climbing. It's the horse in Stay, uh, Feel free to shadow uh, him, Kelly. The, the yeah, building's yeah. not there. Right. That's that's how he crashed. It was the building. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh god. Dear, oh dear. That guy's been for down the car. You see? Stop him. We will. <laughs> Terrence, Terrence, So, Terrence. um, I thought about it, but it's not you allowing me to, uh... You found the penal code? No, it's not allowing me to, uh, think about anything else after, uh, bringing it up. Shit, let me, let me, so you, so you, so you, what's the penal code for speeding? No, no, so that's what I'm saying, so, uh. Oh, I've you can't. About... Yeah, yeah. All right, let me try. It's not popping up. All right, I'm thinking Same T slash reports. Let's wait. All right, there it is. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, what? Penal code for speeding is 504. Well, I went, yeah. 
How about Bill Player? Is that working? I, I did Bill Player before and you press penal codes and nothing pops up. So, the Bill Player option, I guess. Yeah, we've got the we've got it now. We've got the penal code five zero four. So don't worry about reports. Now, uh, so y'all both of y'all tried Bill Player? Yeah, I'll give it a go now. All right, all right. Hang on. Just give me two minutes. Sorry, not two minutes. But Thanks for your so. patience, Terence. We're just ironing out some kinks. Uh, what's your ID number, Mr. Terence? 103. All right, Mr. Terence, uh, you should have got that. I did. All right. Thank you for that, um, and just, yeah, slow down in town. Just uh, let him know how many days he's got and if, and what would happen if he wasn't paid. Uh, I'll need to bring that back up, sorry. You're all right. Take your time. We're here to learn. All right, am I free to go? Uh, hey, George, when you're ready, the government wants to talk to us all. Okay, I'll be, we'll just be one minute. All right, Mr. Terrence, just to, just to wrap that up, you do have five business days to pay that. If you fail to, fail to pay that within that time, uh, additional charges and jail time may be added. Okay, wonderful. All right, now, look, I understand it's a bit frustrating, so we're going to go easy on you. We're not going to issue the same thing to Miss Kane on this occasion. Thank you. No worries, Mr. Terrence. Just, yeah, we just want to keep everyone safe, all right? I appreciate it. All right, have a nice you day. Let's have a wonderful day. You too. All right, let's get in. Let's head inside. Back in a second. Sorry, uh, Captain. Yep. Um, when you said uh, what jail time and all that, I looked it up, and it's only um, a fine. Is there another area I should be looking for jail time, or is it just the warning you gave of if you don't pay? Oh, look. So when it gets to that, I believe we we are allowed to uh, based on. Our experience with them, we can determine a fair amount of time. Okay, got like, it. Like some yep. charges, you know, if they've robbed a bank, boom, oh, there's yeah, there's course. a base amount yeah. of jail time. But in that instance, you know, based on the severity of it, we'll go from so there. So if it's like his third time, you've been warned, you've been fined, do you go 10 minutes or...? Well, that's the thing. If it's, if, if it's a repeat offender, you know, factor that in. Then also, you know, how rude they've been, if they've mm -hmm. been violent, you know, you know, as long as it feels fair. Do you know how you gave us the bracket of like, you know, 10 to $25? And is there a bracket for the uh, jail time for that sort of, you know, low kind of crime? Oh, look, a big thing to consider there is if they've spent a lot of excess time in the department mm -hmm. or we've held them up for longer than usual. Take that make, into account, yeah. Take that into account just out of fairness. But then, you know, if it's something simple, maybe just, uh, oh, golly, it's been a while because we've had issues with the boats. You know, maybe... You know, we tanned 15 as like the base. Yep, yep. But, uh, you know, again. That's right. As long as I've got a bracket to work with. Yeah, but don't. We got a lot of rules and guidelines, but they're not set in stone. You know, it's, 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 it's flexible kind of based on, and, yeah, based on the situation. The bank have long yeah, bro, I better get well. in and see the governor. No, what am I? Is, what am I? He's in a meeting. We oh. go and talk to him or? Oh, we got to yeah, wait. We're, wait. We're just waiting in the corner. Oh, oh, right. Well, I thought we were. I don't know where everyone is. Oh, we'll wait in the lobby. So, what happened with you? Did you find Terrence? We did. We did find Terrence. Wow, what would you find him for? Speeding through town on a horse. Oh, fair enough. What was it, $10? I believe so. I bet he wasn't too happy. Nope. Huh? Well, we literally saw him speeding through down multiple streets. I, I guess he found out after fucking around for so long. That's right. And he, they're like, well, we, we don't know about this. I said, look, you both have been very present in Blackwater before and during and after the damn martial law. You should know better by now. Just you, mate. Yeah, we, we told them to take their guns off in Valentine again. Yeah, they, they know about these things. They're just playing stupid. Yeah.
That's right. How you doing, Todd? Uh, yeah, you know, we had to do a wall to gold over in freaking... What's he doing? Valentine. There? He's screaming like a chicken when we asked him to present his ID for us, saying he'll get a lawyer and all this if we fine him and all this for having no ID and that we, we have no right to have ID in his place of business. Oh, that's... I also re remind him that I, I actually own half that business that he's standing in at the moment. So. Fair. Uh, yeah, you know, we, I, eventually he went down the store. All right, can you bring one. the boys in? I'm happy to yeah. take, bring anyone in now. We <laughs> have we already fucked up governor if you're saying something we can't hear you no no i'm waiting for everyone to get in oh okay this doesn't this isn't the justice falling on the sheriffs oh, yeah. we probably have chaos we probably have perfect i might i might stand a bit over here so make sure y'all can hear me do you mind if i smoke in here uh absolutely son Light it up. Thought I'd join the marshal there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we waiting for anyone else? Oh, yep, let's see. We're getting, waiting for some people. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, register identity. That makes sense. Ugh, where, where are the others? God damn it. I wouldn't told them. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. There you go. Um, yeah, we're all getting ideas. He made a surprise uh, taco party. Now. You don't have your horse in here, woman. That's a first. <laughs> uh -huh. Actually, technically a second, because we had the meeting earlier. All right. Can everyone hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm guessing we need a photo for this. All right. Well, in saying that, um, I need to remind y'all, what, what, what is uh, your jobs here? Maintain law and order. Perfect. Now. What is the east side's job? Also maintain law and order. Perfect. So, why am I hearing from the citizens, from the sheriffs, on both sides, that we're getting to this point of, you know, slandering each other and, you know, telling, each, blaming each other for issues that are happening? What? If, if my if my memory serves me correctly, we're all doing the same fucking job. Sorry. Sorry, let me correct that. I'm paying y'all to do the same fucking job. Yes, sir. So, why are we slandering our brethren? We're not. We're not. So, I believe I've heard, and Marshal might correct me if I'm wrong, but we've heard things with y'all talking to the civilians about, oh, you know, the east side, they're doing nothing. They're, they're, you know, things are happening bad because they're not doing a good thing. And I'm hearing the same things from their side as well. About, you know, about the West. Now, I want to let you fucking know right now. This stops right now. I don't mind the, the occasional dig. But you're doing the same fucking job. And you work to fucking gather, alright? Yes, sir. There's a perception, gents, that y'all, uh... Button heads. Alright. That ain't good. Can't have y'all, uh... I, I, if I'm going, you know, I'm, I'm just getting this today, alright? That's the fact that I'm getting today. There's a perception that y'all are at uh, loggerheads. Uh, that, that dog ain't gonna hunt. Y'all need to work together. Uh, I feel and this like... it. Hang oh. on. Hang on. It's one-way transmission at the moment. Get your chance. Now... Whatever's happened in the past and whatever griefs you all have had with each other, shit needs to stop, all right? The issue is that when this gets into the, you know, the citizens, they all think that, you know, if you all talk and smack about each other, they're going to, uh, they're going to use that against you. Don't think people won't. They will. If we try and find a chink in the arm, they'll find that little weakness and that little niggly, niggly thing, and they'll just keep pressing, pressing, pressing. Now, on that note, I've said the East has been told the same thing. I'm going to say to you, 
what has happened previously, whether internal, external to department, interdepartmental, external to department, internal to department. Y'all just need to take a breath. I can score a couple lines under that chapter. Close that book. All right, open a new one. Need to work together. I know y'all been working together and it's probably just a little couple things. We just need to take a deep breath, start off. That makes sense. Don't want y'all, don't want to hear people, you know, any of the citizens just thinking that y'all are having it, you know, at each other's throats. But I've seen you all work together and I know you can do it. But I don't like hearing when people, you know, some of the locals and the citizens reckon y'all uh, hate each other. We just dislike Dinger's hat. Well, you can just like his head all you want. That's fine. But, uh, you know, I don't want y'all talking shit. You know, you can talk shit about each other internal to the department. But when it gets into the ears of the citizens, that's when it becomes an issue. You know what I mean? Sounds like y'all are slandering each other. It might be a little joke. You have with each other. You talk shit about people's you know, abilities. You think they're shit child, shit horse, whatever. You keep it to yourself. You gotta be mindful where you say these things. As uh, y'all well know, there's ears everywhere, there's eyes everywhere. Speaking of which, if I, if I in any way, shape, or form say in the newspaper soon that, about this kind of incident, well, let's just say your bonuses this month might not be coming in so quick. Understandable, sir. Was there any questions? What's your thoughts on Dinger's hat? Any like questions for people who ain't idiots? Alright. So... Hey, what's up, Lero? We just, uh... I'm ID closed... Start a new chapter. Hello? It's Cal. Be cheap for each other. Bargons be bargons oh, and all that. Like a just get off, uh... Start a fresh, start a new... Does that make sense? Shit. Right. No, y'all can work together. I've seen it with my own eyes. Y'all fucking did a pretty good job. But doing the martial law you work together you talk to each other you did good things you oh, want to keep that Callahan, Callahan. you look fantastic when you're all working together i'd uh, love to see it in front of you. love to see all three selves i'm trying to and make my day I'll be, I'll be with you soon it's fantastic when you're all working as a cohesive team especially with them raids and everything like that it's fantastic i love it i want to see more of that mm. all right anyone got any questions for me uh nope Anyone got anything for the government? All right, oh. gents. We'll leave it at that. Call it, uh, Ooh, that's the end of that. We'll us. bring it up again and uh, keep going and fighting the good fight, all right? So, all right, boys, do I what you do is, good at. I know this is the kind of shit y'all don't want to deal with. Neither do I. I hate doing these kind of things. I want y'all out there doing your jobs. I know you can do it. Uh, if there's nothing else for me, governor, Oh no, that's fine, boys. Like, you've got a job to do, and I know you can do it well. So prove, it, we have to go. Prove, prove it to me. Head out there, you do your job. Oh, we have to go to Valentine, go to the work. Sounds um. good, sir. Alright, Todd, let's get back out of there. Can I ride I'm gonna be doing more foot patrol here in Blackwater if you're up for uh, it. Okay, yeah, it's alright. Howdy! Hello, everyone. Oh my god. Oh, but Bella talk. Hey, uh, oh, how many? Oh, uh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to do my ID, but I don't know what birthday is. Yeah, I'm trying to call the horse. Well, how old are you? I actually don't know. I think I'm 30 or something. What the fuck is it? Well, it's 1900, so it's got to be at least 18 years prior to that. Okay, uh. Yeah, right, so I can just uh, pick the month if I don't know what it is. Hey? I can just pick the day and month if I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's like, I'm like Jesus. Oh, oh sweet. My hair color is. No worries, Leroy. Oh, fucking Thank you. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I tried that. It said my information. I think I see Cyrus or.
St. Denise Sheriff's Department. Uh, this is Kenneth Blumberg. Kenneth, it's acting, it's acting Sheriff George Hughes. How you doing? Uh, I'm well, George. How are you? Congratulations on uh, the promotion. Uh, oh, look, work, mate. thank you, Kenneth. Look, it was a bit, a bit short notice. So I'm still sort of real in front, but we'll do yeah. our best. Yeah, absolutely. How's everything going over there? Yeah, relatively all right. It's pretty pretty quiet tonight. Uh, the most action we had is the governor popped in, wanted to speak to us. Other than that, not too much. What about you? How are you doing? Oh, look, you know, just, you know, dealing with some rude people here in Blackwater. But, yeah, we had a bit of a chat with the governor as well. I just wanted to yeah. extend, as an acting sheriff, my, you know, please pass this on to the, the higher ranks there in Sheriff Lewis, mm -hmm. is that I'm terribly sorry to hear if y'all are hearing that the West Law Department is slandering the East Department. Yeah. Look, now, as far as I know, I've just heard, you know, sometimes, you know, people make the odd joke about Dinger's hat. Uh, it was that whole dilemma with, you know, uh, it was suspected that someone in the department was making prank calls. And, yeah. um, and look, some some people, you know, they've, they, they're they not sure what they've seen the East Department doing over there, but it, that's, as, that's as worse as it got. I, I had no yeah. idea that they were saying bad stuff in front of just old anybody. And I just want to please pass on my sincerest apologies. Uh, I will, George, and I, I appreciate it. Look, we we weren't aware of the extent of it until later today anyway. So we got, we heard from, well, when the governor popped through, so. Yeah. No, Look, I, it's, um, I appreciate the call, and I'm sure everyone else will, and I'll pass on the message for you, absolutely. If... If you're hearing anything in particular that's, you know, got you thinking, well, why the hell would they be saying that? Please feel free to contact either Harkness or myself and we can have a chat about it and try and, you know, deal with it before it becomes an issue with the governor. Yeah, no worries. Because I, I, for one, I, for one, I, you know, I hope I speak for the whole department. I was <laughs> I sincerely enjoy running into yourself, Jeb, uh, Lewis, even Dinger on the occasion. You know, it, it is nice to see us. I, I have no issues with y'all over there. No, likewise, mate. I uh, I thoroughly enjoy everyone's company over there. You're all good good people, and uh, I'm quite fond of you, George. So um, I enjoy bumping into you. Oh well, hopefully I'll see you soon. But yeah, pass that on. If you ever need to talk about it, we're here. Um, Harkness and I'll be uh, you know, holding on to the reins over the next seven days. And uh, if you need anything, just let us know as always. All right, too easy. And uh, yeah, same goes for you, mate. If you ever need us, uh, you give us a call. And if we're around, I hope uh, we can lend a hand. Will do. All right, Kenneth. You take care. All right, you too, George. Look after yourself. See you soon. Bye. See ya. Bye. Good old Kenneth. What a guy. Is that you, Cyrus? Well, you know what? I just need a minute. That's all right. No tacos. Oh, shit. This one was unlocked. Dear, oh dear. Yo, Dub. Oh, God. Someone told me. Someone told me a little, like, a while ago. Oh, God. Is it, like, 18 or, like, 22 minutes or something like that? Something like that. I think. I never got a definitive answer.
and I can't put Taco Wednesday. Oh, I don't think, I don't think Taco Wednesday exists. I'm afraid, Cam. Oh, I need to go get a copy of my ID. Wait, I just had a dollar. Like, I, I swear I had $8.16 earlier. Where did that dollar go? Did you just walk past the bank robbery? There's no one in there. Uh, well sure then why that? did guys push them in there with guns? And also I have a question. How come all these, like, how many, three people just got to ride through with guns on and drawn and masks? Where? And they just get to keep going, but we, Terrence, gets fined for being the passenger on a fast horse. Where? Where's these people that just rode through? They just went in the, the fucking bank. All right. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I didn't see him. I'm, I'm walking <laughs> around the other street. I'll, look, I'll go check. Okay. Cyrus, did you see anyone in the bank just now? No, but I heard someone. Apparently, it's, we better take a look inside. Hold up. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yep. We got a massive situation okay. going on in here. Yeah, keep your hands up, Mr. Grainy. Shit. Yep. <laughs> How do I put my hands down, Cyrus? Uh, point. How do I point? <laughs> oh, fuck! Okay, alright. Just have my back. Maybe. Can you can you get an alert out? Mm-hmm. Yep. I uh, sausages, I suppose. Ahem! <laughs> Fellas in the bank! Yes. This is Acting Sheriff George Hughes. Yeah, hey, good day, Sheriff. Hello. Howdy, we having a good day? Yeah. We're having a great day. Yes, sir. Good to hear. I understand y'all are making a withdrawal? Yes. Uh, absolutely, yes. Sheriff. Would that be a withdrawal from your own account? Yeah, that's right. Negative. You sure about that? Yeah, we're withdrawing from the bank's account. Well, look, I'm going to have to tell you that that's, that's, that's frowned upon in this country. Okay. Yeah, well, that's tough. Hey, but it's not illegal. That is that is very illegal. I have to say. Any y'all got a name? Uh, yeah. My name is Ned. All right, Ned. I understand you got some people in there against <laughs> their wishes. How many are we looking at? Seven. Uh, about seventeen. Seventeen. Well, I'm gonna have to confirm the. The health of all 17 hostages. They're all safe and sound. Are Maybe you able to bring them up one at a time? One. Drop them off on the inside of the door so I can say hello to them one at a time, please? Yeah, I've got one hello, coming out. Sheriff. Howdy, partner. What's your name? It's Clyde. Clyde, you, 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 st you, hang, you hang in there, okay? We're going to get you out of this. Will do, bucko. All right, next. <laughs> yeah, you in there. Watch it. Yep. Howdy, partner. Hello. What's Hello. your name? Uh, Billy. Billy? Look, just keep your head down, all right? We're going to get you out of this okay, all right? Stay calm. All right. All right. Next one, please. Hey, Howdy, partner. What's your name? Hi, my name's Larry Fisherman. My brother Barry Fisherman's in there too. He's he's on the ground. We need help ASAP, sir. Larry, I understand. Look, just hang tight, all right? We've we've uh we're gonna do the best we can to get you out of there, okay? I just need you to do as you're told by them. Don't get yourself into trouble. And you and you and Barry will be okay, all right? Okay, thank you, sir. All right. Next one, please. Jeez, you weren't uh, kidding. Everyone else yeah, is a we bit got, tied up. Yeah, we got three bellies on the ground. You're going to need to dump them at the door one at a time. I need to confirm that they're all right. Yeah, yeah I can do it if you want. All right. The guy in the brown coat's going to drop a body at the door. Thank you, Clyde. Oh, oh no. never mind. Oh, no. oh, He's okay. just I dropped himself. Clyde's the man for the job, guys. I can't pick him up. 
Yay, Shelby. Oh, dear. Also, raglessness. G'day, g'day. Oh, first one's coming out. Thank you. Can you can you turn their head towards me? Thank you. Leroy, is that you? Well, who, who's that on who's that on the back? I'm Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Sorry about that, Bobby. Look, everything's gonna be okay. All right, you okay? Yes. I all just right. Have somewhere to be. I know, Bobby. We're gonna get you through this as quick as we can. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. Uh, another one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, he's just finding a nice place to place ah, in here. Geez. I understand. It's uh, very tight in here. Jeez Louise. I can't pick him up. There we go. They weren't kidding how many hostages they got. I don't know, Ash. It's a fucking clown car. It's a fucking clown car. Alright. If you could just turn their head to it. Howdy, partner. How you doing? Hey. What's your name, son? Name Name's Callahan. Callahan, look. Just... You just try and... You just try and focus now, okay? Everything's gonna be alright. Yes, sir. You okay, Mr. J? How... How many more we got to go? Uh... uh... One more. Okay, thank God. I'm just gonna warn these uh, folk to stay back. Thank you, Cyrus. I like that hostage's poncho. Be careful with my warrants. <laughs> it's taking so long. Ow. Howdy, Ow. partner. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean, what did no, you I say, need... boy? Uh, come back! I ain't... I didn't say nothing, brother. All right, hold on. Ma'am, what's your name? Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. We're gonna get yeah. you through this, okay? Thank you. Keep great. your head down, stay safe. Just hang in there, all right? All right, thanks, man. All right, thank you. Ned, was it? Uh, Ned is Clyde, and whoever else Clyde is. All right. Well, there's also Barry, but he's okay. I'll well, take Larry's the, word. The main withdrawer. What can I call you? Mr. J. Oh no. Mr. J, thank yeah, you very much for taking the time to do that. Appreciate. It. Just want to make sure everyone's, you know, healthy and safe. Now, what's it going to take for us to make sure that none of these fine folk get hurt today? Free passage, no spike strips. No spike strips is safe passage. <laughs> like, how much safe passage were you talking about? Damn, that wasn't us. We didn't ask for that shit. <laughs> Come on, everybody. One at a time, please. Mr. D, you got this. I'll let you handle it. We got, we got to work out what's wrong with this door. So, we just want uh, free passage. <laughs> gonna need gonna need more specificity yeah. than that. We want to go to our horses without being lassoed. Um, so get to your horses without trouble, yep. Now how many hostages we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got like seven hostages in here, don't we? Yes. Oh, seven, it's like seven demands, right? Now look, that'll be pushing it. Bad day. Yeah, no, yeah, no guns. Don't be shooting no one. Um, I want. What's your name, sir? The, the guy at the door. George Hughes. George, I want your hat. I can't. You want a hostage to fucking die, or you gonna give me no, your goddamn hat? No, no. I want your hat. I'm gonna take a shit in it, and then I'm gonna email, I'm gonna send it back to you. Is it post. okay if I just leave it on the ground here? Yeah, you leave it right there, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab it, and then Mister. Okay. Fine, buddy. Fine. Mister D here will take over. <laughs> Fine. Take I'll my damn that. hat. Now look, as a show of confidence, that we're all gonna be okay about this. What about uh? Now you've got my hat. How about we have one of them hostages now? Right, and you, can have, you can have the guy in the green shirt here. All right, I fell in the All green right. shirt that's been let go. Uh, Come on out. Can I say goodbye to my brother? Can I say goodbye to my brother? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Fucking hell. Is <laughs> Larry saying goodbye to Barry? Larry? Uh, get yourself oh, to the other God. side of the street. Laurel will take care of you. Mr. J, can you have your gun, please? All right, Mr. J. So we, we, we've declared, you know, you've got my hat, God damn it. And now no no funny business till you get to your horses, okay? Now your horse is going to be out here on the street? Uh, they were. I don't know if they've moved now. We are currently having some issues with the door. Yeah, we might need a minute here. This door ain't trying to... That's alright. We'll, we'll just sit tight out here. We're not going to do anything funny. 
We just want to make sure everyone gets out of this unharmed. But what's the thing? So what? So far, it's just been they want my hat, which I've given them. They've given us one hostage, Larry. He should be across the road. We could change a hostage for. And then they want no funny business as they get to their horses. That's it so far. But they've got. Hey, share. Fuck. They've got like another six fucking hostages. You don't need to vote. We just need the photo. Hey, you got a key for the front door here? Oh, fuck shit. Yeah. Ah. Push me out. Had it. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, so we're having a problem with this front door. It doesn't don't want to do what it's supposed to do. Uh, you got you guys got a key to this front door, not to the we, safe. We but can't go. To the front we, door. we can't go locking this door, partner. Why not? Well, it's we're not locking, unlocking. We we the can't we bars. can't go locking you in there with a bunch of innocent hostages. No 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 no. We want you. So we're trying to lock pick this um the, the door to get to the safe. All right. But what? What? You forget a lockpick? No, I got lockpicks, man. The fucking gypsy must be about or some shit, cause it fucking it ain't. There's no lock hole, so I'm thinking maybe you guys got a lock, a special cop door that. Can that 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 ain't us. part of our responsibilities, lawman. We're lawmen, but we ain't bankers. So you got no no spare key? No, we we've received we've never received any instruction from uh, the government to uh to handle issues like that. I'm sorry. So look, look, maybe maybe it's a sign that this just ain't sort of the. The thing you should be doing today. Maybe y'all should just. What if we all nah, just? Fuck that. We gone too far now. I'm figuring this shit out. Give me a moment. You ain't getting anything out of this. You. What if y'all just packed up and leave? We can just end this now. Man, we leaving uh fucking as fucking rich men out of this one way or the other. You ain't get. Good luck getting through that door then. We're gonna get through it. You just, you just, you never doubt a hickey. Trust hey, me. Sheriff, may I remind you there's a bunch of hostages in here? Yep, they just, they we don't hear I'm aware there's hostages you in there. You might want to work on getting us a key to this. Oh, instead of trying to get us out of it, you try and work on getting us a key while we try and work on getting through. Partner, that, would, that would be the best way of using your time. Partner, even if we walk down to the courthouse and got a hold of the governor himself, he can't even, he can't unlock that door. Now, I, I understand you've got guns to a number of hostages' head, and I, my main objective is to keep them alive. If if I had the means to to legitimately open that door for you, look, I'd begrudgingly do it, but I, I can't. I don't want to go lying to you and saying, oh, y'all go find someone. We can't. We can't. Alrighty. Just hang tight. Sorry for taking it no, wrong it's time at the moment. It's fine. It's fine. Just. <laughs> Jack loading his gun. Yo, Sakura. Oh, it's cold here. Down under. Bloody cold. I got Ugg boots on. Whoop. Hello? <laughs> Can't get through the through the door. <laughs> hey, fellas. What's up? I know you the shit. <laughs> oh, just drop your pants and do a shit. You gotta go. You gotta go. Just avert your eyes. <laughs> so about oh, she's to revolt. looking. How's, how's that dog coming, boys? Yeah, hold on to your horse. We're getting there. First time? George First uh, time. No. Fellas, <laughs> fellas, can... If, would you kindly just give me a minute to talk to my 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 fellow yeah, uh, acting you sheriff? Do. We're, yeah. we're trying to work out. Just, I'll, I'll be right back. I won't be far away. Okay, fellas, don't go anywhere. Well, we won't. Just whispering to you. If uh, yeah. shit goes down, the words pineapple. Got it. Oh, there's okay. There's a there's a number of hostages on the ground. Then I think there's about two or three standing hostages. They're mainly on the left hand side. Oh, and then yes. I believe I've counted three gentlemen. The 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 culprits. There may be four. I believe I see 
two long arms with each of them. Black, mostly black outfits, ponchos, and you know, big hats. But then some of the hostages also got got ponchos. So just be careful. They're all black, aren't they? The situation is they can't get through the door even oh, with lockpicks. So I've told them that there's nothing we can do to help with that. I'm, no, I can't. That's it. that's it. Even if like we literally can't. I've I've told them no, that. So so look. It's just there's a lot of friendlies in there. We got one out. That's a problem. We got Larry out, but his brother Barry's still in there with a whole bunch of people. That's a problem. So if we breach, it'd be a shit show. Oh, it's so a shit bank to do we've, it in. we've got to wait till they come out. But that's true. We're out of them anyway. And it's no funny business till their horses. Now I think their horses yeah, are down down that way. So let's take out the horses. Once one of them touches their horses, sir. that's right, Jack. You pass that on to the others, and then once they're on their horses. Your call, okay? Yeah, we'll go. I'm just we'll trying go. to. I'm just trying to do some wordplay, keep these hostages alive. Hey, Mr. Right. Sheriff, really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Howdy, this is Acting Sheriff George Hughes. How may I help you? Right. We're we're coming up with an idea. Right. What's your idea, Mr. J? We can give you all the hostages yep. for a bank transfer. We'll move to another bank, is what he's saying there. Bank, a bank transfer. We'll move yeah. to one where the door ain't rusted shut. We, we, we can't make any bargains about other banks. Hmm. Well, you got a lot of hostages here, and you ain't offering us a lot of options. So I'm saying, man, like. I, I just, I just want y'all to leave without any trouble. That is all I want. How about this? We'll give you all the hostages. For free passage and out of black in the dust. Now we've Where already agreed. No funny business till you get on your horses. This yeah, is we're saying we'll, we'll, we'll give you every hostage now if you just let us go and we can try this in another town. Look now, if y'all hurt any of those hostages, you're gonna make this a whole lot worse. So I would just get on your get down to your horses, no funny business, and ride like the wind. Sounds good to us. Uh, hold on, let me talk to my boys real quick. Now, th how many of this? Three of yous? Yeah. That's Gosh. We've passed it on to all lawmen in this vicinity that the three of y'all, there's no funny business till y'all are on your horses. We're uh, going to give you a wide berth, but, you know, there are some of us we, on the street. What if, we just, what if we just walk away? Like, you going to do nothing then because we're not on our horses? Can't guarantee. I, I can't promise anything because I don't know what you're going to do on the way to your horse or what you do once, on, once you're on your horse. Yeah, we're just going to give you the hostages and... Get on the horse and go. Now, if I take a step back, cross to the other side of the street, you know, and all the lawmen just sort of take it easy, y'all get to your horses, yeah? Right. So, before we do that, this is what we want. All the lawmen are to go to the right of the bank, and we're going to the left of the bank. Are you talking like if we're looking in or looking out? Uh, You're looking out. Going looking to out. the saloon. Going okay, out. so we'll, we'll be on the saloon side of the bank, and you're going to the non-saloon side. Correct. Yeah. All right. All right, old lawman, head to the uh, saloon side of the bank. My horse needs new shoes. All right, boys, to well, yours. if this works out, and uh, do it at a Thank bank you. without a rush of the door. I heard it. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's just, All right. at least hopefully just, get away. Just, just, give us a, just give us a second. We're just, you know, we got issues with our horses as well. All right, we are all, all the lawmen heading to the bank, the the saloon side of the bank. All right. Get on the whole ship. Is that your horse? This guy's bullshit. Play the horse. We're moving to the left. They tell them what they're doing. Yeah, I told them we're all heading down here. Now they're gonna they're gonna head uh, out on back their up. horses. No one's coming. We got a horse that's blocking us in the way. Put your, put your gun away. Put it up, put it up yeah, your, your, your calls now, Jack. Well, good. We'll go uh, get them. I've talked. Funny that they dropped their last name. Yeah, they fucked up there. It's I think they did it on purpose. They might start shooting at us when they come out though, be careful. Okay. 
Sleep the long arm out, mate. Pistols won't do anything at the moment. There you go. Call your horse, call your horse. They, they did confirm there's three of them. Any yep. outside? No, you no, know, no word of a mark. We didn't rob anything, okay. so y'all should just let us go. I reckon. No, you kidding, man. Kind of just used. We just loitered. You gonna give me a fine for loitering? It's <laughs> not wasting time. <laughs> See you later, low men. <laughs> Godspeed, gentlemen. Fuck. Are we allowed in there now, sir? Oh, yeah. Larry, you gotta help me untie some of these people. Oh, shit! Yeah, okay. You attack me one more time, boy! Whoa, whoa, come on now! We've all just whoa, been through an ordeal. Let's calm down. I know we're all a bit shook up, but we came out alive, guys. This gentleman with I'm that just hat, trying he attacked me one more time. Alright, come on, fellas. Come on, y'all. Let's, let's get this other... Let's get this other person untied. Alright. Now, look. Every, everybody that was... Oh, hey, come on now! Oh, whoa. Easy, come on. Uh, no, hey! Get on the fucking ground now, bitch. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Uh, no, fuck! Oh, oh, please. No, no, sorry. Thank you, sir. You're fine. I was here. What the fuck? You're right. What is going on in here, guys? Are you good? Everyone good? What the fuck? What oh. the fuck? It's Larry! Larry! Oh, yeah, I was here. You're right, Larry? We're good. Uh, what the I fuck? No I thought you were Jesus dead. Christ! I think I got crossfired by the deputy's gun, but it's alright. Sorry, he's a... He started firing the air and he was... He was so fast! Oh, that guy was a uh, crazy motherfucker. Why'd he do that? I don't know! Uh, I just need to get everyone's names as y'all leave and you can oh, go back hell, to living. On here? Uh, someone came in afterwards and just... Uh, all right, kind of all up. right, come on, everybody. We'll, we'll quickly get everybody outside. Ames, are you able to give me a hand real quick? George, what's going on? You right? Well, we had Holy a bank fuck. robbery and then we had someone try and do a post-bank robbery. Yeah, I don't know what hillbilly. he was doing, but he was... I just need some fucking water. Ames, are you able fucking... to just jot down all these fine folks' names and pass it on to me in a minute? Uh I gotta grab man, the, a yeah, man. A man pulled boys? a gun inside. I had to put him down. Yeah, That's I don't right. know. Well, what he was ain't doing. going anywhere. Where are all your boys? We, I can help out. They're, they're running off after the robbers. Make sure they clear out. Yeah, all right. Give me a second. Let me, let me find one. So you, Lakota. Ah, right, attention, everybody that was, you know, taken against their will inside the bank. There. This is Deputy Marshal Ames. We're just gonna. He's just gonna grab all your names. Uh, just so for when we write a report about the incident we had here today, if you could just give him a name, then you'll be free to go, all right? We really... Please go and find something relaxing to do and take this off your mind. I hope the rest of your day gets better. I was hoping to use the bank, but, you know. Yeah, hey, bro, <laughs> fuck you. I know, partner, I know. Bank but yeah, just, yeah, if y'all could just give your name to Deputy right, Marshal Ames Mr. here. Mr. Sam Saunders, all right. Thank you, thank partners. You. I'll, I'll deal with this. I can't believe this. Brilliant. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. God, all right. Damn it, why'd you have to make me do it? Well, I don't want to say it again, but what the fuck? I... <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm Larry. Larry I, fe I feel you. I don't partner. have an ID card at the moment. I just gotta go get one. No, that's all right. If you need a hand, uh, I just helped. Uh... Oh shit! What's the blacksmith's name again? Uh... Leroy. Leroy. Yeah, I just helped Leroy go get here, so he's quite adept in. Uh... Howdy, boys. Hold on, partner. I'm gonna get you to the dock. Then I'm gonna find what yeah, the what the hell was this all about? The hell were you thinking? I... All right. I'm gonna call a doctor. Okay, uh, call. This ain't happening. Oh, sorry, fella. What the hell? How do we call the doctors again? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alert, doctor, doctor. Oh, fucking hell. Alert. Um, uh, man shot during bank robbery. All right, partner, I've sent our word to a doctor. Hopefully they get here soon, all right? 
So they get here, I'm gonna keep pressure on them wounds. Why'd you shoot me, boy? Pawn of you yelling at it to robbery inside it, firing into the ceiling in a room full of people. It was just a joke, fella. That's I prefer nice innocent innocent practical jokes, but firing I'm easily it, influenced by others. I could see that. Literally we just had a bank robbery and then your your idea of a fun time. Is I that, wanted to feel cool. It, that, scaring people like that in a bank ain't cool. Neither is doing drugs. You think? You gotta stop and think. These people just been through a traumatizing ordeal. They've just they've just been held against their will at gunpoint in a bank where they could, they could die. They I mean, could see I them. Don't do drugs. They I just use opium. Opium's a drug. But that last thing those people want is someone next oh, to them it? in an enclosed space firing in the ceiling. I thought it was just dinner. What? Opium? Why opium dinner? Yeah, opium for dinner. That's... Drug... That's Having drugs for dinner is still de dealing drugs. You better not be dealing them as well. I haven't slept in six days. What? what the... Partner, if you got to make really silly decisions if you ain't getting enough sleep regularly. I got struck by lightning when I was 12. Partner, I think it's a real good thing I called a doctor. I think I think we need to we need to get you back on your feet. Now I'm gonna be now I'm gonna be laying down a oh, finding some jail time on you. Don't doctors. get me wrong. You're gonna be seeing the you're gonna be seeing some punishment for that, son, but then I think you need some to get punishment. some psych. Dad. My dad used to punish me. He had a belt. He would beat my ass. Well we're not gonna we're not gonna belt you. We're gonna We're gonna give you a fine. We're gonna need that paid. We're gonna send you a Please don't for a bit. give me a fine. I don't have no money. Pawn, you're gonna you're gonna have to go and make that money, like you should be doing anyway. You should be getting a nice normal job. No one will hire me. Well, why won't they hire you? I tried to get a job at the gunsmith, but they called me simple. Well, mate, look, that's not a very nice thing to say, but yeah, they said I'm a simple man. But they have the right to turn people away, but yeah, they they don't have to. Put it like that. They could have put you down gently. Oh, no. So that's why I tried to turn to a life of crime. What? That, that ain't the answer, partner. Especially then doing it in front of a... I'm, a, I'm an acting sheriff as of today. I just I just helped negotiate, get those I hostages. wasn't trying to rob the bank. I was just trying to be funny. Yeah, what? I was just pulling a little prank. Time and a place, friend. That was... That was yeah. possibly the worst time no, and the no, worst place. No, that was place. the best time. It was at the bank. That, it, it, so it was like a fake bank robbery. That, they just went through a real bank robbery. And there was lots of people. There, there, there was. was people that prank, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I didn't shoot no one, though. I just shot the roof. I didn't know what you were going to do, partner. You yell, this is a robbery. You start firing into the ceiling without warning. You know, my friend was in there as a hostage. His name is Clyde Little. Oh, yeah, Clyde, he was helping bring the people yeah, to the door. Yeah, I, was, I was trying to help my friend. I was just trying to prank my friend, you know what I'm saying? Well, look. Look, that's very good I of you. I reckon you should just let me go. I can't let you go. Partner! What if I give you $5? Partner, your fine's going to be a little bit more than $5. Clyde Little will get pretty angry if I go to jail again. Well, Clyde yeah. Little's... He's just going to have to deal with that, ain't he? Man, he's going to beat my ass. Well, you, you tell him he don't need to, because... He beats me all the time. What kind of friend beats their other, their friend? Him, because he's a, he's a B-I-H. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't go hanging he's around this Clyde fella anymore. He doesn't he's my brother. Oh, he's, he's... Okay, well, look. You know, sometimes family don't get along. You know, you need to make new new friends. He's a b -b -b bitch. He does sound like a bit of a bitch. I'm really sorry if he beats you, and he's your brother, and he's been doing that since you were little. I'm I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, That's why I have a funny head shape. What was your name again, partner? That's why I have a funny head shape. Oh, no, I understand you got a funny head. What What's your name, partner? My name is Quandale Little. Quandale? How do you spell that? C U A N D A L E. Quandale. I thought there was a, be a Q in there. So C-U-A-N-D-A-L-E. No, no. Oh, my, that's my back. 
Q-U-A-N-D-A-L-A. I, 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 I suspected as much. Thank you for the clarification, Quandale. All right, Quandale, look. I think you need to find... Look, What's your name? My name is uh, George Hughes. I'm a, currently a, a, an acting sheriff, along with Jack Harkness. That's a silly name. George? Yeah. What's wrong with George? That's a nice, strong name. What kind of parents would name their kid George? People that immigrated over from, uh, from England. I don't like England. You don't like England? Hell no. Well, that's fair enough on account of the, 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 the war. Uh, look, that's fair enough. You're welcome to that. That's a fair, that's a, that's a, that's a fair opinion to have, Pon, I understand. England smells funny. Oh, look, you know, you know, Londoners, you know, sometimes they can't have daily baths. You, you know, they got oh, a lot to do. Oh, I don't like the Queen. Oh, look, yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly too fond of her else. I'm sure she's a nice lady, but. Oh, I'm sure she's a B-I-H. Well, she very well may be. Very well may be. But have you met her? Hell no, I don't want to meet that bitch. Well, fair enough. Well, you don't have to meet someone you don't have to. If well, I see her, I'll probably beat her ass. I'm sure the British lawmen uh, won't take too kindly to that. Howdy, Paul. I'll beat the British lawmen's ass too. How's it going, Sheriff? Oh, it's going all right. Um, what do we got? This fella, look, we just had a bank Hello, robbery Bronco. with a number of hostages. And then, uh... Have you got some morphine for me? Oh, one second, Quandale. One second. I'm going to tell the situation, all right? The situation is I need more film right. than I need to go home. First things first. All right. This fella, we just we just dealt with a bank robbery. Then we're looking at getting mm -hmm. all the... There was like seven hostages we had to get out of there. Dad's going to beat me if I'm the, not yeah. home before dinner's ready. I know, Quandale. Look, look we, we're trying to get the hostages out. Next thing we know, Quandale here yells out, this is a bank robbery, and starts Man, firing into the ceiling. I beat, though. So I, I literally just about have a heart attack. So I, I had to put him down. Because I... That's how my mama died. Heart attack. So I think I shot him a few times in the chest. I mean, just, I've been All applying right. pressure here and just trying to keep him talking. His name's Quandale Little. My good friends call me the Quan. <laughs> the Quan. But you can call me Quandale. Okay, as you can see, he's, you know, he's, he's taking it really well. He's been real talkative. Mm -hmm. He's really, he's... He's extremely responsive. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? No, sir. <laughs> I can hear that, you bitch. No, you didn't hear anything. Oh. <laughs> the last person that laughed at me is dead, bitch. You better <laughs> cut that out before I beat your ass, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, Sheriff, I don't I need to get freedom. home for dinner before Clyde gets angry. Look, as well... As well, you better hope he don't come looking for me, because if he sees you're the one holding me up, he's going to beat your ass as well. As well, Doc. I may have slapped him around the head a few times with my He revolver. don't like the sheriffs. He he tells me to stay away from people like you. Hey, hey Clondale. You can call me Doc. I'm going to be tending your wounds today. I ask that as I do, you tend me, my associates, with respect, please. I don't want to be lassoed. Well, I'm not going to lasso you. That's some good news. I just want to be on my way. So Clyde don't beat my ass. <laughs> well, this is going to hurt a little. I'm going to pull that bullet out of you. That's <laughs> Janai. Where's the other lawman? <laughs> Where did names go? I'm gonna tell the doctors to put fucking guns on him. The doc, I'm just gonna be in my head for a minute. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> All right, what did he fuck? What, what are we gonna put? What are we gonna get him with? Um, fucking, um. Uh, no, not quite a bank robbery. Um, not manslaughter. <laughs> uh, How do you spell your name, sir? Oh, so it's gonna be Q 
You for quack like the duck. You for udders like the cow. Brandishing. A for apple. <laughs> and for nickel. <laughs> Public disorderly conduct. Threatening to kill or harm. And then oh, me. disturbing the peace. We'll just go into disturbing the peace. Maybe. Four one one. Maybe four one one. Uh, a from over there, the, again. From over there by the light post. If you L for lipstick. Mm -hmm. And then A for there. pneumonia. Yeah, just um over here. I just make the space. Appreciate it. Oh, sorry, bank. Didn't mean to hit you. All right. Oh my. That's my boss. Two, four, six. No, you're right. You're probably helping him. What's, what's happening? Uh, can we please get a move on? Clyde's gonna beat my ass. Yeah, I found him in the same. Well, well I can only just, stitch so yeah, quick, sure. sir. I mean, I can. Take I've got a feeling Clyde's on his way. <laughs> I missed I'm dinner. He's gonna sure kill me. Well, I got a feeling you're going to jail, but that's just my. I'm not going to jail. You see, when I go to jail, I don't go to jail. Jail comes to me. I got my card out and then I just bumped my head in the ceiling. Oh, oh, that's quite a high ceiling too. Hughes was it? Yeah, that's impressive. He made it all out there. That's wild. I don't know if impressive is the wrong word for it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it is impressive, but... Hey, Woodman. You must have required a lot of effort. I'm about to get this fellow out, and I think he's under arrest. Sorry, partner. I was just, uh, I was just getting no, that farm ticket car. ready for him. Okay, so I'm going to be giving him some morphine, which he's going to pop up, be a little thirsty and dizzy. Oh, I love morphine. I'm going to let y'all handle it. If y'all don't mind taking one step okay. back, though. Todd going to need a gun on him. Nasty bruise here. This man was firing in front of the uh, hostages. Two and three. All right, this guy we saw hey, in Valentine a short while ago with his friend in the other overalls. I don't have friends in overalls. Yeah, what we got, Louisa? Juan Day, we're going to need to get your hands up. Well, you got, uh, My hands up, okay. okay. All right, M Mr. Woodman, Juan Day, can we come down here a bit from the doctor's, please? Stop aiming guns at me. You're frightening me. All right, Juan Day. Now, look, I'm glad to see you back up in one piece. But yeah, you really scared all those hostages. You scared me. Now look, I understand you're just trying to be funny. <laughs> that, was, that was the plan. It that, was a joke. It, that was a very poorly timed joke. All right. Now look. <laughs> that was a funny joke. Not, not a good time. Now look, I've issued a fine of fifty dollars. Okay. Can you please put the gun away? Now, I don't even have fifty dollars, so don't give me no fine. You're gonna have to ask your brother for that, or you're gonna have to go work and get it. Okay. Uh, no. Well, you will, look, because if you don't pay that within five business days, there will be additional charges and more jail time added on top of that, okay? I'm not going to jail. You, you will be. No. You... Yes. Hey. Yeah, Quan, this, this, this is happening. Well, he's hey. fucking around and finding Help. out pretty fast here, George. Get off me. I'm not on you. You're on me. Come on, Todd. We'll take him with... Did the, the damn boat work? Uh, so, uh, put me yeah, down. I'm, yeah, 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 this thing is working. Yeah, uh, I'm, so, we, put me we down found the now. guy that stole your shotgun, George. Put me down now. I didn't steal no shotgun. No, you not stupid. you. You, oh, you. okay. Yeah, I was a mate in the overalls. No, he stole my ID. Just quickly, can I ask you one question? There you go. Oh, sorry. Good, yeah, uh, good sir. What's the other put me down. name? Which oh. one? <laughs> Sorry, I seen the uh the body. Hey, shoot him in the head. So make him drop me. Quandale, god damn it! All right, Quandale, oh, that's the shut one. up when I'm speaking. Yeah. All right, shoot. No, don't shoot. Say. The, uh... Yeah, shoot, shoot him. No, no, very poor choice words on my behalf. He said, shoot, shoot him. Help me. No, wait. So oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Hey, fella, I will give you fifteen dollars right. if you save me. Now, Quandale. All right, so make it clear. You have five business days to pay the $50 fine. We're also going to be sending you to Cisco for a while, all right? So we are going to take that no. in consideration. No, don't it's, send me uh, to Cisco. Where's Mr. Kelly and Mr. Blaze? I don't know. I don't want to go to jail again. All right. All right. Uh, so Little's not going to be happy with you. All right, Cyrus. Going to need a gun on this fella. Mm-hmm. Now, Cyrus, no. have you sent someone to Cisco? 
Uh, negative. Me either. Where'd the fuck Todd go? Oh, sorry, sorry. I have. I forgot about that. Um, how do, so, so this is gonna sound really to weird, the, partner. But how yeah. do you do it? Yeah, no, you're all good. Uh, so take him down. Okay, so uh, what you want to do in is handcuffs? Got me free, and then that's how uh, you do yeah, it. just pick him up. No, put me down. Stop manhandling me. Partner, I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. Get your and, hand off my hand. And I'm ass. trying to remember if you uh, keep him on your shoulder or if you put him down in front of him. But if you uh, interact with him or talk to him, he'll uh, give you an option to uh, bring send the him boat? to prison. Yeah, yeah. God, I hope this works. What's going on? You gotta at least cut me free before you send me. That's wait to see you, sir. Oh, Jack! Jack! Believe it or not, this is my first time sending someone. Hey, Jack, can you tell this b b b bitch to put me down? Quiet, Quandale! You need to cuff him? Oh, got a cuff, alright. Yep. All right, Quandale. No funny business. I'm gonna un I'm gonna untie you. Okay, and I'm, okay. gonna I'm gonna cuff you. I'll cover you, sir. Appreciate it. Oh fuck's sake. Try not to aim get, guns behind us. Those down. dudes are very trigger happy. Who is? Oh shit! No. Put your right. Let me go, yeah. sir. There are guns on you. If you do anything, they will blow your brains out. Shit! I don't, I don't think really I can untie him on this left. raft. God damn it! Oh, we'll get. We'll, Sorry, uh, Quandale. Get rid of this boat. I don't have many brains to blow out. You bet, just inform the uh, the crew uh -oh. that, you know, they are being watched by the fellows with the guns, etc. Oh, no, I'm not going to do anything stupid. Oh, here we go. So, Harkness is bringing down. The, and, uh, the guy early, he stole my fucking knife. Who I don't did? have. I, oh, I'll his, do it. His, his here we go. Fucking Hillbilly Joe stole my fucking knife. Don't run, you got a gun at you. Quandale, get back so here! So I'll fucking shoot you with the head of your move. Oh, I was gonna lasso him. Drop him! What the hell? I don't have a clear shot. Gax hit one of our fucking own lawmen by accident too. Fuck. Stood up just with shot. I'll get out. I'll get the boat. Do you reckon I can swim there, or...? If I don't make it back, remember me! Yep, I'm gonna be clipping that. Oh, no! Oh, no! Help! Help, I need a pickup! Stop, please! I need a pickup! Stop the boat! Sirens! Sirens! I'm not gonna make it! Hi! Hi! Oh god! Can you get him? Can you get him? Can you get him? Jump up, jump up quick! Oh, you guys got, got here you. just in the nick of time! I'm on my last breath! I'm they're, gonna beach this thing up here. They're both sunk as they cut there! Again. Oh no, sorry. God damn it, Quanda! Who was who was out on the boat with him? I don't know. I couldn't get a clean oh. shot until he ducked, and then I shot the guy. No, I made the right the call. Week. Oh god! Oh. Shit! Yeah. Good thing I found him before we got here. Yeah, it might be the boat, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's the strangest thing I've seen today. Robot went down <laughs> when I reached when I reached that part of the river. The boat went down. Oh, I just missed the action there, Mr. Kelly. 
What's happened? What's happened? Oh, uh, a man that they were gonna process for Sissica tried to escape, tried to steal the prison vault, and he got shot shots into the water. Shots? Someone shit. Oh, you boys go deal with those shots. I'll be right behind you. I just gotta catch my breath. Oh, fuck. Uh, all right. Is hotness going with him? Maybe, yeah, maybe okay. just stay with me for now, Todd. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh my God, you should have seen it in Valentine, George. Did you found the, the fella that stole my ID? No, oh, oh, yeah, we found him. Did you get my ID uh, back? Wait, 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 wait. Someone we found him. ID. But then uh, he went and sort of fucking light like a coward. <laughs> oh, he took his, he took my ID with him. Yeah, do, uh, we, we're looking into it. But then uh, <laughs> someone else thought they found him, brought a fella up to the um, sheriff's office, so we did a search looking for all the stuff. Instead, we found it wasn't the guy, and so we found drugs on him. We're <laughs> 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 not booking him for drugs. <laughs> I appreciate um, that. Oh, we couldn't believe it. We're it's fine. Like, okay. I can always get another ID. It, yeah. That, that, that <laughs> makes it all worthwhile. Oh, God damn it. So, like, so I was like, yeah, we got your man. We're like, oh. Is it? And we check, we'll what check do we have here? Was it about drugs in the pocket? <laughs> Good shit, Todd. Oh, Good it, shit. It was classic. Oh, that's that's fucking beautiful. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, Lily, did you hear that? He just walked straight past the bank. Check, check. Is it true that y'all thought you found the fella that took my D, and then it wasn't, but you found drugs on him? Could have been that guy. We found someone. <laughs> I think we found that guy had your ID. That was... He did the naughties. <laughs> okay. Is that Hughes or Woodman? <laughs> it's me, Hughes. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, Zoe was uh, bitching out uh, your... What do you call it? Your um, uh, uh, law and order? Yeah. What, what was she doing? Saying you walked past multiple people and all this sort of stuff, like that were robbing other banks and stores. And I, 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 I was walking down one of the side streets. I didn't even get past the bank, and they were telling me why didn't no, you see no. that? I didn't see yeah. shit, and I'm wondering yeah, why no. didn't they come report it properly? I knew it was bullshit. It was more just me letting you know. No, I appreciate that. No, I, it, you know, wish they just come straight and say, look, there's 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 fellas looking like to rob the bank, rather than being all sarcastic about it. God damn those poncho wearing sons of bitches. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so the fellow that robbed you, George, also robbed Walter and others in Valentine. Um, yeah, and got into a gunfight with some people. I don't know, it was an absolute mess in there. God damn. Yeah, and then when he was in uh, in the cells, he saw the lot. Yeah. Well, Y'all got a good look at fucking Quandale there? Yeah. The fucking missing link? Like. That's uh, not one of the names I pass on to Woodman, so can probably add that. So Quandale Little, that's the fellow that was just, he just, you know. Wait, wait, it was his brother that had the fucking drugs. Clyde oh, Little. Jesus. Uh, Hubert Little. There's a, there's a third Little? Jesus we fucking know, Christ. Hubert Little, wasn't it? Um. Well, I've met Quandale and, uh, Clyde Little. Like Valentine again. What? Fuck. Alert menu. Alerts come up in your eyes. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, What's going on? All right, y'all. I'll write this. I'll write you this don't... report about the bank robbery. I'll. You don't. Oh, I'll come okay. find you, or I'll see you when you get back. Uh, right. Valentine again. Uh, Kelly, okay. you wanna you wanna listen to me write a report? Oops. Learn how to do it. Or you wanna go with him? You see how this report's done. You sure? You, you can go do the fun thing if you want. I was already up there before. All right. I, just want, I, I want to get to know how to do reports more. Oh, look, it's really, it's really fun. Not really, but you got to do it. Yeah, got it. God damn it. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. Okay. <sighs> All right, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's see, reports. Yep, yeah, holding down my talk. Can you still yeah. hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Excellent, because yeah, I held down my talk muscle and then once I got into this window, now I don't have to hold it down like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm in here now. Now I'm going to criminal records. 
on the left. And then I'm gonna... This is, uh, this is the first time I've written on one of these. No, hold on. No. I go criminal occurrences up the top. I select new report. Right. Now we got up the top here. We got a suspects involved. So that's a Quandale. Q-U-A-N-D-A-L-E space little. I'm going to add him as the uh, the primary suspect. Well, he was the only real suspect. Uh, suspect yeah. IDs involved. I managed to get that. That was 246. Going to need that. Uh, officers involved. George Hughes, that's that's me. Witnesses involved. Look, there was there was too many witnesses to count, so I'm not going to leave that field empty. Charges. Now I went lucky. I went through and I found him before all this happened. That was 411. I believe that was a, a public nuisance because it's a sort of a he did a range of things. I'll talk about that more. I wasn't able to get a photo or anything, so I won't be attaching any evidence there. Occurrence title: post bank robbery. Attempted robbery. Current location. Blackwater. And it was a... Uh, it was an arrest. Now, the description. Now these, you know, you don't have... You, I don't, we don't need a... We don't need a novel, but we don't just... We don't want just a sentence either, so I'm going to write this. Okay, so... Let's try and put this all into one thing. After handling... Negotiations... Of a bank robbery here in Blackwater. I saw too the safe removal of some six to seven hostages from the bank to gather their names. Upon entering the bank, one individual. Mr. Quandale Little decided it was the opportune time to make a joke of yelling out, this is a robbery, exclamation mark, and began firing multiple rounds into the ceiling in front of Said hostages. My instincts kicked in pretty fast, considering we had just dealt with an actual bank robbery attempt. So I, I drew my revolver and attempted to fire a few shots into his chest. When this failed, I began hitting him with said revolver. Amidst the chaos, I was able to down Mr. Quandale Little. Doctors saw to his wounds while I wrote a fine of $50 for generally disturbing the peace. We then attempted to send the man away to Sisica for a short period of time to think on his actions. He was instructed that the dark gods did, in fact, have guns on him, even if it did not appear that way. When he was untied, he stole the rowboat. When Lawman had a shot, they took it. But unfortunately, before we could recover his body, the rowboat sank. I would recommend 
charging the man with evading the law on top of another Cisco sentence. And then I click submit report. Yep, yep. Oh, now saying that the suspect is not found or ID is wrong. They may have just been uh, excommunicated by the government. Oh, I see. Look, an attempt was made. Let's see if that was uh, archived. All right. Does not seem that way. See, now this is the other tricky thing. Is that, uh... Is that, uh... You know, you gotta try and get the... This report done. In T slash reports done. Before they leave the... Leave county. Yeah, okay. So it's a real goddamn pain in the ass. So look. I suspect we may never be seeing him again. Now, to make sure that there's another record of this, I would probably put it in the incident reports in the telegram station, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just so that there's a sure record of it. But uh, in this instance, it might be one we just brush under the rug due to a... Uh, we may never see him again. So it's a bit by ear, but generally, yeah, you want to get them written up lickety-split. Got it. Well, that's a goddamn shame. Yeah, rotten when that happened. Well... Well, I hope you I hope you have you learn a thing or two hearing me talk about it. That's you know, I may overdo the the writing, but that, you know, you want to paint a picture. Yeah, you want to be able to like, be able to understand and see sort of see it in your mind. If I can sort of you know, what I'm trying to say, I can see what happened. Yeah, you know, you want the what, the why, the where, the who, the how. Just you know. You want to think, you know, if someone was reading this, what would they want to know and try and get to the point? But yeah, you don't want to write, go write a, a goddamn novel or nothing. But uh, that's yeah, generally yeah. it. Um, you know, grammar and punctuation is important, but it's not necessary as long as the, the general message is there. Got it. It's fine. My God, I'm glad you boys sent out that rowboat. I was about to go under myself. Huh. I just missed, just missed the guy down the rowboat, so... First, first day as an acted sheriff and I'd drown in the river. <laughs> That's all we need. All right. Uh, I gotta head down to the store. I gotta get a new hat. They took my hat for a hostage. It's just right. like your one there. It's a great looking hat. So you, let's, uh, perfect. let's head on flat. out. Grab a, grab a new hat. Get back out on patrol. But uh, if we gotta do any running, I may need to follow you because I'm, I'm still a bit exhausted. Sounds good. Right. <laughs> God. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning so much. Oh, would you look at the time and George? Oh. Oh. Thanks, oh. Kelly. Howdy, yeah. partner. Now, uh, for your awareness, uh, I'm not sure what the gentleman called just up in Valentine with the governor and his new assistant, and myself, and uh, saw Mr. Gold and his, uh, you know, all his uh, colleagues and stuff up there. But two people that tried to hold the governor at gunpoint, and uh, Mr. Gold had to uh, assist and intervene with his uh, colleagues. Yeah. Apparently, they're the, uh, the two people they put down were the ones that keep coming into uh, Valentine, Robin, mm. such being being just menaces. Apparently, they've been doing it, Robin Farms and stuff as well. I'm not sure what their names were, but uh, they were. <clears throat> I think Mr. Gold tried to call down to y'all or try and get the word out, but. Uh, I was there. If there's any issue, he, that was uh, they were making sure that uh, nothing was happening to the governor. So uh, I don't know if your boys are going up there or not. But, uh, well, they so did leave for Valentine just before. I've just I, I nearly drowned in the river just now, so I was writing a report and showing Kelly how it's done. Drowned in the river. The Jack did take a group up. Yeah, we just had a bank robbery down here, and then we had a fella try and. Well, I know the day I was there for the bank robbery. I gave. Uh, yeah, then we had shit. a fella shooting, Sorry, shooting after, and then he's uh, he tried to steal a robot when we tried to send him to Cisco. So, and then I just tried to swim out to recover the body, and I nearly drowned. Okay, uh, it sounds like you've had quite the. But yeah, Jack uh, sent a group up to Valentine. All right, that's good. Uh, just might consider because it was all what Mr. Gold was telling us about all these, you know, incidents he's been having. He's been, you know. Um, just between yourself and Jack, just might consider a bit more freak, uh, some more, I'd say, additional patrols rather than more frequent, but it, just up in Valentine, because it seems that, uh, yeah, 
He's, oh no, he's, we he's, we wholeheartedly he's, agree, sir. It's uh, yeah, he, he's Walter, dealing with it. And, uh, every day, uh, Walter Gold makes a new friend. Yeah, um, it's uh, uh, you know, feel for the man because these people just keep coming in and try, you know, throwing their weight around or trying to. He, oh, why well, you messing with a gunsmith? But yeah, no, that's all good. I just wanted you to be aware. So, if the boys, if they end up calling down, or if, you know, if you can call them, just let them know that the. I'm sure Walter will tell them, but they're two individuals in question were the ones that uh, they tried to hold up the governor. I appreciate it, sir. Thanks for the heads up. That's right. I'll be back to City Hall if you name me. The governor's there as well, but uh, you, uh, you st I'll stay safe. Uh, and in the words of Marshal Flat, uh, give way to trains and look way both ways before I cross the street. Will do, sir. Okay, watch out. Right, let's, go let's go get... Let's go get that hat. That's good. Yo, Risky. Dear, oh dear. Quickly clean myself up. Good thing. Don't want to get sick. Yeah, I don't feel like getting sick in the map. I don't think I've... Have I, I don't think I've left Blackwater today. I think I've been in Blackwater like the whole fucking time so far. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh. Buy all the suits. May I don't get paid that much. I think old mate was going to the bar. Hello. Get a bar. Get a bath. Oh dear. Hello. Bloody hell. Oh golly, Shelby. Well, I haven't left. I haven't. I haven't. George is now in, along with Harkness. He's an acting sheriff because Bowman is stepping down. Um, in a week's time, there's going to be either a decision made on who becomes the new sheriff, or there's going to be a vote. Um, and then just now dealt with the bank robbery negotiations, and then after the bank robbery, um, one of the hostages thought it'd be a good idea to yell out, "This is a bank robbery!" and shoot the ceiling. Um, so I had to put him down, and then he tried to steal the rowboat. And then tried to recover his body from the robot when we shot him. Nearly drowned. Um, yeah. So Hughes is having a... He's having a time. <laughs> that... That is... That's a That's it in a nutshell, Shelby. That is it in a nutshell. This... This is an interesting first day as an acting sheriff, Nutties. Um, I think George is going to die. I'd love to go and see Valentine, but I, I don't think I've, I don't think, I don't think I've left Blackwater today. I don't think I've left Blackwater today. Ooh, creme brulee. Oh no, that was the creme brulee from the governor. For Miss Wheeler. Oopsie. Uh oh. My bad. No, that's fine, recklessness. We always assume... We as, we always assume something bad happens up in Valentine. It's a given. <laughs> find out and do it in character, shall we? Good luck. You'll have to find me. George Hughes is going to retire. He's going to run off into the mountains. Uh, one of the marshals has given Miss Cynthia Wheeler a signed document saying that she can, um, she can punch George Hughes whenever hey, she wants. Slow day today. Which is, fu which, break, is which is, which is fucked up. I thought he was, where'd, where'd Deputy Kelly Good go? Evening, friend. Oh, there he is. How do you found you finally? So I, I I thought you went to the get a bath. I took a wash in the river. It's just cheaper. Shit, Barn, if you should have told said something, I'd lay on you the the fifty cents. No, nah, it's all good. The money I just don't like spending it on a bath. Oh well, shit, that's very responsible of you, Kelly. All right. What was your, you, Joseph? Right? Yeah, Joseph. Joseph Kelly. Kelly. Joseph Kelly. I'm just trying to just trying to always. It's, 
trying to get it's names and faces stuck in my head. Yeah, it's hard for me as well to get names. Oh, there's so many. A lot of people you meet every time. So. Every day you meet a Quandale or a fucking Hillbilly Joe. Fucking steal your... Speaking mm. of, I need to go get another ID. Yep, we can do that right now. Let's, yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh, you're getting put up for it, so... <laughs> oh, well, look. One, one great way of teaching is by example. I wish y'all could have seen it, but take my word for it. I wish I had just, you know, literally anybody else with me. I was at the mercy of this man. And that can happen to any one of us. Now, y'all being advised as well that, you know, whatever you take out on patrol with you, you risk getting st taken? Yeah. Yeah, I figured that out. Um, I've been told that lawmen especially get robbed a lot. Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm currently just a... Unless, unless a situation arises where I need it, I'm just taking out my Navy revolver for now. It packs a bit of punch. Yeah, I got my two Navy revolvers. Can, if I do get stolen, I can always just get the money back for it or find the guy who stole it from me, so... That's right. You know, and if, and if I need be, I'll go grab my pump-action shotgun or a bolt-action, but, you know... Foot, foot patrol in black war, I shouldn't need anything worse than this, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I say that now, and the next thing you know, there'll be a cannon down the street. Yeah. Hopefully not, to be honest. Oh look, to get a to get a copy of your original ID it's just one dollar. Oh, okay, that's free. So that's not too bad. So look, you know, they can go and steal them all they goddamn want. Yeah, we should get Yeah, if you find this son of a bitch so. you find that son of a bitch and he's got my ID on him, fucking Book. Yep. I'll try to if I see him. Well, he's a rude fella. He was a... I can't remember if he was wearing shoes, but he was wearing a stupid... Just overalls. I don't think he was wearing anything under it. And a stupid little brown hat. And he had a shotgun over his shoulder and he was riding a wagon. Like a pump action shotgun or a double barrel? D pump, I think. Yeah, it is right. very rude. And he didn't give me a name. Didn't give me a name. But you start talking about... Law stuff with him. He talks about you being down and trodden on, and you know he's from the south. He don't have to put up with this and that. Like, oh, all right. He he plays you know all these you know I don't have to put up with this, and you know he's one of them. Yeah, I can imagine it now. Actually, like, look, I don't need my ID back. It's the, it's the principle. Damn it! Like anybody, nobody should really is take someone's ID. Oh, that's. That's speeding in a long arm. Let's do it. Alrighty. Oh, she's getting off her horse. I think she's popping into the saloon. She's probably grabbing some, having a shower maybe, or washing the saloon. All right. Well, let's oh, be boys. waiting for her at a horse when she comes out. You want to take lead on this, Kelly? Give her a rundown of the speeding in the long arm. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Sounds good. I got your back. You get stuck at all? You just say the word, and I'll help you. Yep. I should have it. Love to hear it. Right, we all make mistakes. It ain't a bank robbery, so it won't be the end of the world. Yeah. Hardly. Yo, Snorlax, thank you for the follow. Howdy, Palmer. What's a burger? Oh, howdy, people. Howdy. How are we doing over there, boy? Just want to let you guys know that um, well, we're trying to enforce the law that you can't have your long arms and back just to make people feel safer in town. Also, oh, are, are you gonna make me feel safe there, sir? What'd you say, sir? Are you gonna make me feel safe? Yes, yeah, let's make everyone feel safe, you know, so everyone feels threatened by other people having long arms. Um, you still got your pistols and stuff on you, so that's fine, but it's just your, you know, your shotguns, your back, your rifles. Uh, sir, can I ask you something real quick? Once is you get them long arms off, you can't. Is that table possessed? What do you say, boy? Gonna need you to take them long arms off. Uh, did you leave your manners, manners down here in the city? My my deputy here has already asked you quite politely if you could remove your long arms, as by is the law. And y'all are just changing the subject, so I'm gonna be very blunt. We're gonna need to see them long arms taken off now. Okay, I'm gonna do it real slow, like. And real slow. 
If you guys start fighting, you guys can do it outside, not in my saloon. There you go. So now that Thank you. Now the fella here. in the overalls. Hey. Fella in the overalls, gonna need your long arm off your back as well. You say please, I'll take them off law, man. Please. I mean, we already asked you twice, so. I I didn't say I didn't fucking care how many times you asked me. I said to say please. Since he said please, I will. Thank you. No worries. Being polite gets you a long way, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, now we, next next point of business. If we could all please see some RDs one at a time. <laughs> what? Here we go. So first, you take our arms off us. Take still... away the right from us to bear arms and arm bears. Oh, but sir, I, I, I said please. What uh, what are these what are these IDs you're talking about, mate? What's that even? What's so these ID? are identification cards you can get from your local, you know, usually like from a post office or here in Blackwater, the courthouse. It displays mm. information like your, your name, your heart, your hair color, date of birth, everything like that. It's actually required that everybody gets one as soon as they can. Wait, what, 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 do, what, do you, uh, what do you need to provide to uh, acquire one of these IDs? They allow us to know uh, who you are. No, no, what, what do I need to acquire one? Five dollars. What well, is five dollars? I'll just write any name on a bit of paper. Will they? No, they'll 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 get your real name. How? Where's your badge, boys? I don't know. The the people at the desk. But where where we're from? There, there's no there's no postal service out there, mate. Hey boys, last I checked, I was a free citizen. Are you claiming to be public servants? Is that correct? Yes, we are lawmen with the United States. Yep. Where's your badge? All right, give me a sec. Choose some ID for me, please. There you are, partner. Oh, Cappy. Ooh, Cap Dan. Cappy Dan. Where are you, sweat up? How do I show my ID? I'm a bit embarrassed about this. First, you got to think a law badge to pin it on your chest, and then you think a show badge. See? First day on the job, huh? First day on the job. Yeah, big little like greenhorn over here. Shit. Shit. <clears throat> How you doing there, Kelly? Smoke. I'm just trying to figure this out. Yeah, just think T way. slash law, law badge. Smoke. And then T slash show badge. This is cutting in really valuable up. drinking time, boys. Mm -hmm. Well, we took a long ride to get here, and you can't even produce a, a badge, so... Give him a second, fellas. They, they like us to produce some ID when, uh... Mm. You know, don't want to point out the obvious here. Yeah, I keep doing it. It's not... Yeah, yeah I had to say it. You do, you hate this. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you should uh, go down to the post office. Get yourself an ID. I got my ID here. Oh, you do? Can you please provide it then? Hey, could you please provide your ID? What about you? You got ID on you? I've already produced my badge. No, no, you produced your badge, not your ID. So if I show you my ID, I'm going to see yours? Well, we'll have to tell. 
Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, come on, come no. on. Oh, dear. No. Oh, dear. no. Right. Get Man, away. What are you trying to do here, buddy? Get you got me, uh, you got me itching now. Oh, that's the wrong way, that's, that's... <laughs> What in the hell? All right. Shit. You got me awful nervous now, son. You got us nervous, Mr. Sheriff. This ain't oh, good. Maybe we check him, see if he's got ID on him. Maybe. Yeah, I'll Maybe. Story. How the turns How have the turns have tabled, Mr. <laughs> Sheriff. Holy mother of God! Yeah, anyway, anyway. Bye, talk now. As far as I know, we haven't hostage any sheriffs, mate. Well, maybe one. The other one is not confirmed. I'm confirmed. Oh, yeah, I'm boy. Confirmed. I don't think that's true. That's a big Y'all can walk away now. Well, hey, you, yeah, boy, yeah. you boys have a good one. You have a good one, brethren. And well, next, we'll see you next time. We're in, you're in Blackboard and we'll have is another chat. Threat? It's not a threat, it's just as we will a have a chat with you next time we see you. He's gonna, he's gonna have a chat with us. I look forward to the chat. Yeah. Right. What are we gonna talk about? Oh, maybe about your manners. <laughs> Jeez. Right. Jeez. 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 Pretty polite. Well, that just happened. Look, you Kelly. Oh, oh Kelly! <laughs> Kelly, I missed with my rope. That's all good. I missed with my rope, Kelly. I reckon we should be able to at least the bottom. Look, and seen. you makes things worse. I'm still missing my knife, so I couldn't cut you out straight away. So, look, nah, here's, here's another great demonstration for you, Kelly. Yeah. Howdy, partner. It's the ruckus out here. Well, we just had a bit of a predicament with three rude gentlemen, but if you'd be so kind as to uncut us, we'll be we'll be on our way. I think so, Dub, but I don't know. Check heard people. I figured they're getting them, so. Oh, and my deputy. Howdy, Jack. Three gentlemen just rolled off. They they hog tied us in here. Yeah, they had a people in overalls with a raccoon hat. Yeah, I don't have a knife. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, they were quite rude. Oh. Sorry, I didn't know how to show my off badge. No, 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 these it sometimes fucks up, Kelly. Yeah. It sometimes fucks up. Don't you worry. I know you tried. Thank you, partner, for cutting us free. That's right. All right, you have a safe day. Thanks for taking the long arm as well. What was your name? How do you do? Uh, goat. Goat. Oh, God, I'm gonna remember that. Goat, you just helped us out a lot today. Thank you very much, partner. God hey, um, damn it. Sheriff George. Sir. Howdy. You know those two that uh, got away from the bank here? From the robbery? Yeah. Did you just get them? They just tried to um, hold up the, the the governor and they got killed, shot by them. So, but you shot them? Uh, no, no, no. Um, the governor and the marshal got help from, I don't want to say his name, but Walter. <laughs> no, no, you, you, Valentine, you got help, yeah. that's right. We got help by Valentine, and then we've uh, sent them to Sissica for both charges of robbery and... Uh, and you find what's them? What's the other one? Something official? Yeah, yeah, we find them. Yeah, Carpool. Uh, oh, I didn't find mine, I just sent him to jail. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's okay, Woodman, just... we. We're no, all... it, was six, it was six days of jail, though. I know, but it's just we need fines happening. We need fines. We need fines, boys. But that's all right. Oh. That's okay. We just had he some just three rude gentlemen here. Charges for jail yeah, I wasn't expecting to walk in to have three guys. Nah, Kelly, it <laughs> didn't help that I, I went for, I went for the one that was getting in our face with my rope, and then I grabbed he Kelly, me up. and then I grabbed a local. It just, and then <laughs> Kelly couldn't this. show his badge. Just country, country's being country. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, fuck. All right, I but yeah. Take a train anyway. How much is the how much is the average knife? Uh, five, is it 15 or $5? $5. $5. Yeah, dollars. I need to buy a new knife. So, yeah, he took my ID earlier and he took my knife. Oh, he take your knife. So yeah, that I couldn't um... cut myself out of the rope. That's so uh, how it works. Hmm? How it works, but... I can't believe it. All right. Uh, but that's... But, and, put... but uh, so... 
And how'd you do it? Because I'll probably still have to write a report about that bank robbery. How'd you do it with the chase? Um, I caught a guy. Put him on the back of my horse. He disappeared. Oh, I caught a guy. Turns out in his, uh, in his eyes, he wasn't there. So I spoke to him about it. Oh, I um, see. Then he's been sent for it, though. Because we caught him. <laughs> he yeah, well, yeah, yeah, fair, uh, yeah, fair is fair. Yeah, exactly but then right. the others got away. You just got that one and it's hey, been talked about. I found them. No, we got all three. I found the shooters. And and the no rest way. were uh, found in jail? on the other side of the jail? On town right here. Oh, fuck. Bro, get your guns out, Luke. This way. This way. Oh, God. As long as it's not near a river. There's an air bullshit. I'll get the guns out. Right there, right there. Copy right that, there. Jack. Down there's the other side of that fence. They got the body with them. It's clear, hold on. It's... Alright. Got on. Hello. I Hello. shot him. I shot this man. It, he kept following me. I'd warned him multiple times not to. He's wearing a mask. Whereabouts is he? Over by this fence over here. No, this person right here. Actually, I've seen you. He few hasn't. Times like, I've tried to ask him, like, why he was following. He hasn't said anything. Hello. I'm gonna rob you. Oh, let's take him to the jail cell. What will happen? I'll pick him up. Sorry, so you put all this crap in his locker? Yeah, I just did. Yo, that. fatal. Welcome. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking yeah, of a lot of stuff. My fellas, stuff in the locker as well. So. Now, nah, all good, dude. Thank you for. Thank you. Like, please pass on. Please pass on to your whole you group. Okay? Thank you for being, you know, being bank robbers, but doing it in a good way. Oh, um, you know, there was negotiation. There was the back and forth. There was a bit of role play. Um, um, I hope. I hope that the lawman. We met you halfway with the chase and everything. So, but no, thank you for providing a good example of how to do a bank robbery and like meet us in the middle and we meet you halfway. So thank you very much, Fatal. Um, I've, I've had to deal with a, r a lot of pretty shit players tonight. Um, well, some are shit, some are just, they're playing real, they're playing a real hard ass. Oh. And, but it's, it's been really fucking slow. So that was, that was actually nice yeah, to have a bit of, a bit of a banter that didn't, yeah, okay. that actually, you know, it, it felt nicer. <laughs> So we take him to the doctors, or we take him into the... Thank you, Fatal. That's yeah, excellent. Uh, to the cell first. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, Thank you for not being shitters. Yeah, we've yeah. had some shitters. Uh, we've had some people um, oh, combat log guy, tonight, and that, Somebody like... Somebody with James this might be in his head. Yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, a bunch of... I think a bunch of new players, but, you know, that, you filter them out. You weed them out over time. It's fine. Dude, they're hearing that the governor had problems and then, like, got sh you guys got shot. Like, whoa. Holy fuck, dude. I haven't... Dude, if this is Hughes's first day as acting sheriff with Harkness... What like, night, eh, George? Oh, uh, Todd, I haven't left Blackwater all fucking night. I've been Crazy a Valentine night. three times tonight. You lucky bastard. I'm sick of looking at this fucking corner. There's a fucking dark... There's that fucking wagon that's always sitting outside the shop. No one ever fucking moves it. <laughs> pocket top. Well, it's like a pocket mercy from Overwatch. Need so, pocket heels. Uh, this is telling me Calden's wife now works for the governor. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, so I'm like, well, where's my gun back then? Yeah, she wants that job there. You get your gun back. Yeah, exa exactly. And she finishes I her fucking sentence. <sighs> I fucking, I was like, what? I almost fell over. Jeez, you might as well have you meeting tomorrow in the governor's office there, hey, dudes. I've already I'm had, and I've had, I think I've had two or three fucking meetings with the governor. Haven't left Blackwater. You know I've lost my ID. Here. I've lost my knife. I'm fucking, my God. Oh, what is that? Room in a cell, I'm guessing. Oh.
Just give me a minute. If I just put him in the cell or just on the floor here. Or... Is he responding? Well, he hasn't said a word yet, so. Uh, I have to go back to Blackwater. We have to go back to Bloody Valentine again. No worries, Jack. Hey, 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 hey George, do you want to come with me to Black uh, Valentine? What did, what did Jack just say? I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. We'll go, woman. He literally oh. just said you go. I thought we'll get you out of the town so you can have fun. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, you're talking to me. Oh, I appreciate that. But now, look, it's so far late into the night. I may as well okay. just fuck it. Well, I've done a shift where I've, I haven't left Blackwater. What do you right. fucking do? I, I love being an acting sheriff. I fucking love Blackwater <laughs> so fucking much. That's fine, you Somebody, boys. You, sorry, you, still there. you boys go give him hell. Get those fines out. Get my um, get my goddamn my teeth. Get my I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be holding this a nap guy. in the corner. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, no worries, Sledge. Good work getting those boys in spa. Yeah, whoever's oh, staying here. Do you not understand how satisfying it was to walk up and see this guy wearing the same clothes without a head? No, I <laughs> I, I wish I could say I've experienced that, but as an acting sheriff, it brings me joy to hear you boys having these little wins. It it. If uh, now I'm at now I know what Bowman felt like, so good you fucking shit. You guys the doctor in here, haven't you? Alrighty. So. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, all good. Nice sledge. Good, good luck, luck, Jack. Oh, well, uh, dump him on the floor. Let's let's take a look. God damn it. There you go. So he, he's he's down. Partner, partner, if you can hear us, can you give us a gurgle or anything? Maybe we, uh, we there Oh, is. right. Oh, quick. Oh, quick. Kelly, I'll call the doctors. You apply some pressure to... Yep, yep. You, we got to assess where he's been injured. We're going to need some kind of... We're going to need some kind of indication as to what we're dealing with. Wink, wink. So what you want to do is you want to think of T slash me space and then your affliction. No worries, Fatal. Thank you. Thank you. Just... <laughs> Shit, he's, he, he got shot. Which, yep, yep. All right. Well, look. Just put pressure on the gunshot yeah, wound. Yep. Just wherever that may be. And that's that's not road. <laughs> Got shot. <laughs> Fucking hell. At least at least he's trying. At least he's learning now. Because I didn't walk past it. Did I? I don't know. Well, y'all are meant to report crimes. You meant to report crimes, not be like, you walk past this. You meant to be like, there's people in the bank. Not just allude. You gotta be like direct. My god. <laughs> oh my god, brother. You fucking poncho bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you you can't you did it in Blackwater and you allowed me to do something um something a bit different than usual. Um because we've just been talking to people about IDs and long arms and so many people have been rude. Yeah, I'm holding, I'm... Yo, I'm knighted. I think you boys will be back. Hey, look. Under pressure. So as okay. as long as you're doing Sorry, good RP in Blackwater, you're welcome back anytime and we make it fun for everyone. Works for me. Um, all I ask, all I ask is the average criminal player I'm on the server. doctors on the way is there, uh, is, anything I can do? Look, got no problem if you get away from a lot of bank robberies and stuff. Ah, uh, not much. But if y'all could, you know, the just sometimes to get to you. do little right, crimes where we can confiscate cheap guns or find you like small amounts just so right, we can go. get some money uh, in our ledger just to balance just things. Yeah, you know, just, right, just, I'll, a, I'll just a suggestion. I'll move over there and I'll help you out. Just... Sometimes we need to find people. 
or confiscate right, we weapons this. that we can melt yeah, down. Let's hold out till the doctor gets here. No, right, bows are fine. Bows are bows are not considered long arms. Like you know, it may not be doctors, just, but you know, you know, get away with get away with a lot of crimes, and then just wound. when you can, just oh, do some anyway. little crimes that, and and just yeah, you know, go we, easy on us. Us about, uh, You know, just just a suggestion. You don't have to. Yeah, I mean, I would take you don't have to. Just 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 a, just a cheeky suggestion. Yeah, I refrained from that. I didn't want to touch on a it's touchy just, subject. Yeah. That's all right, I can speak about that. It's just it's just all about supporting that balance. You know? Oh, I don't think it is, but they'll yell out. They'll, um... I don't think they're coming, though. What's going on with him? He was... I think he was trying to rub someone and then shut him back. Oh. He was wearing a mask, as you can see, but, you know, mm. he was warned multiple times by this fellow, and he was with a lady. You know, told, mm -hmm. you know, stop following us, you know, out in the back streets at night. And oh, it's the same one I followed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, yeah. you know, he, you know, you warned him a few times. So I guess, you know, I think it's fair he shot him. You know, unless someone else has got a different story, I think that's fair. Yeah, I see so. You know, preferably he should have just held the gun on him and told him to walk away. But, you know, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't there, so I, I kind of get it. But, boys, I don't think a doctor's coming. Look, you know, there's a little oh, bit of... You, you, you kind of just give him a bit of a grace period. You know, five, ten minutes, and if, but if you don't get a response, you got to just do it the other way. Um, yeah. So, look, I don't know how long he was lying there till we got there, so we might take him to the uh, the local doctor. You got to yeah. you got to dump him at his feet. All right, it. I'll step away for you. But then we'll be having a chat. Do you want to go at the back, or? Yeah, good call, Cyrus. Go at the back. Mm. These boys are showing good initiative. Right, I'll go on your sick. Yeah, I, I went, I went, I roleplayed going to the store to like put on a new hat. I didn't just do RC anywhere. Oh, sorry. Oh. No worries, Cyrus. I'll catch up. Appreciate it. We try to work. A lot of us, a lot of us really try. Like there's a lot of regular players that have been around a while and some new players that are really good as well. Um, we try. We try. If everyone can just be fair. No, no, it isn't. And just. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it one more down? I think it might be one more down. Oh. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Oh, doctor. Yeah. Oh, you coming doctor. to see us? Yeah, that. We got this cold. fella here. He was stalking some fine folk and then they, they shot him in, well, I think self defense. He got well, shot. Slap him down slap him down on the ground here. Let's take yeah, a look. Yeah. Do you know where he got shot? We just know he got shot. <laughs> Not exactly sure, but you know. Are you both best. doctors or? Uh, she's one of my recruits. It's, yeah, I got you. Thank you. It's like improv with with Why theater so and everything nosy? and drama so nosy. and Every acting. Every interaction I've had with you tonight. Where are you going? What are you doing? No, Who's don't this? just Where think about your story. Yeah, think about oh, you? God think damn. about what the other person is putting down, for a second. and like, if it wow. <laughs> matches what your character's about, it was deep. try and meet them oh, halfway. Me. No, no, give, I was just yeah. checking if I uh, need to be give like, them, hey, man, do you mind back Give them bit? some ammunition, and then generally, it's a back and forth. Like, no, healthy improv, yeah. it's a back I'll and forth, and then everyone has fun. That's that's how it goes well. If you're just putting up Looks like a walls all the time, caliber embed to the nothing happens, shoulder, and it's boring. It's sassy. Sassy, is that you? Yep. How you going? Not too bad. You you been busy? Uh, I've got a shadow on me at the moment. A little bit. Oh, good. This fella, he was stalking some people in a back street here in Blackwater. And he was told to fuck off, but then instead he found out. No, uh, you found her out. You, <laughs> you fucked her and found out. Exactly. <laughs> well, I better go find my shadow before I, she gets lost. Now look, I'm gonna keep my Random voice down, but yeah, we want to have it. We want to question this boy a little bit when he gets back up. So we, when the doctor's ready to do morphine, we'll have guns on him. We'll have a bit of a chat, but generally, I'd like to see a, you know. Sheriff, sure, so we're gonna need to have guns on him. I get him up. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe uh, a, if you can't one. find a better a better penal code, 
public nuisance because someone's told him clearly stop fucking following me and he's disobeyed it so at the very least yeah. that maybe maybe just yeah, like ten dollars right. yeah right do we know his name at all also raven you might yeah descendant yeah it is from between the it's um battle tanker in chat <laughs> it's just a it's battle tanker who's in chat quite a lot assistant. Yo, smokes. Oh, there is stalking intimidation. Alrighty. Gonna need to see some pa hands, partner. Flex your X muscle, Matt. Oh, should be. No, that yeah, that would make sense. Partner. Thank you. How you got? Oh, there he is. How's it going? That's been a fine job. Years. All right, Cyrus. I got my yep. gun on him. You wanna, you wanna, cough him on hog time? Hey, doing the hog time. I'm having to walk. What? Uh, yeah, I'll cough him. I'll cough him. All right. All right. All right, mate. Just stay there for now. Hi, Mr. Hughes. How's it going? Wait. Howdy! Howdy! Have we, have we met? Yeah, we've met many times. Who are you? Uh, Hamish Macbeth. Hamish Macbeth? Have we? Where? When? You don't know who I am? Oh my god, I'm kind of disappointed. No? Alright. Look, but I mean, I'm a chat. I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna go to the sheriff's office. We're gonna sit down, have a chat, and get my one phone call, and to get handcuffs taken off me, and then we go about our business. Is that how it works? Oh, kinda. Right. Let's do this. Um. Shit. I wish they were all like this. Mm. Thank you, doctors, well, uh, as always. I'll get the door. Didn't really do much. Shuby did everything. Looks nah, like. <laughs> team effort. What? Well, it's I I know this player IRL. He's one of the he's one of the de he's one of the devs. I don't know what he's smoking. I I I I hung I I hung out with this guy at PAX last he year. Hung out to go. He get, we had a good old chat him. about Sea of Thieves and shit. I don't know what he's doing. You want me? I will be. I I Just might be in the Omegathon again. Those cells there. In the cell? All right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Just a uh, protocol, you know what I mean? That's right. All right, just head over to this one on your left. <clears throat> nice in here. Oh, he's being disarmed. Excellent. All right, can I join? Oh, you take my Has gun? he already been searched? Or? I didn't search him. Nah, no searching yet. All right, you got me? I don't know, I'm not going to cause any trouble, it's alright. That's alright, just uh, face the wall for me, appreciate it. I'm going to pan down, I huh? this for a while. That's yeah, nice. yeah, it's just protocol, like I said. I'm going to get my phone call. In a second. <laughs> right. He wants a phone call. While you do that, Cyrus, I'm going to see if there's any uh, appropriate penal codes for you. Boop, 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 boop. Let's have a look. off me. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have one of those rifles. It's pretty crap. Uh, <clears throat> let's have a quick... I want that one back. Um... Oh. Alright, just uh, face a wall until I tell you to move. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Alright, that disturbing. Maybe. Shot. Maybe. <laughs> happens every time. Oh, I got a, I got a bomb. Oh, maybe. Right. We got to set the bed. We got to set the bed. We got to set the bed. Oh, swing your door you got. Oh, fucking hell. On the right side this time. Alright. Alright. Yep, you're free to move. Uh, the reason I took your uh, firearms <clears throat> is just uh, for now. It's just, I'm just holding them. Oh, that's uh, alright. Yeah. Oh, you guys so just doing the job. I don't go and get it. It's dark in there. You can't see anybody. But uh, they will be returned to you yeah, at some state, depending. Apparently, there's somebody down. Oh, the they'll be returned to me. It's all right. I know. But I, I think yeah, yeah. It's a bit... 
There, the cat that'll do. <laughs> Say again? The cat's a guard that shot me? I'm not aware. I arrived probably halfway on scene, so All I'm right. not sure. I don't know who he's going to call. Him? Are you uh, good for food and water for now? I don't know who he's going to yeah, call. I would be if I wasn't handcuffed. No, no. Uh, can you face the door for me? I might be... Oh, sorry. Over here. I might be able to... Right. <clears throat> oh, you're right, Cam. Easy typo. <clears throat> Easy typo to make. Yeah, but Drew, so I don't know what he's going to call another Lord Department. Like, hey, how you going? Oh, there good, go. mate. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I've been arrested. Yeah, I'm good for feed. <clears throat> All right. Just make sure you uh, stay hydrated and well-fed while you're uh, here. Hopefully for a short time. <clears throat> it's very thoughtful of you, Cyrus. Now, Cyrus, I had oh, a look through. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Look, there may be a better one, but the the most obvious one to me is four one one for disturbing peace. Disturbing yeah, peace. Okay. Look, I wish there was one bit more specific. All right, but that that'll do for now. When do I get to tell my side of the story? All right, do I get a side of the story, or is this a one sided like? Sa kind of Cyrus is probably getting to that, but it better be you, a good story. Do you notice that I was unarmed when you caught me? You got you got hands, you got feet. Well, I had I had no weapon in my holster at all when what, the man shot. What, what, what were you doing following him with a mask? Uh well when you find out who I was, I was gonna talk to the man about a business he wanted. Alright, well look, Cyrus will be getting to that. I'm kinda of disappointed Mr. Hughes doesn't remember who I am. I'm kinda of sad about that. So when have we met over the last two weeks? <clears throat> When we met, uh, I'm sure we passed by the uh, the fair thing, the festival thing, briefly. Oh, we did? That... I... Does my name not ring a bell with you at all? No, I met a McHugh. Uh, well, you, you've never heard of Hamish Macbeth? No. I met, right. I meet a lot of people, <clears throat> and then I struggle right. to remember them. I'm hoping you guys are investigating the guy that shot me because he shot a government official. Well, where, where? Me. Who are you? Uh, head of the Department of Commerce. Hang on, sorry. Playing up a bit. Give me a sec. You're right, Cyrus. Sorry, you, you jump back in when you're ready. It's just, this guy's a chatterbox. Yeah, I'm a chatterbox. I got an office in St. Denise. Hmm. <clears throat> Mr. Uh, I, I just don't mind having a break, to be honest. It's kind of nice not having people chase after me. Mr. Macbeth, you got... Okay, well... Why were you wearing a mask? <clears throat> Why I was wearing a mask? I was wearing a mask that was down in the desert. I was wearing my normal suit. People run up to me and ask me 101 questions. Well, why did I try you... to stay incognito now and again. Why didn't you take it off before getting back into Blackwater? Because I had it on, and then I realized the guy I needed to speak to was standing right next to me, sitting on the bench... When I called out to him, he ran away. But now he, 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 he asked you to stop following him. Did you say anything yeah. or make any indication that you were going to stop? Uh, I yelled at him and said, stop, I need to talk to you. Then he climbed over two fences and then I, I stopped and he turned and shot me. You understand right. that would have been a little, you know, with a mask. Yeah, I saw your mask. That would have been a little. Yeah. I, t I totally understand when the mask probably not a good idea, but it did help. trying to be down in the desert with all the dust. All right, so uh, if you looked at my holster, there was no gun in it at all. All right, look, time I'm going to let Cyrus get back into this, all right? <clears throat> all right, You Cyrus, talk to Cyrus now. You, do your job. Yeah, he's trying. <clears throat> all right, so, so you should have been seen that you've uh, been <clears throat> fined. Is that correct? Yeah, whatever. I'll get a government to pay for that. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, you do what you do. Uh, but if it's not paid for within five business days, uh, we'll uh, be looking for you. And you'll, uh, it was uh, $10. You've been very Are polite. Are you joking me? $10? I'll pay it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you do what it? you do, but uh, you've been very polite, so we're trying to work with you. I'm just hoping you guys go after the guy that shot me. You don't need to worry about that. We'll uh, do our job, and we'll uh, yeah, investigate like to, that. And... Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to put a uh, complaint against that gentleman. Okay, well, that's something you can do at a later date after this. Um, but for cake. now, yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> as I'm trying to get you out of here as quick as I can... Um, uh, yeah, five days to pay that. If you don't, um, yeah, we'll be looking for you, and we'll, uh, yeah, you'll be could be facing jail time. I just wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind a holiday. Hmm. I wouldn't mind a holiday. 
People can't find me when I'm in jail, I suppose. Oh, you wouldn't mind a holiday. Sorry, I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah, my, my job's pretty busy, so it's... No, no, I got you. Well, um, have you got any questions for me before I release you from the cell? And you can uh, then file a complaint if you would like. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm... Yep. I got nothing against you guys. You guys are doing your job. No, no, thank you. I appreciate <clears> that. I'm this huge guy keeps jumping in. I, Cyrus was having trouble with, with, with things out of his control. You want to let Cyrus finish? No, I was finished. All right, nice. Good job, Cyrus. You, you a new recruit? Uh, negative. I'm a deputy. Oh, deputy. Look at you go. Congratulations. <laughs> you. Uh, the other guy who's just been very quiet over there. Captain, uh, you happy to release him, or what do you want to do? Cyrus, you've done a stand-up job <clears> as <throat> usual. I'm happy for you to get him out, and you've got to direct him to the gentleman in the office here who can take his ten dollars. Yeah, copy. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, so I'll just release you. Give me a second. Alright. Who's the guy static staring at me? That guy. Sir, my name is Mr. Joseph. I'm just like watching what they do. Alright. Pretty new year. Alright, nice to Joseph, yeah. It's me. Keep on these guys. This guy's doing a good job. Mr. McBeth, I'm sorry if we have met before. I will do the best now to try and remember, but I, no promises, okay? Alright, that's dumb. Alright, so, uh, your lucky number? <laughs> lucky number? Uh, 237. <clears throat> My god, I can't... The last four hours have kind of flown by. Just been go, 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 go. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to think. <laughs> but that's good, I guess. All right, I do believe that's all of your uh, property. Do you mind checking for me? Yeah, I believe you. I'm Look at Cyrus go. He's thorough. Yeah, like he's polite. Opinion, you know, just double check. He's so confident. No, uh, he's easy going. It's great. Uh, did I have a spring fill before? I can't remember. I'll take uh, it. I'll... Yeah, no, I definitely didn't have it on me. All right, I'll take it. Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm uh, I'm a lawman. I have the <clears throat> uh, the basics here. Definitely didn't have a spring fill. All right. All right. So you happy with uh? Your items returned? I'm very happy with the way you guys are processing. You guys did a fine job. No, we're trying to be polite. You you were very polite with me, <clears> so <throat> I gave you the same back. All right. All right. Well, thank you for uh, treating me with respect. Right. How, how do I find my complaint? <clears throat> uh, that may go to my captain. I'm not sure. I've never dealt with a complaint before. Shit. Yeah, I, uh, I think you're right, Cyrus. Shot by a, Sorry, I'm not sure. I am a man who got shot. I understand I was wearing a mask, but you can clearly see I did not have any weapons on me at the time I got shot. I understand. Just, you know, make sure you, you know, take your mask off when you're into your town. Uh, and just, just try and be, make an effort to not appear as threatened. I know you, I, I, I'm hearing you, but okay, let's, let's hear your side now. All right. So I was in town after coming up from the desert doing some work mm -hmm. i like to wear my kind of rough clothes because otherwise when i wear my suit I get approached quite regularly by people and i may have forgot i was wearing a mask but i happened to see a gentleman was your rough clothes uh clothes sorry all black or oh this, no this is my rough clothes you see my proper oh that and, okay yeah i can go and get changed and you see how fancy no, I can no get. you're right i was just <clears> more curious sorry but uh now i went to wear my my suit People spot me from a while away, and they run over and have 101 questions. <clears throat> so uh, I tried to stay incognito, but spotted a gentleman that I wanted to talk to. Thought that gentleman proceeded to back off, and then when I followed him, and I thought I yelled out, but yeah, he, uh, he just pulled a gun and shot me. And I do believe if you're a sheriff and you know the rules of the law, I believe the punishment of shooting a government official is a bit higher than a normal civilian. I mean. Bite me real quick. I was him. Uh, a guy walked up to me with a mask. I didn't know. Uh, <clears throat> just keep coming. Out. Maybe I would have shot as well. Or what, what would be your reason for shooting? I mean, at the moment we have a lot of criminals running around here. I was mm. from, yeah, but you know, a while honest. back in roads and uh, around this area as well. There's a lot more criminals. Like just before we were at the balloon. Yeah, when when you pull a gun there. out and really someone pulls a gun on I, you, I'm going like to start walking. 
like demon I said then, to you before. I've had a guy rob me with just a lasso. No weapons, you know. Master, like I said to you your... before, I I may have missed half of it, but was there a reason you were following him or? Yeah, uh, the gentleman wants to own a business, and I'm the man who can help him with that. <laughs> so I happened to be walking past, and I happened to notice he was the man I needed to spot speak to. I kind of doubled you... back. What did you say to him? Said, "Hey, I want to talk to you." <laughs> Yeah, that, okay. Maybe, like, hey, I want to talk to you about your uh, business <clears throat> proposal, or... I didn't get that far. He shot me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he pulled the trigger pretty quick. Put it that way. Yeah. Okay. Right. And, like I said, if you pull a gun out of a man, you expect him to start, oh, to start walking as soon as you pull the gun out, but he didn't... In that, so he pulled it on me. He pulled yeah, the maybe he straight away. He didn't have your weapon, and maybe she should have... Uh... Instead of shooting, just told you to back off, you know, with gun drawn. I yeah, agree. He, I, I he feel like... He almost in one motion, so... I think we shouldn't have had masks on, and I think people should have, you know, taken a bit of time to just hold their gun out <laughs> rather than pulling the trigger and, you know, yeah, commanding the situation I, I think with their gun a bit longer. both sides of the fence made a mistake, but... Yeah, no, good point, good point, yeah. I can, I can see both sides, but... <clears throat> I think, I think... Look... Look, as a government... Now, look, if I go talk to the governor, governor am I going to find that he's going to tell me about a Hamish Macbeth? Oh, the governor definitely knows who I am. The governor here yeah. right now. The governor here? He might be. I don't know. Oh, the governor knows who I am. 100%. Well, look. How about this? Like, we'll, we'll have a report written up about this. <clears throat> And, uh, the problem you know, I've got, I've got to go and find this gentleman. And if we find out that there's still more incidents happening between you, we're happy to get involved. But I feel like if you can go talk to him maskless next time, you can hash this out. And uh, we'll speak to the governor in the meantime. Look, if we can find out that the governor, you know, can sign off that, you know, he knows you, we'll then, uh, <clears throat> we'll shred the, uh, we'll burn up the report. How about that? I don't mind. You guys do what you gotta do. We're just being thorough. You know, you understand from That's our fine. point of view, no, we can go ask... The job. We can let you go, we go talk to the gunner. You know Hamish Beth, and we say, I don't know him, Macbeth! And then we look like a couple of idiots. <clears throat> so, yeah. You can, no, much at, at, you can ask any business owner in the county, they'll know who I am. All and right. we do appreciate you being so cooperative and polite and uh, giving us all the information you did. It does help. Is, is that Gabriel guy around? Uh, he hangs out on the. He hangs out in Saint Denis. Yeah, all right. All right, Mr. Macbeth. I think that's. Was there anything else you wanted to add? Uh, that's all right. The problem is I've got to go and find this gentleman that shot me. Now, what are we going to do this time? Well, I'm going to go and put my suit on for a start. Hands and... up, no mask, probably. <laughs> like, hey, talking about your business opportunity. Well, well, the problem is, you know, it is like when you're, when you're not expect to see somebody and suddenly spot them. You kind of like do that double take and go no, back. No, I get it. I get it. You're right. Please, for no, the love of not. God, don't shoot me. I want to talk about business. That's fine. Shooting the guy that's going to help with for business is probably not the best idea, is it, to be honest? <laughs> it's not the best idea to shoot. I haven't had a chance to have an interview with him yet. All right. Well, uh, you have a good day, sir. All right. Shit, I better get ring. that. Have a good one, Mr. McBeth. Oh, that might be the governor. You might want to... What oh, the hell? Who's this? <clears throat> I'll oh, hang yeah. around just in case it's for me. Howdy, this is Acting Sheriff George Hughes of the West Law Department. Hello, Acting uh, Sheriff George Hughes. It's Woodman here. Woodman, how goes it? It goes good. Oh, I don't care Sorry, one yeah. second. Walter, get the fuck out. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're about to head on back now. How you guys going? You all good down that end? Yeah, look, that uh, fella at the fence, we've just finished dealing with that. It seems like it was just a misunderstanding, mis miscommunication. So, we're, look, we're... I'm here with Kelly and uh, Cyrus. We're just the Lord Department. Everything seems fine at the moment. We're about to write up some reports. All right. Well, Harkness and I are about to head back your way now. All right. We'll see you soon. Safe okay. travels. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's just Todd. Harkness and him are on their way back from Valentine. Yeah, They're just wondering so. how we're going. Cyrus, do you mind? Uh, would you be okay writing the report about Mr. Macbeth? I can give it a go, but I was like three quarters away, halfway in, so I don't have all the information. Was, um, sorry, I don't know his name. Was he for the whole thing? Or? Oh, look, if he is a member of the government, this is this command can be very brief, just in the telegram station, incident report, same format as the other ones. You know, uh, lawmen were alerted of a uh, man with a gun on the outskirts of town. We approached uh, one man, 
uh, and lady was standing there giving us no trouble saying that this man down on the ground in a mask was fo following them did not comply when asked to stop he was then shot in a you know preemptive self-defense probably a little bit too hasty and then then we you know we had a doctor see to and then we then all of that happened Okay, all right. But, oh, Pete, don't feel like you go into too much detail with this one, because if we, when I talk to the governor and we get confirmation that he was with the governor, we'll just we'll burn that report. It's just in case we find out he's a damn liar. Yeah. Okay. Um. And did we have any name on the shooter? I didn't get that because I wasn't there. Oh shit! I think I think Harkness or Woodman may have got it. It all. That's all right. That's all right. It's I'll been a it day. Some of these things happen so fast. There's another great example for you, fellas. Is a. Uh, if you feel like you're gonna maybe need it, be extra sure and ask, just in case the people that do know the information ain't around, because it might be a day till you get a hold of them. Hmm. Yeah. No, it's all good. I'll uh, I'll keep it vague and uh, brief. That's all right, though. Look, yeah. Um. And I'm gonna write up this report about that bank robbery. Yeah. Yeah. Copy. So. Uh, Ready. We'll get that done. Um. Uh. Yeah. Uh, did you want to? Did you want to hear me write up my report about the bank robber Kelly, or would you like to hear Cyrus write up his? Um. No. Oh, wasn't the Cyrus? I think. Yeah. yeah he writes it. Yeah. Get. Yeah. Now you've heard my style. Can I get his style? Yep. Woo! All right. Oh. Okay. Uh. Sorry. Was that something about a report? You. Yeah. You. Hear how you write it up. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, All if right, you well, can just is, speak yeah. aloud for, for Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Well, think aloud, I mean. Bard! All right, so I'm just going to say... Uh, Hello, mate. Thank you for the raid. Vague, obviously, because uh, we don't have all mate, the Mate, lots of RP. Yeah, yeah. How you bloody um, going, mate? So what were you playing tonight? I'm just going to quickly write it, start writing walking, a report, uh, but I will jump back into so OBS to see moving. chat in a second. And he was approached by a mass individual, and... um. He was unsure. It was dark, obviously, at the time. Just trying to give oh. a brief layout, obviously. Incident yeah, report it was west. bright and sunny, you know, you could act differently. Woo-wee! Um, but, yeah, being dark and all that, uh, he approached and said, hey, stop, um, which could be seen as uh, threatening. Um, he was followed continuously, apparently. Not confirmed, but he was told to stop. Um... And then, uh, after not stopping, apparently, uh, he was shot once, uh, confirming he had a black mask. Was that correct? Yeah, like a black mask with goggles. With what? With goggles on it. Oh, goggles. Yeah, yeah, got you. Um, all right, so black mask with goggles. All right, um, I'm just going to just i'll be quiet for a sec i just need to write the um inventory i took off him yeah that's all good um All right, I'm just going to make a mention. He said um, he didn't have a Springfield on him, but I definitely didn't have one on me. So yeah. I gave him back his stuff, but yeah. Um, all right, so his Who inventory the fuck is that? done. <laughs> Can't remember their name. Um, were you there for any of it? I was there from when we found his body on the ground. Uh, yeah. The guy came up with us. I believe he was with one. He, had a, he was there with the lady, the shirt. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what he was wearing. He came up to us and said, hey, someone was shooting, we shot him down. But he said there was someone shooting, right? Yeah, he said, um, so sorry, so the, uh, the shooter, if you will, um, came over and obviously handed himself in, in as such, and, yeah. uh, yeah. He came up to me, he said there was someone shooting and we got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we so have I've... to ask him the statement from him as well? Uh, see if they match up after and stuff like no, that. no, no. I think after um speaking to Captain Hughes before, um, I believe it's more just how <sighs> we're doing it now. I think it's pretty much settled. It was like yeah, a, yeah. yeah, they're both in the wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, 
All right, so anything kind of valuable to add? I've got descriptions and everything like that. Um, any things worth mentioning that you have? I mean, when we walked up to him, we found the ground behind the fence. Um, he said that they jumped over a couple more fences. He approached him. But then when the other guy came and told us about the yep. report, he said they were shooting at him. Yeah, so got that. That, yep. that for me conflicts with the the other guy. So we had him here. It does, yeah, yeah. So we don't, I don't know. And he said he didn't have his gun equipped. That could have been because that. Of the, yeah, that's got, hard to know, really hard determine. To, obviously, being dark and everything. We asked both the woman and the the male what happened. They both say the same thing. Then we um, know about the guy we just had in here was probably either lying or had you know maybe just messed up his like just didn't remember exactly what happened. Yeah, exactly. He had a mask on. Uh, common looking clothes. I mean, he had like a, you know, whatever. I don't know what he had on him, but. We have two people saying he was shooting first, and they shot him, and that conflicts what he said when he said he walked up and said, hey. Oh, you are there! Yeah, so there's quite a few uh, conflicting okay. statements, but. um. Got that, that, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, Sorry, yeah, bud. Definitely. I was yeah. doing my Nick Cage hunt in DVD, then swapped over to Valheim. Oh, nice! Yeah. Got a new server um, running. Dude, how's the new Valheim out? update? Yeah, I was going to say... Is it a good time? Um, I, I just... Throughout, like, rather than saying, like, I miss everyone, Valheim. I just haven't like, had the time to... Yeah, yeah. Talk to the governor about it and see... If take it seriously, because, like... Yeah. Maybe? you got to devote a bit of time yeah, well, to it. I, I miss Valheim so much. his um, identity. Just to make sure he's actually a government official. Are you got QQ and Nissa? Um, Rose is right, oh, go love. I glad to hear he's partying up for that. Got it fresh in my mind. Oh goodness gracious! Goodness gracious! Bing bong! <laughs> Following cognitive bard, we also have Barbosa online, also with the raid. Thank you as well, mate. Oh, look, bard! If I ever have a day where I'm like, fuck it, let's do some Valheim, I'll be bloody there. Yo, Bosa, mate! Thank you as well for the raid. Dude, I, I had a quick look before when I was alt-tabbing around some windows. Did I see you were giving Star Wars Hunters a go? I've been playing a, a heck ton of that in my spare time. I'm, uh, I've am i been doing Ranked. Um, I'm up into, like... Um, uh, uh, what's the material? Beskar. I'm up to, like, Beskar 2 or 3, which is getting quite high up in the ranking. But hope everyone's well from Bard, and hope everyone's well from Bosa. Great, lovely to see you all. Thank you very much for thinking of old, thinking of old Corbs and his role play. And I hope your Romeo and Juliet rehearsals are going excellent as well. I still need to go get a knife. All right, sorry that about that, fellas. I was just writing an a quick incident report about that bank robbery. Hello. Howdy, howdy, Todd. Uh, yeah. So we w we went across to Valentine, mm. and again, Walter was somehow involved again. <laughs> what this time? Uh, yeah. So they had another guy captive. So we go across and manage the captive for us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much is how it's going. Um, we got across there, and uh, this guy, Walter, thought it was the other Hickey Darnell. Right. Uh, but but they, this guy claimed to be John Butcher. Right. And I'm like, well, we don't have a photo of him, and the only ones that have arrested him is the east side because Darnell Hickey has escaped jail. Right. Has a bounty for a thousand dollars. So because we don't share photos with the freaking east, we don't know what this guy looks like. So we took him down to the freaking ID shop to get his ID. I said we're going to give you five dollars to get your ID so we can get to the bottom of who the hell you are. Then this man suddenly claims he's now in debt nineteen dollars. Okay. So uh, instead, we just find him for the crime he did and let him go. Excellent. I was going to ask, did you find him? Excellent. Yeah, Odell's for battery beats on up in the street. Good. That's what but I want to see, gentlemen. Fines, we, we, fines, fines. We, we don't know if it was uh, the other hickey or not. We, we just don't know. Because, yeah, we weren't going to give him another $19, you know? No, that's understandable. But, right. uh, yeah, yeah. I, I said I said to him, if we ever catch him again, though, uh, and you don't have ID, there's going to be big trouble then. Because I'm like, get yourself out of debt and go get yourself an ID. I've given you $5 already. 
So, oh, excuse me. It's been a bit of it's been a bit of a whirlwind day. I just uh, I just had a news flash, and now I'm guilty of this myself. Um, photos. Don't forget to be taking photos, y'all. Uh, so I'm just thinking. Well, yeah. Some of these folks that don't want don't want to identify for us, we give them a fine. Do we then? How do we have a record of that? To follow that mm -hmm. up. I don't think there's a system in place for that. Well, are people paying their fines or not? I think we have to check. I, I thought it was an automatic week. You got to pay your fine, then you get a bounty in yet. Well, I was told five days. Like it's more like a verbal warning. Oh right. But like, I don't think there's a system in place after that. I I don't know. We haven't been told. I I don't remember Bowman ever talking about it. So are people just walk around not paying their fines. They could be. I want. I don't know. Because what one of the Higgies had three bill payments in his pockets. And they I, they can take those bill payments and just chuck them in the bin, can't they? Or was something said before at the meeting near the uh, governor's house about apparently corporals and above can check something? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me have a quick look. Maybe it's only something, yeah, like us lower folk can't do. Yeah, we don't have access to the drawer or anything over there. Hmm. Oh God. Oh shit, boys, there's, it says there's a number of active fines, but there's no name. It just says who gave the fine, the amount, and the what the reason was. Oh, love of God. Oh no. How do we track him, Jack? No, I have to have a look to see what's it doing. Shit, I, just, so much has so much has happened today. I had, there's all these things falling through the but cracks. We've been doing all the fines. Pro I thought that was the one thing we were getting right. I, how do we follow them up? Because if not, because if we if we. <sighs> If there's no way around this, then we're just gonna have to just straight up. You gotta march them down, get an ID. You gotta sign it, and then write it in the uh, oh, write it, write it their name with what they did wrong. Uh, so then we can at least track it. Yeah, them. this is irritating. This is stupid. This. This is so dumb. Yeah, well, Jack, we're gonna have to fines. We gotta we gotta sign an ID to be sure. Yeah, we have to. We have to find out. We need some way to put it all there. It's annoying. Well, write it with so the crime? Short, say the names. You know the you way you'll... have their name on the fire book. Shit. Well, all, all that... Uh, Yeah, we can't just conjure that up anymore. No, that's... And weird. I understand I that on. for finding, but then how we keep track of them. Oh, shit. We haven't had time... I, well, I haven't had time to think tonight. Why you just rub chicken all over yourself? I'm eating chicken, Todd. I'm stressed. But you just rub the chicken all over yourself. You seen yourself when you eat? I don't rub it all over my shirt before putting it in my mouth. I'm damn hungry. I'm gonna wash it down with some juice. You know what? I haven't find... even cooked this chicken, but I'm hungry. And to find their bill, we have to find it. We know they need to know their ID number. Oh, that's fucking beyond dumb. Yeah, I need this needs looking into. That's I'm very confused. Same. Because otherwise yeah. we can hand out fines, but then how do we hold people accountable? Yeah, so I don't know their names. Just put their names on the actual fine book. Yeah, something's wrong. We need to look into it. Or just give us all the money. Or well, give, give us the MDT back. Well, it's it's when we find them, like we got to sign an ID. If we don't, we march them to see an ID. Or we literally. It's like, no, you pay it right now. You pay it right fucking now. But the yeah. only way they can pay it, unless we take the money from their pocket, which is frowned upon, the only other way they can pay it is if they see the gentleman uh, bloody assistant station at each, each department. Isn't that right? Yeah, but that's, we've only got one here in Blackwater, so if we find him out in fucking Valentine, 
We're going to drag their ass all the way over here to pay a fucking fine. But also, like, can they just not walk up to him and go, yeah, I paid it, and then walk out? But yeah, not... exactly. Yeah. What I we should would, have we, is where it says know. that and anything on our bill forms, you should have the person's name in there. But it doesn't. Fuck. Mm. Thanks, government. Uh, like, there should be a record of all this somewhere, you know? And, and there should be a permanent record in that, you know, we should be able to see so-and-so's gotten 20 fines over the time for the same shit. And then, I don't know. Last well, thing, it's just I've given out to some fines to some people that just didn't want to give me their name, like, at all. Right. Oh, so you've got, like, question marks from people, pretty much. Yeah, but... But then it, how do I... F oh, shit. Do we just start putting people in jail that aren't getting their IDs out? Yeah, but we need we need to be... If we don't find people, money doesn't come in. And that ledger ain't gonna last forever. So eventually, if we don't get on top of this now, eventually we could have no money and people ain't getting paid until we go and get some yep. fines done. Well, yes, why don't we sell enough. all the horses we've got in the thing out there? No, we can't sell them. God damn it. There's 10 it's of annoying. the fucking horses. Just annoying they could at least have their names and then we know who we're chasing down. Shit, yeah, I feel like I get I like I get it, but I feel like there's gotta be a middle ground, but because we don't always have the oh, I suppose we gotta make the time to take more photos and stuff, but fuck. Yeah, but it's like people would just lie to you anyway, that's the problem. But we we had photos of fucking Kojak one time. And he's like, I'm not Kojak when we pulled him up and appeared. And we're like, yeah, you are. He's like, no, I'm not. Prove it. And we're like, okay, well, how we're about, like, not me. How about until, until we get a, an answer from someone, it's people, if they're finding them, got to spot some ID. If they don't have ID, you march them down. They get that ID straight away. If they don't, if they can't pay for it, or they don't want to pay for it, jail time. But we're, right. but we're pushing for. Get your ID, cite the ID, and then write their name with the crime. You think that sounds like a yep. solution for now, Jack? Sure. Nah, yeah, look. That's a good idea, that one. Look at this dub. That's annoying. It should have their name on the bills, though. It's all yeah. NA. Something's wrong. They need to have a look into it. Yeah, I think they need to all be we like, know is, done with the fines. That, like, all we know, you know is. That it was like this one. We know it was a misdemeanor. We know they were evading. We know who gave it. We know the date. We know the amount. No, I, I see um, what you're talking we know about the note. there. There's nothing about the name. George from here, if that makes sense at the moment. NA? Not available? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking over your shoulder there, George. Yeah, looking over my shoulder. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, see yeah. now, like. You see down here, like Levi wrote, broke the law? Yep. That's very fucking. <laughs> it's very vague. <laughs> but, but if he but he could have wrote you know uh bob smith broke the law well bob smith but, uh what, sped through town and i actually shouldn't say joe blogs you know that's the thing yeah unless yeah. we you write the name, name there. uh take a uh i guess a a print out of that a print somehow of that and show it to the uh the government if that makes sense now special files yep mm. Let me just uh, let me just get a copy. Uh, write this down. Yeah, the might be looking over his shoulder. Oh, they might be looking over his shoulder right now. You never know. Oh, you, you do never know. But yeah, you know, just something to have on perma record as well. You know, that we feel like yeah. Well, what does the paid one say, George? Can you go up to the paid one? Just paid it, eh? Yeah, I know, but I want to see the uh, the um, other info on it, if that makes sense. Uh, position leader, Charles Berman. Mon yeah, it, yeah, no, no name anyway. And that, that's from the old sheriff himself. How many active bills are there? Holy shit. The funny thing is it used to have their name on it. Yeah, um, just, yeah, it's ridiculous. That's been removed. Uh, that needs, that needs to be fixed. Yeah, yep. Is that when they got rid of it, not showing their name automatically when a fine goes through? So they've broken their own system, right? Well, that makes sense, because if someone's not sharing their name, 
by conventional means. We can't just magically learn their name like that. So I understand it's to combat that. But then it I shows up. It, but now it's it's bricked the other part of it. You know? Well, I can kind of, because then you know we don't know them for sure. But then I I don't know is I don't know if it's really fair that we then you know know who they are if they're trying to hide their identity from here. So I think I think it is just yeah, if you cite an ID if you can. If not, just get whatever name you can, write that down with it. And uh Yes, good idea. And then and then I think try and get a photo and then do a can we do an incident report just for a quick fine? Oh no, that's a report. That's in the reports, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fines going to the normal reports because we get their number in it. Every yeah, time. so get a photo of their face as best you can, or their whole body if the outfits, you know, is very important. Get that. Uh, get a name, side ID if you can, but at least get a name so we can at least write something with it in that in that you know that part where you write the crime you know such mm. and such did this not just what they did right such and such did this then doing a instant then do a a, a a fine or whatever report in reports attach the image and uh write as much information as you can so that um i, I guess then also um it's on, more paperwork your... it's more fucking paperwork and more photos and cross-reference and shit mm. which makes sense it sucks but it makes sense Okay, well, uh, one from you guys, you know, you guys being the uppers and you having access to this uh, little draw here, you know, if you see stuff that's, uh, you know, several days old, you go, hey, for example, Terrence hasn't paid his fine uh, in five days now. Uh, if you see him out, you know, just hustle him about it. That's exactly right. Yeah, Jack and I will make a, an effort to, you know, well, I guess, you know, every time we every time we uh, do a shift, we'll take a look and... Yeah. Uh, and uh, we'll do like a, you know, we'll put up a notice here on the wall saying, you know, these people got over to do things. But that's the thing. And these current ones, we have no idea who these people are. No. That, so, that, I feel, yeah, we've, we've lost. So that, here on that's... out, we yep. need those guys, we need those damn names written in that okay. thing. We need those with a, a associated well, we, we, we don't have any other billing menu and, and thing. Anyway, no, it's annoying this. We don't have any other record anywhere of that stuff, right? No, unless, unless say, like that one I did as an example that Levi did. Like, yeah. maybe he did a report. Maybe. But but if he didn't, then it's it's cold. Trail's gone cold. All right, boys. So, yeah, Todd, Cyrus, Kelly, if you could, boys, spread the word. If you happen to see people before us, is, no. you know... Fines are very important lately. We need photos of people. We need to cite ID. If you can't cite ID, at least get a name, write that with it, and then do a a, a report referencing the fine. Yeah. Most annoying thing is you put a, their name in there who has a fine but doesn't come up with their fine. Shit. That's... All right. Well, all right. I think we got a bit of a game plan to at least yeah, kind of get through it. So, look, I'm going to call it for the night. Uh, Cause I'm okay. fucking tired. It's been a day. Yeah, same. I didn't leave Blackwater at all. And that's I'm not blaming that on anyone. I'm just. It's just there was that much to do, but that's good. I got to spend a good amount of time with Cyrus and Kelly. They've done. They've shown excellent initiative. Oh, so is so is Mr. Blades as well. Who? What? Who? Who's Mr. Blaze? Uh, uh, Levi Blaze, right? Yeah. No, Levi Sykes. No, Levi Blaze. It's Levi Blaze. Who the it's fuck's the other Levi? <laughs> it's the fellow I've been working with all night, you. I haven't. I've been just with Cyrus and Kelly. Kelly's yes. been with Blaze and us as well. Yeah, I went to the first time. Is Kelly, but, uh, is Levi Blaze the other fellow with the eye patch? Yeah. Yeah, he Oh, is. I, I didn't talk to him at all tonight. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> imagine it was just a random that just jumped in. Look, I, th I don't know anymore. All right, look, I'm tired. But yeah, I'll be around tomorrow night, and then I'll be away for like three, four nights. Just a heads up. Yeah, that's all good. Oh, wait, tomorrow night's your big sit-down. Shit, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Between oh, yeah. 8 and 9 p.m., I'm going to be... I 7 and 8. No, Alexi said it changed because of their availability. Oh, you talking to old mate. Is not John Black right? Tree. Uh, uh, his, his, his friend, Cal, Cal Dern... 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be standing... So tomorrow night the plan is between 8 and 9. I'm going to be standing underneath the tree in the middle of the plains up there on the side away from the wall. And Todd can show you all this. And then the mound, like the little hill nearby, Lord Department's going to be standing there. If Cal Dern or any of his associates do anything silly, you just mount, you just roll out and deal with them. But if he's if he's if he's a good boy, this one occasion he's allowed to come talk, leave, and his associates sleeve, and then the chase is back on. Oh, we do have one little bit of info for him too. Mm hmm. We have the names of the people that harm tried to harm his wife. Oh, who? Ah, uh, the Hickey brothers. Hickey brothers. Okay. Well, Jack, you will you be around tomorrow? I'll be around tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Before we go up to. Before I go up to talk with him, you yeah, you, you brief me on all the stuff I'll need to know, yeah, well, and I and I'll try I'll I'll try and look through reports, but yeah, if you if you got like off the top of your head, just a quick you know just this this and this, I'll I'll bring that up. Oh, good. There should be a couple of reports about it. I just sent to jail, so. All right, all right, gentlemen. Thank you for all the hard work, Jack. I hope all those trolls out went well. Oh went well. Just didn't, we didn't leave Valentine, so. <laughs> it's all right. It's... Oh, good night, everyone. Oh, I'm gonna have a nap. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Bye, Don't forget to clock off, collect your pay. That's good. But remember, okay, fines. Broken. Keep those fines coming, or else the pay stops. That's all right. Problem. I want you to use handcuffs to duplicate. Would you send people to jail? Oh yeah, okay. I need to load it. Oh, the bank's open. Oh, it's daytime. Fucking hell. Oh man.